Hey everyone, this is Mexico along with Ron Moore, and we're checking out Silent Hill 2 Restless Dreams, the sub scenario that was available on the Xbox and the PS2 Greatest Hits. So, how's it going, Ron? It's going pretty good. This is your first LP on the channel. Yeah, I'm surprised. And what, what better than going with the Silent Hill? Yeah, Loud Mountain. Yep. Actually, here it's uh, pretty cheap to vacation in Silent Hill with all the monsters and everything. I imagine that's why. Yeah, well, Resident Evil, oh no, wait. So, I've never really played either series that much, really. I never played Silent Hill at all. I barely played any of Resident Evil. Is it kind of like so Resident monsters? Evil? Um, to be honest, it is like that, except that the main focus isn't really to kill the monsters. You know, you can pretty much avoid. I'll spoil it. You can pretty much avoid almost every monster in the game. The only ones you would have to kill are the bosses. And other than that, you know, it's the controls are the same. Same tank controls. Uh, same boring character dialogue. I was almost a Jill sandwich. But it's uh, not exactly this is, the same game. Hopefully this is better than the Rain Te Terror's Realm. Oh, gosh. I can't believe we brought that up. But, uh, yeah. Okay, sure check good. that out, people. <laughs> Jeez. Should I? Uh, oh, I'll say one thing about Silent Hill though that it kind of beats Resident Evil with is long character dialogue. As in the beginning, right here, we'll spend probably the first three minutes listening to her talk. Hopefully, the music's much better than in the Ring. Oh man, the Ring will make your ears ring. That fun. <laughs> oh, she's a ringer. She's a ringer. No, don't open that door. That door. Stay in that small room. This is Rebecca Chambers? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> if she dyed her hair blonde. Yeah. Gentoo did the LP of the original Resident Evil back in 2013 on this channel. I remember that. That was pretty awesome. I, I like that. I was like. Yeah, so fun fact about Silent Hill, well, at least for me anyways, I liked it so much that I lent my Dreamcast to my buddy, and he lent me his PS1, and I was able to play the original Silent Hill. Cool, huh? Yep, it was either that or not, not play the game at all. But that's how much I got into it, not to mention staying up long hours playing the game. Nobody Back in my day, we had this game, we didn't play nothing at all. <laughs> the good days, the good old days. The good old days. The good old days. We go to Blockbuster. Back in my day, we didn't have these fancy video video games. We had a stick in our imagination. Whoa, wait. <laughs> I like how everything is so conveniently around. There's just first aid kits laying around. Uh, uh, guns, ammo. If I was to walk down the street right now, I'm pretty sure I won't find a gun. Well, I might, yeah. but uh, that's a different story. Yeah. Chinese Cleaver. So you said you weren't too, fam too familiar with the series, Ron? Yeah, I've I just heard about it. Uh, Rest of Dream Silent Hill. So this is not the first Silent Hill, actually. Is this like a prequel or a sequel or what? This is actually like a prequel to the second one, and it's after the first one. This is like a sub-scenario. This is a, a character that you meet up with, Maria later on in the game and this is like a little backstory to her so i thought it was kind of cool because it's not like a whole game but it's like a little scenario where you learn about this character which i thought was pretty cool oh, okay it's a nice Whoa. little bonus added stephen oh, king's foggy. a mist up in here i can't see three feet in front of my face oh no whoops i ran that stop sign no, oh, <laughs> i'm gonna play big rigs Big Riggs, you are winner. Over the road racing. There's nothing oh, okay. for me to do here. It's a hospital, so it's that makes sense. This is starting to remind me of Shoggate 64, geez. Oh, gosh. A lot of running in this game. Another, another one of Gentoo's LPs, Shoggate 64. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Whoa. God. But like I said, enemies are very easily avoided in this game. 
the majority of them, you can just skip past them. The Walking Dead for PS2, whatever system this is on. <laughs> Dang it, Shane. You did this to us. Not my. Not my. Not me. They're not people. Yeah. They're not people, Shane. <laughs> Good not time. my. She's walking slow, or running slow, rather. Running in slow motion while time passes by. Whoa, what the heck is that? Uh, I do not want to know what that is. Castlevania 64-esque action here. So hopefully the camera's better. Oh, there's Negan's uh, a fan, or whatever the heck is it. Yeah, cameo appearance by Negan's fan. Yeah. Oh, he, he left out some uh, health drinks for us. What are, what's such a nice person? Yeah. Not said nobody. He stole Captain Jack's barwad baseball bat. Oh yeah. And killed bang, bang. killed Tajiri with it. <laughs> oh man. All because Tajiri wouldn't job. Yeah. Lay down. All right. It's like with every other Silent Hill game, I get lost and I can't figure out where the hell to go. Oh, well, Skip will love this game. It has a map. Use the map. Yeah. And every enemy oh. you can pretty much avoid. Yeah. Which is, for the most part, some enemies that the game actually does, like, I don't know, whoever designed, designed this game decided, like, wait, we just decided that, oh, crap, you could just run through the whole game and not kill a person. All right, we need to change that. Whoa, what is that? Blood and guts. <laughs> Blood and guts, Murphy. I mean, bleeding guts, Murphy. <laughs> you sound like Homer, or no, the the priest or whatever that was yeah. doing the funeral. Yeah. We're here to honor but... Blood and guts, Murphy. <laughs> At least has to buy that album, the rate, the record or whatever, and it's all friggin' whoa. Whoa! Wait a minute. What Let's get heck? out of here. <laughs> Legs on both ends. Yeah. Oh, no. Get away from me. Wow, Ron. I think I'll say it, but wow. What a mansion. Yeah. Oh, this oh, is crap. the villa for Castlevania 64. Oh, no. Barry. Where's Barry? Yeah. As a kid, I always wanted a big old house, but after playing Silent Hill and playing Resident Evil, I'm like, no, I think I'll just stick to a regular size house. Right, nope. Kind of killed it for me in terms of uh, wanting a big mansion. I was like, no. Yeah. Something with that couch. See, man, with this game, you just find items all over the place. Yeah. Alright, well, we might as well check out the map since Skip suggested it. Oh, uh, yeah. In Silent Hill, follow the on screen map, and then go to the garage and get the items three and four. Grab the secret, secret documents. Enter the dining room. You don't need a snack. We are being joined by Skip Rogers, people, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Hi. Bathroom. Go to the bathroom to relieve yourself. You don't need to save your game in order to continue. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this game's really cheap with the jump scares. Like, something will pop out or whatever. I, I, well, I'm sure it got mostly everybody when they played it back in the day, but Resident Evil and the damn dog jumped through the damn window. The jump, the jump scare that got me was the lightning striking, striking, striking in the first Castlevania 64 game at the beginning. Oh, yeah, right there. That got me too. When yeah, I it made me jump in my chair, that. literally. Jeez. Like, don't open Whoa. that door. I don't think that, I don't think we can. Somebody there? Yeah, zombie. Blech. No, I wouldn't do that. Hello. 
Bye bye. Come on, is somebody back there? I need to use the bathroom, and it's on that side of the house. Stop it. You're disturbing me. <laughs> well, he gets right to the point. Yeah. Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? You're disturbing him. Leave him alone. No. The, he, he's updated his privacy policy. Why? Yeah, you just walked into his house like nothing. Yeah. Really necessary for me well, maybe that's his fault. He should have locked it. I don't know who's in the wrong here. Oh, I didn't know that. She is. Yeah, I think breaking into somebody's house is, yeah, that's probably not something yeah. you should do, people. Who she thinks she is, Link? I just want to oh. see the human face. <laughs> do you know what's happening in this town? Nobody knows what's happening to this town. There's no internet. No Wi-Fi. Yes, I know. But so what? I like this guy's attitude. No one here means there's no one to disturb. No one but a bunch of monsters. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. He's the introvert. Oh, that's the word of the day, folks. But introvert. Don't say that it's this town that's insane. Perhaps it's we who are insane. Perhaps it's we we are insane. We insane. We are insane. We are winners. Insane winner. in the membrane. Oh, third party, Dad. Would you leave me alone? <laughs> oh, man. Just for that one little second. Yeah. Song. Cypress Hill. Hey, we'll take that revenue. Good luck getting that out of this video. What's your name? Yeah, see, this is the point I got to with the Silent Hill. It's so much. I almost forgot I was playing again. Whoa, Ernest. Yeah. You know what? That's another scare that got me, too. The first time I played this, not knowing the guy's name was Ernest, I was like, okay. I'll be back. What the? Huh. So you play as Mexico in this game. Or not play as him, but you meet yourself in this game. Wait. I meet myself in this game. Hmm. What else could I? Oh, just something standing right in the middle of, uh, yeah, I, yeah I'm going to take this door instead. instead oh, of. That's not creepy at all. Yeah. It's insanely creepy. Yeah. Whoa. So this door just leads to a hallway? Hmm. So who designed this house? Is it that guy from Anchor? Yeah, Skip Roger says, talk to everyone here. Talk to Ernest. Right, He'll help you out. And watch out for the leg zombie. Yeah. It's locked. Come on. You'll need a leg to stand on in this game. You'll need a key. Oh my god, get away from me. Search all the drawers in order to get the items. Use items to progress on the game. Press start to play. Oh Whoa. man. What was uh, that? The game just trying to be cheap and scare us? Yikes. I'll be right back, Ron. Let me grab my baseball bat rope. Yeah. Your baseball bat is the only your only friend in this game. Whoa. What are we looking at? A ladder in a oh. fireplace? Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go down there. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We die? Yeah. Or we get sent to the town with no name. Jeez. Wow, everything's so conveniently placed right here. Yeah. All right, so we Save. come to the first and only puzzle of the game. Say, Pilgrim, what place is this? This is Silent Hill. Oh, shit. I'm out of here. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let... Oh, That'd be a perfect time to sucker everybody into thinking this is an LP and all of a sudden play that video. Yeah. Which we will be doing right now. Just joking. <laughs> we lose lots of subscribers. 
geez, Max, so cool. Thanks for letting us lose all the subscribers. But I stayed here. Oh, oh, yeah. I, even, I, even I unsubscribed. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Everybody unsubscribed. By the way, the S2K has updated their privacy policy. Jeez, reading some of this stuff, it's just... Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean, like I said, we update our privacy policy. You got to read all that before you can continue doing LPs on the channel. And this isn't, this isn't really too hard of a puzzle. Just place the boards in the right order, and you get the key, and that's it. And you yep. are a winner. Yep. Oh, this is only... Uh, tough part too is if you need to rotate it or you know this actually took me a while and before I actually started this uh, LP I had to actually look it up because I didn't want to be here for like 40 minutes trying to figure out this puzzle ah oh, this game is so stupid this is the speed that no I'm just kidding J-Man reference <laughs> J-Man reference uh, when are we gonna kill somebody uh, yeah I didn't kill anybody this whole LP no I do eventually Mr. Lay like we can't be involved with the murder yeah. Skip Rogers is our lawyer. Do not commit yeah. the crime. Mr. Well, Leahy, is this you talking to the liquor? Randy. Gulp. 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 I am the liquor. Oh, this come on. Let's get some action going here. Jump scare or something. I know. That's why I'm walking with the gun. I'm scared. I'm scared already. I mean, then again, the movie They Live started out slow, then it got ECW, so patience is a virtue. Die! <laughs> Shoot bullets at the monster. You always need bullets. Reload, reload. I remember that from Virtual Cop. Okay, yeah, yeah. what am I going to do? I just emptied a whole clip out on a guy. Of course I'm going to reload. No, actually, Make sure to reload your gun after it's empty. You'll need bullets in this game. And that you will. Don't forget to talk to Ernest P. Worrell. A.K.A. Mexicool. Yeah. We yeah, this want game action. Clap, 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 clap. Our, another chant I always hear at wrestling, too. This is boring. Yeah, or, or boring, boring. Vince McMahon, stop it, stop it. Yeah. Jr. commentating through this. What a scary, eerie game this is. As Jill Valentine here, whatever her name is. We now, okay, well, now I feel like playing a little bit of deja vu here. Oh, uh, we found. Found something over here in this bedroom. You know what? Actually, I think it is. It's matches. Why is there matches in a children's bedroom? Right. Just. I'm trying to think about that. Walking around using the controller. That yeah. camera angles. Be in control in this game. Kids ask, what stick do I use? I usually stick that's comfortable and stands up to a lot of gameplay. All right, let's just go up to this creepy attic. No, I, don't, I really don't want to do it. But if I didn't do it, this this would uh this wouldn't end well. Hmm. Spider webs. Spider Man was here. Don't get caught. He got out of here. Don't get caught in your opponent's web of, of deceit. Watch out for Charlotte's web. Hmm. <laughs> Guess the parents by sh oh, yeah, yeah let's just burn the whole house down. Yeah. Is this the house of sculptures? Actually, it could be. It's a big house. Good thing we don't have to explore the whole thing. Yeah. Ah, something below a birthday card. My dearest daddy, happy birthday. Oh, crap. Does that mean I have a kid? Uh-oh. Yeah. I swear, take me to Maury so I could do a backflip when they say it's not mine. Uh, yeah. 
You are not the father. Woohoo! Backflip dances, did Tootsie Roll. The woman runs backstage crying as Mari consoles her. All that and more next week on ST2K. Yeah. What? I can't walk around that. Now, this 2K show, I am not the father edition. This is Ron Moore and all with Thanks to Cool Spectre. We find out which one of those three guys is the father. Turns out it's none of that. Does Ron Moore have a little wee whacker or not? No. Find out next week. Holy sh. Whoa, whoa where whoa, did that whoa. thing come from? <laughs> I hate when games do that. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa. There's not an enemy there, and then you come back, and all of a sudden, there's an enemy. That's a weird enemy. It's 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 a set of two legs on both ends. Okay. Yeah. That's lazy. You gotta That's have a leg to stand on. In this case, you got four. So the Baldwin's is related to the William Baldwin or Alec Baldwin. As a matter of fact, they are. <laughs> How th doesn't say as a matter of fact. No. <laughs> Actually, that would be better. Oh, man, I just screwed up the whole commentary. Whoa, right in my oh, face. Geez. Okay. Yeah. That's going to scare somebody when you put the enemy right in front of them. Come on. Yeah. I'm so serious. I'm about to unload a Hulk. A Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. <laughs> yeah, you cut out there. A Hulk. <laughs> I go. <laughs> yeah. Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, when you face the ultimate warrior. Reason why I cut out was because I was like Sid. I was like, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, we can always start over. No worries. Yeah, well, cut it out. <laughs> Next week on this commentary, we will have Sid. Yeah. Shut up! And then we just all shut up. All right. Well, that was a great video. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. You said like three things. Shut up. And then. Yeah. Next week. Shut up. Silent Hill. A game that Sid is good at. Because when I play it. I rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think the most memorable. Uh, this is kind of messed up to say. But the most memorable match I have watching Sid was. Uh, I think when he lost to Chris Benoit in WCW. That oh yeah. Was, I didn't really watch too many Sid matches, but that was actually... Oh, bugs everywhere? What kind of a That's bug is that? Uh, well, this game has I, bugs in it. Yeah, this game has bugs in it. What the heck? They're gigantic. We're going to need a bigger can of Raid. We'll go to the lavatory. The lavatory, Wilson. Oh, that was random. It looks like the lock is broken. Yeah. As always. Man, you got this game on lock. The game is unlocked. Lock and reload. Reload. Oops, forgot something. Room. Okay. It's not scary because I see your shadow. Yeah. Yeah, the, when they start twitching on the ground, that, that just yeah, that just takes it to a whole new level of creepiness. So what is it what is its attack? Just to kick you to death? Pretty much, it kicks you with the top uh, feet, the top part of its body. So, do they just make that? The programmers just make that enemy for just for kicks? Just for kicks. Which is a good serial? Trick yeah. Tricks up the kids. Yeah. Uh oh, eerie music. The scary eerie music. All right, Ron, that's it. I'm I'm just too freaked out. I'm 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 leaving. Yeah. I can't. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. I hate when they do the scare. Whoa! You can't even see the enemy. You can't see the enemy, a John Cena zombie. Bra! Employee kitchen. Oh, Gentoo, like, I guess all the zombies in there are, are, are women. <laughs> oh, you know what? That would be true. That, that, that is. Yeah. Hey, Gentoo said it, not Ron Moore. He just yeah. said it as. Yeah. Get back to the kitchen. Yeah. Is casually walking around. Oh, you can't even get to the kid. Huh. All right, guys. Till next time. It was awesome having you guys as always. And like Ron Mar always says.
God bless. Take care. All right. Hey guys, this is Mexico. Welcome back to Let's Play, Let's Discuss Silent Hill Restless Dreams. I'm here with Ravenous Spectre and ST2K Hall of Famer, Ron Moore. Who the blue hell is that? Green Society. Society. Uh, Hall of Lamer. <laughs> Hall of Lamer. <laughs> Sweet Restless Dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Thank you, Cartman, for that rendition. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or what, what was the other remake? Sweet dreams are made of fears. Yeah, the Manson version. That was cool. Oh, okay. That was a cool one. I remember that one. The 80s original was cool, too. I sure wasn't Krang that was singing it? <laughs> Might as well have been. Kind of sounds like it. Yeah. It could have been. All right, so yeah, Mexico, uh, bring Spectre up to speed to what's going on here. Well, we just broke into somebody's house, and we're looking around, and this guy's house happens to be filled with monsters, so what, what, a, what a lot of fun that is. That sounds like some wholesome family entertainment right there, doggone it, in Trump's America! <laughs> yeah, Anyways. it's Trump's um, fault that these games come out. Speaking of my whole situation with the Silent Hill series, like, I've never really taken a chance to really play it like I've, like I've wanted to in the past, but uh, um, my dad actually played a little bit of the second one, God rest his soul. He actually played some of the second one, which it was a series I never thought he would ever get into, but I've never really been much into like the survival horror kind of games, but I played bits and pieces of a few different ones, and actually recently I got Silent Hill down for the PS3 for like $5 at Goodwill, and I started playing it, and it seems a little slow for me, so I don't know if it picks up later on, so... This is probably going to be like my first Silent Hill that I'm actually really getting into. Like I got Silent Hill Origins on the PSP, and I've also got uh, um, I also played some of like Silent Hill Homecoming. But other than that, I hadn't really dove really deep into the series. But I know it's like extremely freaky. Honestly, I did like the movies. I know everybody's kind of polarizing on those, but well, Ernest, did you bad. write this? <laughs> did I write this? Uh, I'm probably, but I didn't remember writing that, so hmm. it must. Uh, been on one of my off days, but as far as you go, Raven Ra Inspector, the games do really start off really slow, and then it just builds, and eventually it gets to the point where it's like, oh, okay, this is actually pretty entertaining. Yeah, because I've heard that uh, the second, uh, the uh, downpour is much more action-oriented than the other ones in the series. It, 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 for me, when I played it, it was a lot more funner. I, I just like the combat system. It, it seems like they improved a lot on that from previous games. And, you know, it wasn't that bad of a game. People just didn't like eh, the idea of it being a little bit more combat-based. Mm -hmm. But dang, Gannon, it, it's a damn good game. <laughs> like, give it a try, people. So she's talking to the reclusive uh, Ernest... Uh, Mexico here, whatever his name, Baldwin. <laughs> Baldwin. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The first time I played this game and the first time I hear it, his name is Ernest, I'm like, oh, crap, what the? Yeah. Not to mention I was playing that at 4 in the morning, so that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> uh, yeah, really? Yeah, I don't doubt it. Don't play these games all late or early in the yeah. morning. Yeah, that's true. Being half asleep never works when trying to play a game because you'll you'll. There was this most simple thing that I needed to do in downpour, and I ran around everywhere trying to figure it out. And it was real late at night, and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And I went to and I was going to go check out a walkthrough until I just went back and tried it out myself. And I found out the most simplest thing. I just kept running past a lot, and I'm like, okay, that's what I need to do. I guess I was more awake then the next day. So yeah, kind of just made me smack myself. I was like, that was so simple. Anyways. Yeah, for this scenario, I feel this is this scenario is more sad than scary. Just some of the stuff that this guy says, it's man, our earnest at least, or whatever, or what I say, eh, it's pretty depressing. But when you play the main game, it's completely opposite. It's man, this that game scares the heck out of you. But what is the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario? Mmm. Well, in the main game, there's uh, six different endings. In this one, there's just always the same ending. Which Jeez, we'll get six to right different after endings. This commercial break.
Yeah, do they have an alien ending or the one with the dog ending? Like, I think they have another Silent Hills. <laughs> yeah, those are always fun to watch. And then they do a UFO ending. Yeah, ex yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Next cool would do his first live stream on the channel with Silent Hill 2, the main game. Starting tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, man, I haven't played that game in so long. I play it at least <laughs> once a year. That's one game I do kind of play every year. Yeah. At least once. Does it still scare you just like it used to when you first played it, or are you kind of used to the scares by now because you know where to where, where they're coming from? Nope. It, it just scares me as much as it did the first time, which is I know it's coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That means it kind of keeps it still keeps it kind of fresh for you, even though you've, had, you've experienced it a lot of times. Experience it. All right, there's the guy right behind the door. Not, oh, what the <laughs> <hell?"> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was prepared, but I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Don't open that door. Where's Barry? He's in Raccoon City. Oh, we could have used him in Silent Hill. Barry would have went around and shooting everything. Will this woman become a Jill sandwich? <laughs> Will she like become the master of lock picking? <laughs> Gentoo, she needs to be in the kitchen in this mansion. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Ron Moore said that as Jintu, not as himself, people. Yeah. But we are treated with lots of dialogue in Silent Hill games. I'm sure since you've played them before, uh, Spectre, you, you know all about that. And anybody that's played this game knows. Dialogue, dialogue. All right. Yeah, that's true. Really trying to fill out the story. So you don't play as a silent protagonist? Nope. No, this isn't Chrono Trigger or uh, JRPG. Or Zelda. Oh, okay. <laughs> or Link. Now, Link's not silent, remember? Cool, huh? <laughs> Excuse oh. me, princess. Yeah. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. <laughs> that sounds like a porno. Jeez. So, no, will she be... Will, will, yeah. Will she become a Maria sandwich? A Maria tortilla? We'll find out. Next episode. <laughs> That's racist. Yeah. If I got that from Say by the Bell where Jessica Spano was trying to disguise herself and hide from Mr. Belding, he goes, Oh, well, who are you? A foreign exchange student? She goes, I am uh, Maria. Maria Tortilla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. There's a lot of backlash, death threats from. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, there's no SJWs back then. Maria, Maria. Man, this shit ain't Mexican. Why should you name Maria? Now that's racist. No. She reminds me of this story. Malia should be Marie. <sighs> well, that cuts scene any quickly. You think miracles can happen? Stop talking and walk around. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah. And let's figure out what the hell we forgot. Yeah, sometimes I forget. <laughs> oh, that music. Oh, that music. Yeah, you know, yeah dangerous in the area. I think that's what scares me the most is the music. They did an amazing uh -huh. job on the soundtrack for this game. It, it, yeah, it scares you. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the walking legs. Yep. As Skip Rogers would say, to destroy the enemy, shoot him. If that, <laughs> if that enemy, yeah, if that monster was a wrestler, its interest music would be, she's got legs. <laughs> She knows how to use it. Eat your heart out, Stacey Keebler. We got legs over here. She's got four legs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's on his last leg here. Double your pleasure, double your fun. I said she's on his last leg. What? The, well, what is it? Is it man or woman? I, we don't know. It's Silent Hill. I can honestly not tell you. It's half and half. They just stitch yeah. everything together and call it whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that could be true. Half and high up. I'm half the man I used to be. Cause I dropped the saw in my lap. <laughs> Take time with the wounded hand. Use the map. Cause I'll play with saws. Don't juggle saws. You'll have a wounded hand. Yeah. Man, this is a big freaking house. Wait, I think it's a mansion, but still. Well, yeah, it's a mansion. Reminds me of Castlevania right. 64. Dun, dun, dun. Which came out first? Probably this. No, well, no. This is Xbox. Never mind. 
This is 2001. Uh, yeah, Castlevania yeah. 64 came out first. It's like PS2, Xbox. Yeah. Dun, I just sound effect when you pick something. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh, it makes it cool. Did you have problems in Silent Hill Downpour where at certain points there would be like this massive frame rate drop, like massive lag while you were playing it? Or did I you? did. I did. Okay. Now, I, I thought it was saying... just like console specific. No. It, yeah, it had that problem too, and I was trying to figure it out. Well, when I played it, it was like brand new. I was trying to figure out. I was like, what the hell's going on here? I was like, I know this ain't scary. This is just something wrong with the game. What's your step on? It's aggravating. This game has bugs. Uh, game has bugs in it, just like uh, that GameStop rant where I can't, I forgot his YouTube name. He talks about uh, how these people came in looking trashy and they tried to sell the games to GameStop. He opened it up, uh, Xbox 360 game, Transformers War for Cybertron. He opens it up, crunch, a bunch of dead roaches inside the box. That's insane, man. Jeez, man. That's you know, I'm going to put the link to that. Terrible. Not that he needs a plug, but I want to put the link to the description box because that video is funny because of his rants on GameStop and that story in particular. He goes, video games aren't supposed to crunch and open it up. Lo and behold, there's a bunch of dead cockroaches. That's disgusting. And he said, uh, a, he said the, uh, the woman looked at him and said, with her meth-glazed stare. She was like, are you afraid of a couple of bugs? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. I'm not a couple of bugs. Maybe a couple hundred. I'm afraid of uh, meth crazed idiots like you bringing in freaking video games filled with cockroaches. Yeah, I'm afraid that you don't know how to take care of your freaking media before you bring it in to trade it in for two cents and a used condom. <laughs> Jeez. Exactly. Yeah, cockroaches. I'm not a cocky guy, so I don't like them. They say I'm cocky, and I yeah, say what? Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> it ain't bragging if you do it, and then you back it up. They say I'm cocky, and I stone cold. What? It ain't bragging if you do it, and then you back it up. <laughs> what? what? I, remember that, I remember that promo back then for Roy Rumble 2002, and it shows Ric Flair strut, strutting back and forth. They say I'm cocky, and I say in stone cold, what? It ain't bragging. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Uh, speaking of cool, Mexico, what's going on here? Looking for a specific item for Ernest or myself. Look for it, some enemies it, to kill. This is getting boring. It is. <laughs> Don't worry. This game's filled with plenty of them. But yeah, one of the one things. Whoa. There we go. Action. 52. Action. Oh, God. It's all about the atmosphere and the, and the overall tension of my door was behind the next corner. Just like The Walking Dead, some people complain that a lot of the episodes of Walking Dead is boring, but it's really slow builds to the grand finale. Yeah, but nowadays it's just boring. Uh, that's what I've been hearing. But I heard it had three or four more season signs, so <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and I heard that Andrew Lincoln, for who plays his rank, is supposed to be signing off after next season, so I wonder what's going to happen to him, if he's going to die or if it's true or if he's going to go to some other show or what's going to happen. Well. There's the white liquid we were looking for. Ernest is like, oh, go get that for me. Oh, yeah. and by the way, there's a bunch of monsters over there, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, I wonder what could be over here. Nope, nothing. Just to save. Let's get the hell out of what here. What the heck was that? Um, Whoa. There's a lot of legs out here. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's not legs this time. That, that's... That's what we'll call it. We'll call it a, what the heck was that? It's a yeah. fleshy, walk-in, bald nutsack. Jeez. Oh, Actually, I like uh, what Spectre says. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The enemies respawn. Oh, respawning enemies. I hate that. So do I. I know this ain't NES. Oh, <laughs> yep. I hate when there's enemies that they're... In areas that there weren't enemies before, and you're like, "What the heck? You weren't here before." Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh. We're gonna beat him down. Just butchered it. <laughs> I just butchered this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not bear. Oh, 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 oh shut up. <laughs> 
the, well, how, well, well, Ronnie, okay, know. Ronnie, how can people ask me to come back then, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I can see him. I not see him. I can hear him say something. Hear him say that. Oh yeah. Well, how come your fans are asking me to come back, douchebag? <laughs> Ronnie, Ron. I said it, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> St. Two K. Clap, 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 clap. The lock is broken forever. Oh. Next. Why would somebody need a, a mansion this big? Well, mansions are big, but I can big house like this. Why would I want rich. to with all these monsters? Let's shut the door for the heck of it. Yeah, I don't know if I want a mansion. Even if I was rich, I don't know about a mansion. I mean, geez, because I don't nah. know. It'd be too creepy. Anybody could break in probably kind of easily. Let's have heavy security. And yeah, exactly. I don't know, man. That's mansion probably uh, too rich for my blood. If I had money, I'd probably live in maybe a nice big house somewhere out in the country or something. But probably not a big mansion with 80 rooms or whatever the heck. Yeah, you will. You could probably move people in, though, and they can all help take care of the bills or something. But for me, if I if I was rich, I would just build a normal-sized house on a large amount of land so I could be away from people. Yeah. That's the best thing you could do. That's that's pulling a Brock Lesnar right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Walker, Texas Ranger. I love that show, Walker. It's Satan! It's the devil! Nobody knows what the heck's going on here. <laughs> I sure as heck don't. I played this game so many times. What the hell is going on? We don't know. <laughs> Not a clue. I played this game so many times, I still don't know what the heck happened. Ernest, can I open this? Wait for the plot twist. It's coming. What they twist? I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James, he's a bad man. James. Suspense. The suspense is building. I think. In her pants! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> or her skirt. She's not wearing pants. He's looking for the you. That isn't you. So technically, this takes place after Silent Hill 1 and before the main game, Silent Hill 2. Oh, which cool. is weird. They tell you to play this after. Anyway, that's just what you think. My father. You don't really know anything. You don't really know anything. Okay. You don't really know. Third. Coochie, la, la, la. Oh, there's Kevin was, Bacon. There was a disembodied voice behind the yeah. door the entire time. She was talking to a spirit. Her the voices in her head. I hear voices in my head. <laughs> they count to me. They understand. They talk to me. <laughs> I mean, Perhaps it's we. Who is insane? He went behind a hidden wall. So was she talking? He's off the never, never land. Voice yeah, in the yeah, yeah. 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 So what? He was a ghost. G -g 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 ghost. So you're talking to Sam or uh, whatever his name is uh, from Ghost. That's a very slow pan around the room. Right. Boom! Something jumps out at you. Yeah, like in Silent Hills, the demo, the PT demo. 
Oh game. yeah, that was really good at doing that. Yep, a few drops of pee came out when I played that. That happened to me. That thing just popped out right in front of you, and I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, I played that. My friend, she's like, I'm not going to tell you anything that happens in this game. All of a sudden, I play it, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to play this. He's like, come on, dude. He knows something's going to pop out. He's like waiting for my reaction. I'm like, dude, I'm not playing this. <laughs> <laughs> He was a ghost, a friendly ghost. No, he wasn't really that friendly. Dunt, dunt, dunt. Clicky, clicky. Ugh. It's a rather foggy day today. Anytime it gets real foggy outside, I just think like the place that I'm living at is just turning to Silent Hill. Oh boy! No, don't do it! I just beat the game. Why are you going? To, why are you going to kill yourself? She has a butterfly on her stomach. <laughs> yep. I think, or a bee. Kind of looks like Christina Aguilera back or in the a day. Moth. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea, moth. I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta stick a gun to my head the right way. So that doesn't make any sense. Flag. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, that well, sounds nothing like Christina Aguilera. That sounds hundred times better. That <laughs> sounds like some drunk dude. I'm in the bottle. Rub my dick the right way. Or something like that. Anyways. So she th threw the gun over the wall knowing that there's going to be still a bunch of monsters all over in the city. Yeah, that doesn't make That doesn't make sense. I never any got sense, that. Though. So she going after James and... Than Silent Hill 2 now. So what? Was this supposed to be like a prequel? Yep, this is the prequel uh, for this character, and then she meets up with James in the middle of the main game. So this just gives a backstory to this character. Oh, okay, okay. Which is pretty cool. I, you know, I don't see them doing that that much. Okay, yeah. But it really added a lot to the game. I do, right. love, I do love some of the music in Silent Hill too, especially like some of the intro sequences, like especially like the, the intro song to Silent Hill 3, that was really cool, and like, you know, the usual main Silent Hill theme is really cool too from like the first few games or whatever, but like this one is really cool too from, from the credits. Some of them are like really, really ambient though, but there's like a handful of them that are real musical, but the ambient ones, that, that's just not for listening to whenever it's meant for being in the game itself. <clears throat> game does a lot of things right, you know, the music, the game's fun, you know, the graphics are pretty good for its time, you know. They, they put a lot of work into this, I actually watched, watched uh, the making of Silent Hill 2, so they did a lot of work in this game. Uh. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the series at all, so I have no idea what's going on here or what was going on. If we, if I guess uh, uh, Alec Baldwin or whatever he was was a ghost, or I don't know. You might be able to emulate the first one since you, I mean, probably. Yeah, it just it just shows a bunch of cut scenes where Maria and James are together. It, it, but, this is all stuff from the main game, so the, I can kind of see uh, why it's a spoiler. The first one. The first one had like tank controls though, which is like aggravating. This one has them, and then it has another control scheme, which is much better. But... Analog baby, yeah. Yep. Yep. Team analog. Go ahead and thumbs us that dumb. Uh, do thumbs down, people who like tank controls. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> well, it's real footage. Oh wait, and there's the game. graphics are real. It is. Ooh. I mean, one thing I really got to say about this game is this is one game I can see myself playing a lot if I really got back into it, the series in general. I mean, it was really good up until the point where they released, I think it's uh, Book of Lost Memories, or it's one for the Vita. It's, it's, it's just a Silent Hill name, but it's not really Silent Yeah. We won't talk about that. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Indeed. So, I guess in the credits, it basically just shows you everything that happens throughout the game, so. In the first game or second? 
Uh, second. This is the second game. So okay. this shows everything that happens in the main game. Which, okay. if you don't have to beat the main game, then you could just watch this. 2001. Cool, huh? 2001. Cool, huh? <laughs> don't have a cow. Although, yeah. James, or whatever his name was, he is in the first one, too. James Rolfe? No, James. Uh, <laughs> oh. Who, who's James Rolfe? All right, let's see how crappy I did. Or good. No, not too bad. I like the at the end of the game, it tells you how well you did or didn't do. Well, what's your rank? <laughs> uh, well, for this, because it, it's a sub scenario, it doesn't give you a rank. It just tells you how much time it took you to finish and how much damage you took, which <laughs> was thirty, which isn't that bad. It's really. Good. It says hard disk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you were here, Bear. Yeah. I knew you. Were. Oh, shut up! She looks stone right there. What the heck? Silent Hills got to her. Yeah. She's on that new drug. It's called Silent. <laughs> to use That's a floppy drive? Take care of <laughs> yeah. What was that? The only way to take care of a Silent Hill is just to smoke one and just be like, all right, whatever. I don't yeah. condone the use of drugs, by the way. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> just like in Wrath of the Black Manta. Jeez. Remember, people, Capcom says winners, winners don't use drugs. Right. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> Have you guys ever ate at Mighty Weenie? Uh, nope. Yeah, uh, like a Steve job. Urkel used to work there. But anyway, <laughs> family uh, matters. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now, well, you haven't played it, Ron. So, well, what would be your thoughts about just seeing it, though? Uh, it gets me kind of interested in seeing what's going to happen in part two or, or should go back and see the first game first, but um, it was a good plot twist in the end. You think it's going to be a, I thought it might be a guy or a demon behind that door the whole time. And it turns out to be a ghost and you don't see anybody when you open the door. So that was kind of interesting. And then, uh, yeah, but I mean, I wasn't too intrigued by this part because I mean, it was just a so scenario, but to me it was kind of boring because you don't really, fight much enemies or whatever so uh i mean i don't know what score to give it since this don't really count as a game it's just a build up to part two but at least is uh it makes it a good uh it establishes a good um what can i call it i guess it establishes part two of uh i guess sets the the, the storyline it says the story for what's going to happen in the real game so it did a good job in that uh, so I really can't give it a score since it's not a real game on its own, but that's my thoughts on, on, on this uh, whole 50-minute sub-scenario. And what about you, Spectre? I know you haven't uh, really dug too much into Silent Hill, but from what you've seen, what are your thoughts? Spectre's final thoughts. <laughs> well, I, I really do wish that I was around for the first part, but due to the fact of dealing with uh, mic and webcam issues and it wanting to be a little pissed uh i couldn't be around for the first part but just from what i've seen in, of the second part i'll have to go back and watch the first part that you guys have done to get a more better understanding of it but um it just kind of interests me a little bit more the silent hill series and kind of wondering where the series is going from here but knowing how konami is nowadays uh i guess we'll never know but um yeah i uh I have to go back and see the see the first one. Is there any thoughts on whether or not we're going to go through the maybe the second second game altogether from beginning to end in terms of commentary? Uh, I would love to do that. I mean, I got my capture card and everything. I just um, want to play through the game, make sure I can do a pretty good job, and then you know I want you know I just want to make sure I'm able to do. Uh, good job in the game and not epic fail, but I played the game enough times to know what I'm doing. So, yeah, if you guys are down for that, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Silent Hill fans out there, we could probably have that come pretty soon here on the channel, eventually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll run more we'll probably check it out, too, considering he's kind of interested and wanting to know what's happening with the series and then see what happens in the second one. Yeah, there's they, a lot of be, uh, what the moments in the game. Yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty cool, huh? Cool. So, Ross and friends. 
<laughs> I'll be there for you. This is ECW. Yeah, all the friends are doing hardcore wrestling apartments. Wasn't uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin an episode of that? I really don't know if he I'm was. I'm just kidding. But... No, but um, I know Vader. <laughs> oh, I know was Vader. Great. I know Vader was an episode of Boy Meets World. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. he was. He was supposed to be the father of the, the one of the bullies of the school, I believe. Yeah. I remember I just watched uh, Spy Hard with Leslie Nielsen, and Hulk Hogan's in that movie. I'm like, what? <laughs> wow. But anyway, all right, I guess that's Hulk it. Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you. Yeah. Nugget. No, wait. Wait, that's Owen That's Hart. about right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to thank everybody that came with me in commentary. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Reverend Inspector. Thank you, everybody that was watching this video. And uh, before I screw this up, I'm just going to hand it over to Ron. God bless. Take care. Later, potatoes. Hey everyone, this is Mexico along with the Ron Moore. We're checking out the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles on the PlayStation 3. Oh, cool. P is this our first, first PS3 game we've done on this channel? Um, I should know this. I should know this. I should know this. I watched this channel enough. Um, uh, I'll, I'll answer that question in the comment section when I can figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I don't know the answer right now. I, I Have you guys done any 360 games on here? Didn't you guys do like Grand Theft Bottle or I don't know if you guys... Oh, well, there was like some footage from the commentary that was done by one of the old school S2K members, DJ. Um, but never did it like Let's Play or anything. Oh, all right. So it's just a video of that. Uh, Umbrella. Who doesn't love Umbrella? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was gonna say in 2013, Gentoo like did the LP of the original Resident Evil. Be sure to check that out, people. That is extremely awesome. Or 2014, like rather. I forgot. I, yeah, I think it's 2014. I'm not sure. Is something to which only a select don't worry ron will answer that in the comment section the anything we don't know we'll just answer it in the comment the section yeah so this features uh rebecca chambers who wasn't featured on jintu's playthrough of the original resident evil because he played as jill as opposed to chris you almost became a jill sandwich Almost a Jill sandwich with peanut butter and jelly and if you did not and if you did not enjoy this video please thumbs down uh, don't favorite and don't comment and unsubscribe. Sounds sounds about right. Yeah. And join the stars while you're at it. Umbrella yeah. has been at the center of my plans for a long time. She's got a gun. Run. Janie's got a. Well, not, not Janie. Is that Rebecca? Rebecca's got stars a gun. Here. My wife or whatever Gentoo called her. Stars here. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, she wasn't featured on. I, I, I remember, I think Jin Tu kept t telling you, he's all, well, if you want to see Rebecca, do a Chris playthrough. And you're like, all right. And then you're like, no, I hate the tank controls. Luckily, this is a rail shooter, so there's no problem with the controls here. Just point the. Yeah, he's getting a little too close, I think. Yeah. And I was not expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say. So I guess he was just hanging out watching the whole thing. Yeah, who is that? Uh Billy Colin. He's like a character that's only featured in one Resident Billy Evil Cohen. game. This is only Resident Evil Resident Evil Zero is the only game that he's ever been featured in. Billy so Cohen? He's like, we have bigger things to yep. worry about right now. Billy Billy Bob Billy Bob Bob the third. Billy Badbutt. Something like that. So, have you ever seen this game before, Ron, or checked it out, or played it? No. No, I haven't. I just seen the original Resident Evil because of Gen 2, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just probably just the first Resident Evil. Yeah, this is basically a remake of Resident Evil as a rail shooter. So think of it as a light gun game, but with the motion controls, like you know, with the Wii and the PS3 move or whatever so it's basically 
just a remake of a game as a rail shooter. So all you do is shoot zombies, survive, and pretty much it. But it's actually pretty fun. Resident Evil for the NES. Let's head upstairs. Indeed, I'll, I'll pick They're that up. Too. Yeah, part of the light gun zapper series. Or as uh, Jeff would say, he wants the uh, Sega Men Mincer. Or what is it? I, I can't remember. Mincer, yeah. The Walking Dead for the NES. That'll be interesting. First boss, Shane. Oh, God. Not me. Yeah, not my. You did this to us. Not my. Not my. As featured in almost every video we do of uh, one of my LPs or whatever. Um, Ron has to bring that up. No, that was so you. We don't bring that up. Not my. Oh yeah. Not me. It was me. Yeah, it was. You want subscribed? Mind. You did this to us. Not my. <laughs> oh. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to get my fly swatter and swat whatever. Whatever. What the hell is that? Thing? Oh no! Don't open that door. Too late. I'd be the person that opens the door and kills everybody. Sorry. What's this? Golden Eye meets Resident Evil? Head to the ladder. This is. What games take place on a train? This is pretty weird. Golden Eye. Uh, zombies on a train we are playing. Yeah. They're here too. We don't have much choice okay. to keep going. Looks like you need more training. Ah. Uh. They're everywhere, these damn leeches. Why yeah. are they here? I wonder Leech how it's possible. Leeching off of our success here on SC2K. Never seen anything like yep. this. Yep. So Second our subscriber rate making it go down. No. Yeah. I blame Bear. Who is here, but he's not saying anything. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> there he goes. It's one line in the whole video. Yeah, those one-liners. Exactly. Bear's like, all right, that's all I'm saying. More like trash can liners, because he talks trash. Oh, fail. Watch your step, princess. ECW trash can. <laughs> yeah. And not the phony uh, paper waste ones, or whatever they are, in, in other companies. Oh yeah, the real trash cans, not the ones. Not the hardcore well, the New Jack trash, trash cans. Will the real hardcore trash can please stand up? Yeah. Wait, are you saying Eminem yeah. was trash? Watch out! Don't want, don't want him to do it. Don't want don't want him to do a diss track on us or a diss video. That would actually give us so much exposure. I don't know if that's not a good or a bad thing. That's hey, both actually. Really hey Ron, have you seen the subscriber rates? It's some for some reason we're all up in the millions now. Or yeah, at least really? thousands. In a minute, I did that. Yeah, seriously. If I woke up the next morning. And S2K hit like past a thousand. I would freak out. Like, what? What is going on? Someone must have. Uh, some popular YouTuber must have said something about us, good or bad. We got yeah, Red Parade finally. No. He finally said something about us. They do commentary something. over uh, that uh, salad game or whatever we did. Uh, Princess Tomato and the Salad King. Oh yeah. And if you're not down with ST2K, we got two words for you. Unsubscribe. Wait. No. Exactly. Oh, hopefully this game has better voice acting. Uh, they kind of kept some of the cheesy dialogue, which is pretty interesting. I think it was probably because they know people that people thought it was funny, so they're like, oh, you know what? We'll keep, keep it in the game. Keep your hands off of Rebecca. She's barely legal. As Jim 2 would say. <laughs> ECW barely legal? ECW barely legal. Is the voice acting in this game better than Silent Hill 2 or whatever you did a few months ago? Uh, I would say it's definitely a hundred times better than that. So I, uh, I guess... Man, I wish I could have watched a documentary on voice acting. I remember in the beginning, first games with voices and all that were just terrible. and. I mean, it got better along the way, but man, even in early 2000s when that Silent Hill 2 game, that's uh, the one we did or whatever, the Restless Dreams, yeah, the voice acting was just, ooh. Did they try to just be this bad or what? Who knows? 
don't pick up that medical marijuana. <laughs> or do. Uh, Loud Mountain or whatever it's called, Silent Hill, that was a pretty good game. Oh, yeah. No, don't open that. Oh. It's too late. We're outside. And there's people standing out here. Yeah, okay. This almost feels like you're playing uh, Crown Patrol, one of those laser, uh, American laser games here, except it's much better. Ah, uh, Jeff's favorite game. And I posted a comment earlier under the Space Pirates video because I realized something. Space Pirates, isn't that what they're called in Metroid? Oh, you know what? That is, yes. So Space Power is supposed to be a spinoff of, jeez. Um, that's, that's about as far as a spinoff as you'll ever get. That's like, wow. Yeah. A game that's worse than Metroid Other M? I'm surprised. I'm, you know what, I'm actually, oh, here's Rebecca with her special move. There she goes. I'm actually glad. I know the the. I hate bringing this up. Anything about the uh, what is it? Uh, Philips CDI or whatever. I know they made all those crappy Zelda games, the Mario game. I'm just glad they never made like a Metroid game that was crappy. Well, I would. I never played it, but Tips said that Metroid Other M was not good. Oh. And I don't and know. You know, about, Tip. I, I don't know about Federation Force or World Wrestling Federation Force or whatever it's called. Hmm. But I think that was like people? a spinoff or something. I don't know. Let us know in the comments, people. Yeah. You guys are dumb. That's not a spinoff. It's a sequel, not a prequel. Shut up. Damn. I didn't know Sid watched our videos. Yeah. Shut up. You stupid idiot. Oh, or is that Jericho? Whoa. What was this? A Zelda boss? Yep. They just recycle bosses from other games. <laughs> A giant monster? What the heck? Or scorpion? I don't know. Yeah, it is scorpion. Get over here! Yeah. Use your freeze power as Sub Zero. Make him chill out and cool off. Man, we need Skip Rogers. He would not, he would tell us what to do. Yeah. Use your gun. In order to defeat the giant lobster, we just don't go eat there anymore. Put him out of business. Oh. Just shoot, 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 and shoot some more. And then after you're done with that, reload and shoot some more. Is that the lobster from Shinobi? Oh, it could be. Or it could be one of his cousins or something. Yeah. A distant relative. Well, I hope our subscribers aren't allergic to shellfish. Jeez. Okay, fail. <laughs> I'm shell shocked. I'm allergic to my commentary. I'm gonna R stop. Rank B for <laughs> BCW. What? Like BS. BWO for life. Oh, yeah. The Blue Meanie. Big Stevie Cool and the Blue Guy. Oh, wait, that's Blue Meanie. Who was Nova? Hollywood Nova? <laughs> Isn't that Simon Dean or somebody? Yeah. With a stupid Simon Dean system. Where him and Maven accidentally spilled the drink on Steve Austin. Steve Austin whooped their ass. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we get a bunch of text before that or whatever. A whole novel for us to read. Yeah. Previously on. on Resident Evil, the novella. Come on. Ow. I wonder if that hurt. Of course it did. Yeah. Hey, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, where are you? I'm not sure. But he goes, she's too young for you, bro. Right. Right Definitely, she's too young for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for somebody well, not not young bodyguard, enough, right? not too young to where Chris Hansen would come around the corner. Right? Yeah, she's past that point. Yeah. Chris Hansen would still come around the corner. Ronnie, have a seat. What are you doing? Enough to almost be your dad or uncle. Come on, man. Uh, the law says otherwise, so uh, yeah. Here, I have a cookie. All right, well, you're free to go, and uh, the cops still take me down. <laughs> well, the cops are still going to take you down because it makes for good TV. Yeah. 
They're getting Bro, she's tasered. 19. I, I said, shut up, get on the ground. Get tasered. Sid, what are you doing here? Yeah. Shut up. Sid's in every one of our greatly, somehow. Yeah. Shut your stinking mouth, Shockmaster. Guns just laying around in the sewer. Lethal it's Enforcers just like real life. meets Resident Evil. I know, right? Whoever thought of the idea of making um, oh, here's the here's the funny thing about this. Uh, they made uh, Resident Evil into a rail shooter. They also did the same thing with Silent Hill. Silent Hill saw what Resident Evil was doing. They're like, hey, we could do the same thing too. Unfortunately, that was only released in the arcades or whatever, so never got to play it. Well, you know what Skip would say about rail shooters: ride the rails. Actually, that's a good, that's pretty good advice. You have derailed. Shut up, Richard. What do you got to say, Sid? <laughs> nope, never mind. Shut your stinking mouth. Because I... <laughs> I rule the world! Training facility. The first general manager, James Marcus. And that was Sid. Just the name. Yeah, worth more sponsors. Shut up! Friendly looking guy. Even dead, he has quite a presence. Attention! This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent. Alright, everybody just be quiet. Nobody move. He <laughs> says the final boss in this game. Oh, man. Oh, he does his talk. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. Billy, up there. Oh no, they're back. Bed bugs, and they're like triple the, quite triple the size the regular. These things. We'll be in Central Texas now. Oh man, oh, man. maybe. The freaking insects from Starship Troopers here invading Earth. Oh man, we got a cameo appearance from the aliens from Starship Troopers. Yeah. And, and now uh, I forgot his name. Are... Gary Busey's son. I think that's his son. He's got to be in this movie because he looks like freaking Gary Busey. And his last name is Busey. Oh. Busey W. Bu oh, fail. The Busey W. And now we're from our sponsor, Circuit City. Wait, they're out of business. Never mind. Toys R Us. Wait, they're out of business too. Why are all our sponsors going out of business? Yeah, Toys R Us. Dang it. R.I.P. Toys R Us. I've had so many fond memories there. I actually tried to go there and buy something just for nostalgic, just to say this is the last thing I ever purchased from Toys R Us. But, yeah. couldn't find anything. Yeah. So instead I just took a picture inside the Toys R Us. Man, these bugs are starting to bug me. Right? There's a lot of bugs in this game. Yep. Didn't they check this game to see if there's bugs in it? More bugs in this game Ow. than Ocarina of Time. Oh boy. I think I mean that literally and uh, figuratively because Ocarina of Time did have some, like, I think a lot of bugs and glitches in it, but also I wonder if that's because of all the bugs in the game, all the sculptureless, the gold sculptureless. Hmm. I mean, we're straight up bugging. Don't be bugging me. This is what The Walking Dead should look like on PS4, except uh, better graphics. Nice. Pick up the medical marijuana to refill your health. Yeah. You did this. Nice. Not mine. We got Shane on commentary. Shane. Yeah. We got Skip. We got Sid. Anybody that starts with an S. Yeah. Um, who was who would the second boss be? The governor? Oh. The governor who'd be calling the zombies their biters. Yeah, they're biters. They're zombies, damn it. Haven't anybody ever played Resident Evil or seen any zombie movies from George Romero or anything? I don't know too much about The Walking Dead, but I know that like Shane and the governor were some of the bad guys in the past and uh Negan's the current one. I don't know about in between there who was who else was 
the bad guys. Like I mean, the main bad protagonist. I mean, antagonist or whatever. Yeah, I was one of those people that like got into it when it first came out, maybe the first two seasons, and then after that, it's like it died off for me. And now, yeah, yeah, let's go back. I didn't stick around. Not for the long run. Not me. Yeah, it may. Oh no, Rebecca, Whoa. watch out. That monkey escaped from Hold the zoo. On. Yeah. Oh crap. I'm I'm pretty sure it got rabies. I'm I'm that's a that's a yes. Ow. Yeah. No expression on her face. Thank She's you. just like, uh. Hey, Billy. Not I'm me. Sorry, but I have to know. Billy, I'm sorry. Did you really kill 23? Whoa. Did you really kill we were ordered to attack the village. And this is where the game turns an even darker turn. When you thought things couldn't get any worse. But orders Making don't always justify get worse. slaughtering innocent people. Man, we still haven't came up on a kitchen. Oh. Too bad Ginger's not in this part. <laughs> we'll, we'll like edit him into this part. <laughs> well, if the feminazis see this and like, uh, or if this game had a cutscene where, all right, I'll take the living room, you cover the kitchen. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> like they discreetly put it in there. You go that way, I'll go this yeah. way. Yeah, you go this way, through the kitchen. Dangerous. Yes, they did. There's a game called Gary Kitchen's Battle Tank, too. Oh, man. Just shoot out all your bullets. But we have to work and reload. To out of this. Yeah. And run. Survival first. Might as well just shoot the walls and everything. Why not? It's not my house. Jeez, he still have the hand. Must be annoying. Not as annoying as his commentary. Featuring Mexico. All right. <laughs> Don't open that door. Open the window instead. Hey, yeah. Man, I a guess window opportunity. Oh, my opportunity just went out the window. Yeah. Well, Along more bugs. It. More of those bugs from Twilight Princess uh, Aztec, uh, not Aztec Temple, the uh, Arbiter's Grounds. Like we said, if we don't remember anything, we'll leave it in the comments. Yeah. We do remember, just not right now. Yeah. Man, uh, Ron, help me find a big ass can of raid or something. I, I know there's one around here somewhere. All right. Grenade. Oh, whoa. Yeah, let's just blow up this this guy's house. Who cares? It's not our house. Oh no. It's not our house. Angry monkeys, they're back. I know, actually it's Angry Bird, but these are Angry Monkeys. A lot of monkey business here. So long, monkey. Feeling lucky. Remember that band in the 80s or whatever it was, the monkeys? Well, you probably don't because you're real young, but... Mm, I think I remember some. Uh, I remember somebody talking about it on The Simpsons or whatever. I think, I, I everything I know comes from The Simpsons. They they reference everything. So if I've heard of it, it probably came from The Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons did it. Yeah, we should one day we should have Bart and Homer's special guest to LP a Bone Storm and uh, that uh, boxing game that we used to play. That's true. Has there been any Simpsons uh, games LPs on uh, on this channel? Um, I don't think. I don't know about on this channel. I know on J-Man's channel is uh, uh, the arcade game. 
Yeah, he has the arcade game on there and Bart's Nightmare. No, that's, which was that game's a nightmare. nightmare. I would not. I'm not going to do that game ever on this channel. You or someone else wants to, fine. I'm not. Not me. Not me. Not much. Not me. Jeez, I'd rather LP Crown Patrol. <laughs> Yeah, Bart's Nightmare was my nightmare. I had so much uh, frustration in that game. I rage quit that game. I'm not going to lie. Because some of the levels in the games are fun, but for the most part, a lot of those things are just annoying. It's just it's like, ugh. Yeah. The arcade game was pretty epic. That is epic. If you haven't checked out the J-Man channel, then do it right now. Stop this video. No, don't stop this video and go to his channel. But after this video, go to his channel because that was it. Yeah. Please drop a dislike and un and do not favorite. And do not share this video. Ugh, it smells like the zoo. Ugh. Not me. So most of the game is like this, then you just walk around and uh, aim. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You get parts where you have to do, um, what is that called when you have to press the buttons? Um, damn. I forget the term what it's called. It's like quick like, action or... Like in Dragon Slayer? Yeah, where you have to like do like those or else you're gonna die or whatever. Oh, I, hate, I hate those games. Really? Yeah. Because it's like a different bu button combination every time and then you're just sitting there and you're just like, alright, I think it's gonna be this combination. Nope. All right, it's gonna I'm be dead. up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Xavier Woods would know what to do. Yeah. It's a new day, a new day, dang it, a new day for a new game, a new day. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just edit that out. Oh, wait, you're alive. <laughs> Damn it. Can we do that again? This is S2K. We're we don't live. edit stuff out. No. We're live. Just ask Sid. Shut yeah. up! Yeah. No, he goes, let's start over. This is a live stream, pal. Sorry. Anyway! <laughs> uh, no, Bill O'Reilly, we're live. I said, we're doing it live! We're live, Sid. Shut up! Man, if I ever see any more of these books. Wait, hold on. I got a big can of raid. Man, this game's straight up bugging. In, in, in the in the real Resident Evil Zero, the the one that they have on the GameCube, and they have it on the PS3, PS4 now, and just about every freaking system because Capcom likes to make their money. Um, these guys were like the most annoying thing about Resident Evil Zero. Not so much on here because you got infinite ammo, but they're just a pain in the ass to just kill. Cause you have to like use fire and you get like these molotovs and have to kill them but but they for me that's what really ruined the game was just one particular enemy yeah you could say they just bug the sh out of me <laughs> yeah well can't this game have like right, a can of raid just like uninvited did or pesticide or spider side whatever it's called just start start spraying or remember or go spray if you remember, I sprayed that oh. ghost, but I forgot to take the the lid off, so I died. Oh man, indeed. Whoa, man, it's Dracula. Oh, it's Ozzy Osbourne. Oh man, we need Ozzy Osbourne. He he killed this thing in one hit. Yeah, he just bite the head right off. That's actually how I first heard about Ozzy Osbourne. Not through his music, not through anything else. My mom was telling me about this guy that bit a head off a of bat. And then I started yeah. listening to this. Ozzy Osbourne on commentary. Um, give him a moment. He's uh fighting his head off real quick, head. so give him a moment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Run. So we went from zombies and weird-looking monkeys to bats that are just pissed off at us. Now they're gonna attack us. So we went from being attacked by monsters to being attacked by freaking animals. Yeah. And I can't decide where to put my cursor, so I'm just I moved it all over. <laughs> yeah. Let's point at Resident Evil Umbrella Conquest. 
What kind of umbrella chronicles? I mean, is it gonna rain or something? Maybe. The, the umbrella would come in handy, though. I saw a car drive by my job uh, the other day and on the side of the car said umbrella something. What? <laughs> There's some Resident Evil stuff yep. going on here. I can't get a clear shot. People have them stickers it. everywhere. You'll see, I see people with jackets. Off. I've actually seen somebody with an umbrella umbrella. That would look actually pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Much cooler than Bart's Nightmare. I have an umbrella and a girl named Stella. Stella! Stella! <laughs> Are we going to get a copyright um, claim for just that? <laughs> right, as soon as it uploads. Copyright, claim it, monetized, by, by claim it. Heads up, this is just a heads up. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Yay, somebody placed all those weapons on the roof for us because they knew where we're coming. Thank yeah. you. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Oh no, Peter's going to hate us. All right, they yeah. Peter, Peter Wilson, and La Femme Nikita. <laughs> La Femme Nikita oh. Koloff. Oh, wow. S A S O B. Oh, whoa. Rank A. Actually. Yeah, pretty good. It's ridiculous. I'll see people play this game online on their own channels or whatever, and they'll get straight S's. And I'm like, dude, you have way too much time. This is this game basically became your life. Yeah. What about rated E for ECW? Rated E for ECW. I don't think I've gotten a rated E. I think you can get E. I'm not sure. E B C D E. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go. He's crawling back, begging for his job. Yeah. Zombies! 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 Up there! Watch out! Zombie alert! Monkey alert! Yeah, where's Morgan when you need her? For reals. You know, I'm surprised Capcom never made a Resident Evil fighting game. I mean, I mean, for God's sakes, they made Street Fighter. Yeah. A Resident Evil fighter. Play as Chris Redfield, this guy, and Rebecca Chambers, Jill, whoever hmm. else. Not me. Not me. No. Resident Evil Combat. Finish him. It becomes a jail sandwich. That was too close. You almost no. Never mind. You became a jail sandwich. Yeah. Mm. I still can't believe that line. You almost became a jail sandwich. Man. Did they? Did they ever proofread the script before they even started? I'm like, I, before they started the game, did they ever proofread the script? Like, does this sound right to you? Would a normal person say something like this? Probably not. Pretty sad. Dirty Harry for NES had better voice acting. Yeah, it, that's wow. It's true, people. It's damn yeah. true. Hey, sir, I know you just got up from your nap, but I'm gonna shoot you in your head. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, we need the some. Bomb. We need some Metal Gear Solid Force acting. Colonel, what's going on? Snake, ah. Uh, I should have told you. We're gonna have to play Shellgate 64. Colonel! I I'm sorry, Snake. Man, these bugs are starting to bug me. They're not bugging you. You're bugging out. Get away from me! Ah! Oh. So the cool thing about this game though is, I mean, you have one gun that has unlimited ammo, of course. Oh, luckily we have a Neil Sporin. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Back to life. Um, Asper cream. Ass cream like Chris Jericho and Christian? 
No, yeah. Is that crane you put put on you when your butt hurt? Something like that. Um, yeah. I think Christian would be the one to ask. Yeah. Well, actually, my dad's a big fan of. He wasn't too big fond on Edge or whatever, but he's like, you know what, that Christian guy's pretty badass. Which I do agree with. But of course, you know, Edge had all the success, which sucks. Yeah. Because I felt like Christian was, you know, equal. Uh, people are going to hate me. I don't care. Go ahead, hate me. I thought he was as equal. Gosh, equally as talented as Christian. Uh, Christian was equally as talented as Edge, you know. Yeah. He worked. Never got the that he deserved. Somebody's watching us. And it's not Hyper. Our light heavyweight. Or who else can I give a shout out to? Yeah. Minecraft Martin. Come back. That'd be cool. Star Soldier. Oh yeah, baby. I'm playing Resident Evil here. <laughs> the Umbrella Chronicles, yeah. It's like it's gonna rain. This game rains ECW. <laughs> so he might need some more umbrellas. <laughs> we should just get him like to do a 30 second clip. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, Jay? Well, I like this game is better. There's a Silent Hill Star Soldier, but um, you know. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. Oh. Yeah. Well, my heart goes out to you. Let go of her. All right. She's only 18. So, I'm guessing all these guys were just hanging out in the elevator. All right. That's not weird. So, Ron, do you like hanging out in the elevators? No, I'm joking. No. Unless it's in gold now, you hear that cool music. Oh, yeah. Now that would be a good game for a, for an LP. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I suck at first-person shooters, so... No. Not me. Not right. me. What about second-person shooter? Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't I be the person getting shot at then? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. These freaking leeches. Now, they look like the black things in out of this world that kill you with one hit just by scratching your knee. Ouch. A bunch of BS. And they look like that monster in the movie called The Hidden where it goes to dead bodies. Oh, man. I can't remember the last time I watched that movie. Hidden Valley Ranch. No. And now a sponsor from now a word from our sponsor. Hidden and now Valley a sponsor Ranch. from our word. A sponsor from our word. Word life. Basic thugonomics. Yep. Not the N word. We're coming for you. Yeah, we'll leave that to Hulk Hogan. No Booker T. Book That's right. Run more. We're coming for you. Not we got Booker T on commentary here. Yeah. I can't believe me and Gene Oakland is a pro to play that off. Just no, so it didn't. <laughs> he heard him say that. Somewhere in the back of his mind, he's thinking, oh my. <laughs> yeah. Booger T is the only one that sold it for a brief period. He turned his head. He goes, oh shoot. <laughs> he's like, damn, what did I just do? Yeah. You know what you just did. Man, we all leeches did. everywhere. Jeez. Oh man, we're gonna need a bigger can of raid. The the leeches oh, suck. Marcus? We just got copyright claim. I said we need a bigger can of raid, not a bolt. What could we do to get this video flagged? No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, this zombie can talk. Here's some of the backstory. Uh, Wesker kills this guy. Leech goes inside him, brings him back to life. It takes like 10 years. Huh. So even the bad guys turn on the bad guys. That's that's really bad. It's like a hill attacking a hill, which I've seen before, but come on. Um, could we just fight you as a human? Not this... Disgusting thing.
get to the chopper. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm doing any damage to him. Run! Ow. Damn, it's not working! Rebecca, report to the kitchen. Oh, man. Videos flagged. Yep. Damn Gen 2 lols. <laughs> we'll see his comment. He never watches. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who does? Except uh, me, you, Chino, uh, Light Heavyweight, Chuck Money, uh, and. Uh, and we got, uh, J Sack or for guys it's J Sack Savage oh, yeah. or for guys. Yeah, I just call him J Sack or Savage or I don't know. When when you got too many when you got more than one name in your in your name in your name, we're just gonna call you by whatever we feel like. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know Light Heavyweight's been watching uh the videos for a long time too, he says. Not me. Not me. Billy, no, what about, what about uh, heavyweight, big heavyweight, or world heavyweight? Fail. World heavyweight. I'm surprised we don't have any. What about featherweight or welterweight? Welterweight. Horn Swaggle killing the cruiserweight title. Jeez, yeah. The anonymous CM. As soon as he. Oh. All right, I need to take a break now. No, I'm like, yeah, I remember that. I'm like, Ugh. funny story though. My mom actually met Hornswoggle, and she had no idea he was a wrestler. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what I said. She's all, oh, that guy on TV. She's all, I seen him. I'm like, what? She was like, yeah, he's filling up gas. I guess when they had came or whatever and done like a live event in my area and Tucson or whatever he was here or whatever and he was filling up or whatever I don't know yeah or whatever I'm like really I'm like wow out of all the people whoa is that a giant slug what is that it's not metal slug it's slimy slug yeah uh can't fail oh now that now we just shoot 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 and shoot some more this is where you save that this is where you say, ow. This is where you save all your good guns on the boss. I'm just on the sluggish. Oh. I am too. Now, word from our sponsor. Um, How many sponsors do we got? I, I know. We have so many sponsors, but they don't. They, they really don't sponsor us much. All right. Who will sponsor us? Capital One. If they'll sponsor that video where they messed up on the computer building. <laughs> you probably sponsor what's, us what, too. What's in your wallet? Yeah. I don't know, Samuel Jackson. What are you doing in our video? You're like in every video. Right. You and The Rock. Yeah. Uh, me and The Rock. Uh, you and Forrest Whitaker. Not all of us look alike, mother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna get flagged again too. Copyright claim. Come on, we're just yeah. ma we're just repeating lines from movies. How can we get a copyright claim against that? He didn't say hey Zeus. He says Zeus. My name is Zeus. Indeed. My name's R B D E. This thing die already, jeez. I know, man. Come on, how many bullets can you take? Where's Austin Powers at? Why won't you die? There it's we like, go, jeez. Dying all dramatic. Put the a sun. sun in his head. What is, what is this thing? Dracula can't take the sun. It yeah. just falls back all dramatically. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Resident Evil Castlevania. Back home, son, won't you come? I guess it's time to say goodbye. Oh, I can't. No, I guess. Yay. The people are waiting for me. Are Who's waiting for you, Rebecca? Your parents? Officially, Lieutenant Cohen <laughs> right. is dead. Seriously, she's like 18. Rebecca. Mom and dad are probably calling her. Hey, what are you doing? I'm working. Rebecca. Quit bothering me.
Ow, what the heck is going on? Oh. Well, I guess I'm blind now. Oh, wait. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare. You know, it kind of, it really sucks to be Rebecca. She goes through all that in the Resident Evil Zero. And then, of course, Resident Evil 1. So, having to deal with two different outbreaks. Yeah. But better her than me. Remember that movie outbreak? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Morgan Freeman, Donald Sutherland. There's one line where Donald Sutherland goes, What are you doing? Are you dumb or something? This way he said it. He's watching the high school and somebody's making fun of it. Are you are you dumb or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. So that was uh, Resident Evil: The Umbrella Chronicles. That was Resident Evil Zero. Uh, up next will be, I think, Resident Evil One. So thank you for tuning in and um, go for it, Ron. I I forgot my line. I'm lost. So is that this is part? This is same game. There's gonna be a part two of this. Yeah, that's going to be a part two of this. Uh, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles covers, you know, Resident Evil Zero. It covers Resident Evil 1, 3, and an untold chapter. And then it also has, like, a bunch of sub-chapters, too, which I will be covering here. We'll be covering everything in this game because, you know, this game's not that long. All right, cool. All right, guys. God bless. Take care. Adios. <laughs>「ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Shoot, 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 shoot. Where's Rebecca Chambers? Uh, we're actually, since we're, I'm doing, I don't know if people are going to like this, but I'm doing is this actual from, LP. I was wondering if this was from order. to this specific area. Oh, this area? Yes, it was. It, it's, um. I can't wait for the remake. Oh. Shameless plug right there. Remake, it's coming. Or yeah. Right here <laughs> when you're badass. watching the video. Pretty cool music. I need to get it running. I like the music in this game. They've always done good. Well, oh yeah, they've me too. always done good work. So, do you gotta fight Mankind down here? <laughs> <laughs> He's a boss character. Yeah, he'll show up eventually. <laughs> yeah, Samurai Edge Two. Whoa, Edge is in this game? Oh wait. Him and Undertaker show up, and you gotta fight both of them at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun match. Uh, on this I'm, day, I'm, I see clearly what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What are those? No witnesses. I'm. I'm not, not sure. I. Ooh, Whoa! You guys right in the booty hole. Or right in the web hole. Yep. Web hole booty hole. If you have arachnophobia, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. No arachnophobia. Yeah, we should have a viewer discretion for our subscribers. And that the erection that. phobia, no mind. Yeah. Uh oh. That didn't make any Queen sense. Goma and her babies are out in full force tonight. Exactly. Out in full so force. Rogers, what to do next? I can hear myself echoing on. I think that's cool's end, but that's okay. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Not one of our sponsors. This is pretty sweet. Yeah. I wonder if they have the soundtracks for sale somewhere. 
Why do they call this the Umbrella Corporation? It's like Mary Poppins, the final boss or something. <laughs> She's behind it the whole time. Yeah. I, that wouldn't surprise me one bit. Her little witchy self. Yeah. I would lie and say if I, I'd be surprised if that happened, but no. Zombie monkeys! One of the worst kinds of enemies ever. Jeez, yeah. Because they will throw infected poo poo at you. Well, poo poo can do it. Donkey Kong turned zombie. Surprise. Yeah, there you go. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Well, speaking of Donkey Kong, I actually ended up finding the uh, Donkey Konga Jungle Beat, whatever it is, the conga drums, like at Goodwill. But it was just the conga drums, and they wanted 20 freaking dollars for it, and it didn't even have the game with it. At least I don't think the game, unless the game is like inside the bongos or congas or whatever they are. But I was like, heck no, man. I was like, if the game was in there, yeah, probably. But the one that came out for GameCube. Yeah. Hell there was Jungle Beat, and then there was like Conga something, Donkey Conga, I think what it was. Well, I heard that's how you got to beat Bongo Bongo in the Ocarina of Time remake. You have to actually buy Bongo Bongos as peripheral. And no, I'm just kidding. Well, that's that a lot of work. I'm talking about Nintendo trying to make some money off of someone. Yeah. I thought you meant like an item in the game you had to buy. I could understand. No, that. I mean like you buy the actual Donkey Kong Bongos, they're going to come out with oh, the yeah. Zelda Bongos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you beat, that's how you beat Bongo Bongo. <laughs> that sounds like something EA would do. It's like a Simon, like a Simon Says type of uh, gameplay. You gotta hit the right commands in order to beat Bongo Bongo. I would never beat it. I'm I just say, saying. If you forget the Donkey Kong Bongo Bongos, whatever they're called, don't play that stupid DK64 rap. Actually, I think that's one of the songs that you can oh, uh, bang, the, bang the bongos to, as a matter of fact. I think I'd rather listen to Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Cuddy, whatever his name is. I haven't even listened to him, but just by his name alone, <laughs> I know that you I know, I never listened to him either. I just wanted to, I just heard bad things about him. I just said that just to say I'd rather listen to anything than that DK64 rap. I'd rather listen to horses having sex than listen to Machine Gun Kelly. I don't know. I heard Eminem's a big fan. No. Uh. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Oh. I guess Spectre don't know about that. Reference. Yeah, 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 I know about it. I just don't give a shit. <laughs> What's funny is that I saw this meme of like these people arguing with one another, and there was like some other people just lounging in the background. And it said, the people who were lounging, it said metal fans. And then it said like Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly were the two people arguing or fighting with one another. <laughs> They're just sitting back watching the beef happen, laughing at it, not giving a shit. Yeah. Man, more of these, more of this guy. I can't believe it. Too many bugs in this game. <clears throat> Metal slugs? Oh wait. Liquid slugs. Liquid slug. Liquid what about snake. solid slug? <laughs> yeah. In my pants. No, we're not going there. I mean, one time, uh, I think I, it was uh, my Twilight Princess LP Part Eight, and those fire slugs in the fire temple. And Tim's goes, be careful, Ronnie. We have to put a slug in the back of your head. I'm like, whoa, jeez. Those little slug things kind of remind me of the parasites. I think it was from Resident Evil Four. I think the 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 Paris plagas, Las plagas, or whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So a bunch of vampires flying at you now. Remember Black Sheep with that bat was flying around? They're trying to kill it, and they said, "What is that?" And he goes, "It's Ozzy Osbourne." <laughs> uh -oh. oh, he's alive. He's alive, Undertaker! Kane's alive! He's alive! He's gonna be the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee one day, my proud, I'm proud of my boy, oh yes! My underwears are too tight and I have a major wedgie and my balls are pushed up into my chest cavity! You know, if Paul Bear were to cut that promo back then, my son Kane, why he could be the Mayor, he could be a mayor one day. We just laugh at it, and then like twenty something years later, whoa! Yeah, he, was, yeah. he wasn't lying. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that would have been cool. And Vince goes, yeah, right. Like my wife could be a uh, governor. <laughs> oh, whoa. zombies around here slapping people around. All right, yeah. Uh, is those is that one of those other one of those zombies made appearance in ECW? 
Oh god, I remember that. That was one of the <laughs> worst gimmicks ever, dude. The that first oh episode. Oh my gosh. And Taz even said at the end of the episode, this might be better than the original ECW. Like, really? Wow. I'm like, yeah, they paid you millions to say that, huh, Taz? I know, exactly, yeah. I mean, him well, and Joey Styles. Him, so. him and Joey Styles look so <laughs> stupid in that episode because Joey Styles, a few months before that, was like, I'm tired of the sports entertainment stuff. I quit. And he comes back and be, is part of the entertainment BS. And Taz, Mr. Hardcore, uh, whatever. Human Suplex Machine. Yeah. It's just like, man, these, this is the ECW shell of his former self. It was sad. What do we have? Exactly. I still remember when Taz still, what was he? He debuted at the Royal Rumble and faced Kurt Angle. That's the first time I remember yeah. seeing Taz. Sorry, I'm not at ECW. That, that, that was cool. That was Mexico. No, yeah. <laughs> dumb, dumb tis. What is this undead apparition? Undead oh apparition, God. King. Oh, look out, JR! Now we're being attacked by um, some jobber. I guess one of the worst things is that no one is on rails. You can't actually, you can't control yourself how you're moving unless you're dodging. But it tells yep. you to do so, so. Oh, look out! You just have to be precise in how you shoot, I reckon. He's walking looking at you. He's walking around the yacht. Yeah, what? You scared? You scared mother... <laughs> you should be, because it's Green Berets that elevator? kick your big ass. <laughs> I eat Green Berets for breakfast. And right now, I'm very hungry. I'm hitting the food. I remember one time my old boss at work, me and my friend was talking about Booker T. I, and I said, oh, I told my... I, up to my boss, I said, I don't think I don't think she knows who we talk about. She turns around, she goes, Yes, I do. Booker T, I pity the foo. <laughs> oh my god. And we were like, well, No, see, I told you you don't know what you, we were talking about. We said Booker um, T, not Mr. T. Oh, I got you, yeah. Gee, she misunderstood apparently. Jeez. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I pity the foo. No, I pity <laughs> you. <laughs> Too bad Booker T wasn't there, he'd be like, tell me she didn't just say that. Right. Tell me she didn't just say that. Not that. That tyrant took forever to go. So who are we playing as here, Jeff? Wesker. Are... <laughs> oh, Wesker. <laughs> yep, that's who we're playing as, Jeff. No, because it... Good old he Jeff, talking, like, like, slick back. Pat that, you know what? Even Apparently even this refuse has T's recovery. recovery or whatever he's <laughs> <laughs> Booker T's recovery. Oh, look out! Ooh. That's what we saved the big weapons for, just to kill them in like three seconds. Yep. Thumbnail right there. Well, at least yep. on my video it was. <laughs> Is that Gene Snisky? It wasn't my fault! Yeah. Remember his ECW gimmick, all yellow teeth and no eyebrows, no hair at all? That was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't remember yeah. that. His interest music, Snitsky, Snitsky, Snitsky. It wasn't the same. It wasn't my fault, Snitsky. It was a totally different Snitsky, just like they repackaged Viscera as Big Daddy V. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And, and like, he would come out without a shirt, with his titties all sagging uh, and all the tattoos uh, everywhere. Yeah. My dad goes, he must have a strong heart. Yeah. I said, why? Because look how fat he is and just flabby. And geez, he can still wrestle and move around like that. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. Peter Bansiver yeah. said, I kind of like the Big Daddy V gimmick, but he just needs to wear a shirt. <laughs> hey, Nike. I thought I saw the door open. Whisker powered, I mean, Wesker powered up the ropeway and reached, reached the surface. He still had to escape through the training facility. Teaming. This spelled Leo teaming wrong. Out of sub, sub, blood, sub, blood. Good old Jeff. No, no teaming like bunch of stuff. Oh, I thought it was about teaming like he teamed up with. No. Ron will recognize some of this because uh, I was playing through the game. You played through this game as different characters, but you also played through some of the same area. So Ron will recognize somewhat of this area from the last LP. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. The big bat. The this, Aussie bat. With this cool music again. This music is ECW. Okay, you want to see some rabbit monkeys? Jeez, man, what are we at the zoo? I like to see a zombie Braun Strowman. Oh my gosh, you would definitely have to run them. Get well, depending on if he was feral or not. 
Yeah. 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 I don't know if you guys work in a restaurant, but like, they still, someone say hands, which means run food. We need some people to run food to the table. <laughs> and I uh, hear hands all the time. I'm thinking, if, it's a good thing Braun Strowman don't work here. <laughs> he would break everything. Like, oh, you want these hands? I worked in, I worked at, actually I did kind of work in a restaurant thing, but it was me working in the kitchen area at Burger King for a few months with my bipolar boss. And when I found a better job and I told him that I couldn't continue there, he's like, oh, well, thanks a lot. And then he just hung up on me and I'm like, well, fuck you too, dude. I'm going to a better job. And that's what I did. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. Was that Cody yeah. Rhodes as a zombie? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Could be cameo appearances. Actually, I don't know if my boss was bipolar. He just felt that way sometimes. Seems like he was, but it, oh, he just yeah. had a bad attitude. I mean, well, did you put in your two weeks notice? Uh, actually, I was going to do that, but the other job was telling me, they're like, hey, you know what? We need you tomorrow. I'm like, you people told me that you're not going to start until like next week sometime. I said, I already told my boss that. And they're like, no, they said, we've changed the schedule. You're actually coming in tomorrow. So, yeah, I was in a rock, between a rock and a hard place, and I explained it to him, but he still, he was like, you know, which, uh -oh. I mean, yeah, he probably had the right to be upset, but, you know. Whatever. Yeah, he still had to hang up. Did you explain to him, hey, they changed the, their mind, and now i got to oh, go yeah. tomorrow? Yeah, I told, I told him everything about it. Okay, but well, he, he, just, should, he shouldn't have got mad like that. I can understand if, like, you uh, didn't let him know or just, like, said, well, you know, I, ch I changed my mind. I'm going it. Then I can see him getting upset. But they're like, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, well, I need you in today. And, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I said, I'd come in. I said, but I can't. So I got to, I said, they, they need me there today. I said, I'm starting a new job. But sometimes things just happen in life you don't have control of. This but I did it the right way as best I could. This place reminds me of. Villa from Castlevania 64. Ooh. Nice reference. Jeff. You know, that game sucks, right? The camera angles, it's not going to be better. If it was on a Saturday, we would have better camera angles. Well, if you had a better face, Jeff, you'd probably shut up and... No, no, no. Oh. Oh. It's like oh. someone got killed in Mortal Kombat 2. Oh. 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 Yeah, I thought exactly. Bebop. Oh, Rocksteady was in Mortal Kombat 2. I did the voice act at first when I first played, like, <laughs> finish him. <laughs> Pretty much. Epic music again. I think I have better music than Silent Hill. I guess because Silent Hill don't have music because it's silent. Ah. Now I want some Oreos now for some reason. <laughs> oh, I do have Oreos. A word from Woo. our sponsors. Oreos. That was random. Yeah. I saw in your uh, inventory there the rocket launcher from Goldeneye? Yep. Cool. Cool thing about Wesker, he gets cool weapons. Yeah. The bad part is I really don't use him in this Good God, LP. Oh my God! Imagine if JR had to call ECW 2006. Oh, man. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the uh, it's the revival. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, one of the guys one of the guys from the revival actually uh, grew up in one of the. I think I told you about this, Ronnie. He grew up like about twenty minutes away from where I lived at. He uh, he did he was on the indie circuit there, and um, it's uh, Dawson. That's the one, the one with the handlebar mustache and who's bald. Oh, cool. That, that's, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, his real name is. Um, his last name, his last real name is Har, uh, Harwood. Uh, dang, I forgot what his first name was. Um, but yeah, like I have some friends who like actually really know him in real life. Like they they are friends with him and like friends with his sister. And uh, but I think like recently he moved to Florida. But originally he's he's from the, that town that was like 20 minutes away from where I used to previously live at. So that's pretty cool. And I found out also that my my fiance's father actually kind of has somewhat of like um, a friendship with Lex Luger because he actually used to go by his costume shop that he has here in town. And he says every once in a while, Lex Luger will call him up and they'll chat and whatnot. And I was like, hey, man. But he's like met some other wrestlers too and took, and took like pictures with him because he's, he's, he's big into wrestling. Not, not, you know, current wrestling, but like wrestling from the 90s and the past. Oh, cool. So. 
I thought it was pretty sweet. I was like, dang, I need to go in the shop one day. Maybe he'll be on the phone with Lex. I could talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because I saw the pictures that he had with him, too, and like some of the conversations he had with him he talked to me about. But yeah, he's, he's got him hung up there in the top area. <clears throat> Not me. Oh, oh he, has a, he has a replica belt, too, man. He has the belt of... Uh, I forgot which replica belt it was. Dang it, I can't remember. I'll have to take a picture of it sometime. Whoa, what is hey, that? Oh, brother's on comment. They're coming from the rafters. Can you look out? Look out! Look out! Oh, oh my, what a stiff kick to the face! Mar Ronaldo. These zombies are coming from the rafters here at Resident Evil. Oh, what a stiff kick to the face. Look out! He's what got a stiff appetite kick for to destruction. The stiff. It's those crimson zombies, man, that chase you. Yeah. Mamma mia! Probably the scariest part in the Resident Evil series, from what I've heard, is the Crimson Head zombies. The only way to kill them, I think, is to shoot them in the head. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming after you. And they freaking run at you like a bat out of hell. Yeah, I pretty and much I think they actually them. chase you from room to room, too. You can't just go from one room to the next. They actually come after you, yeah. I believe. You're not safe anywhere with those guys around. Yeah. yeah, that's one reason why I always said I think like in the original when you kill the zombies make sure you crush their head because if you don't they're just gonna come after you like later on when they rise up as crimson zombies. Yeah. And of course the first time playing around you would never know to be like, oh okay, nothing. And yeah, exactly. Like, His like, face is like on. the proverbial Christian mask. Exactly. He's wearing the proverbial crimson mask, King! Hey! Alright, JR. Take that 10 gallon head of yours off to Tennessee Lee! Yeah, JR was great back in the day, but nowadays, anytime he does commentary, I don't know if it's because of his age, or it's also the fact that he's just, well, I mean, it's the freaking PG era, the one that's just castrated wrestling like no tomorrow, you know, yeah, in terms of like character development, so. And today, I think he's just used for a special attraction because he's JR. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that if they went TV 14, he may get a little. Yeah. Well, Even though he's probably the same as owner. And the next the match coming up in Resident Evil. Dracula? Dracula? <laughs> Woo. The T -virus has yeah, what the heck is I going on here? And dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. It's the promo before the match. Just do what you feel like. Yeah, this originally was on Wii and then it was on PS3. Um, yeah, that's where I originally played it on the Wii. I, I was yeah. so glad it came out for the PlayStation 3 out as soon. I don't know if it came out on any other platforms or not. Uh, that's the heck is that? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Somebody from the new ECW? Oh, it's pretty quick. <laughs> So his name is Enemy. Watch out. His name is Enemy. What's that song? Was it from Gospel? Oh, the, the, the enemy. Yeah, exactly. I know what you're talking about, but then again, I can't even think of how to I don't know if it's, sing it at the moment. I don't know if it's Gosmack or I don't remember. They had on SmackDown versus Raw 2007. It was censored. Hey, hey, something, something, son of a shame. What? <laughs> son of a shame. What? <laughs> I, I created Bam Not Bam me. Bigelow. I, I don't know if, I think me. you can unlock Bam Bam Bigelow with that game or something. Seven, I think. Seven does have a song called uh, called Enemy. Yeah, the enemy. Now this one is either Godsmack or uh, I don't know. I gotta go back. You're look. right. It is Godsmack because I remember. Yeah, really? I can't. God, I, can't I mean, I gave Bam Bam Bigelow that that interest music. It's best. I think it's <laughs> most they can fit him in that game. Exactly. Speaking of which, I need to go and played SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. That was the last time they had a SmackDown vs. Raw game, I think, before 2K took it over and just threw it into oblivion. I got it for like $2.50, I think, or $5 or something at GameStop some days ago. Yeah, that's how you do it. Fine. Cheap bastard for life! We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of everything. This was a great condition. Everything. Heck, I bought this game for two ninety nine. dollars so Yeah, and I also got uh, Legends of WrestleMania or something. 250, I think. My behind, I regroup with the star. Uh oh, this is where Wesker turns heel. No time for delay. <laughs> he turns heel. <laughs> 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 
and the real struggle was about to begin. The struggle is real. Indeed, Wes, your struggle is definitely real. You got a sack! You got sacks! Sacks. <laughs> <laughs> this sacks. Uh, it says sacks uh, is a book. Your mother shops at sacks. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Your mom shops in my sack. That, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> Harry sacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. supposed to make any sense. Ball sacks. <laughs> After oh. that episode, he uh, he thought of a Stewart's dad. <laughs> that was prank calling him, and he shoved the phone up his ass. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. <laughs> that was cool. Good time. Yeah. Good episode. <laughs> He, he okay, out. we're here with Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we did that. They did that LP a few years ago on the channel. Shameless plug. Check it out. Oh yeah. We're I'm plugging the... all your videos, Ron. Yeah, with okay, Weavis yeah. and Buttman. That was pretty fun, and I was the principal. <laughs> Weaving the Buttman. <gasps> You're gonna get expelled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jeff, Jeff is Stewart. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff, Jeff is Stewart. Well, you them kids are fucking up in my tool shed. I remember that. Oh, boy. Thank you oh, for tuning oh, in. Oh, and the two. is Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm just the brother of Hank Hill. <laughs> and, and, and Mexico is uh, that, that uh, Japanese foreign ex exchange student that hung out with Beavis and Butthead that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounded racist. I'm sorry I did that. <laughs> you sounded sorry. Video, <laughs> flagged. Video flagged. Beep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Roddy, Roddy is a what's that guy's name? The, the 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 dickhead who would always mess around with Beavis and Butthead. Like he threw him in the trunk of his car or something. No, that's uh, with him. that's J Man. <laughs> <laughs> he like got out of prison and he has like showing like blonde hair and a. I think like a handlebar mustache and yeah. sunshades. No, that's that's, that's J Man. I'd I'd be uh, I'd be I'd be, I'd be I'd be Mr. Manners, <laughs> and uh, no no, Rabbit Spectre, you're a freaking that old that old guy that was a Christian. Oh, I got Mr. Socko here in my hand. Remember him? Uh, oh, oh dang, I can't remember. Yeah. I really can't remember him. He was the original Mr. Socko guy. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Socko, what do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's uh, make a donation. And, and yeah, he's like a, a hardcore, stereotypical, old-school Christian guy. That'd be uh, you yeah. That'd be you to a T. I mean, you look <laughs> it up. And then, uh, But Mr. Buzzcut, I don't know who'd be him. We're going to be talking about the penis and the vagina. We're also going to be talking about the testicles. Beavis and butthead. Do you find that funny? Roll call. Gaylord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Who'd be Mr. Van I don't know. But anyway, I guess we should stop now. <laughs> All right, yeah. guys. Uh, God bless. Take care. Oh, we're still recording. Hey, night, everybody. <laughs> Till next time, folks. This is part two or part eight, if whatever order you're going in. Till next time. Peace. Goodbye. Peace. 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 All right. Peace. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on the Resident After Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Theory, we are I back to Richard and Rebecca, and this rendezvous. is part three. When I arrived, so how's it going, Ron? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, it's all right. Cool. Get to play as Rebecca Chambers again. Hopefully our viewers aren't asleep like Rebecca. She, yeah, she looks like she's bored of watching this LP. But that's yeah. just one person. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is where things get really crazy here. So yeah. you can't tell if Rebecca is psychic or whatever. Or she's just having a bad dream. But uh, this is kind of foreshadowing... What happens next? Whoa. Uh, warning to our viewers. Yeah, if you're not a big fan of snakes, uh, just hit the thumbs up and run and run. Rebecca. Whoa. Richard. It was Stone Rebecca. Cold, a Texas rattlesnake. I'm fine. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Heck yes. We were fighting some monsters. Well. As Jeff would say, it would have been better if it was on the Saturn. Yeah. I see. Because Saturn's out of this world. 
It's not much better on my <laughs> so, end. So who, so who is this? We got This is Richard. Things. He's another member of the Bravo team, the rest of the and team is either in pretty much the only other survivor at this point. So Rebecca and this other survivor, we just have to both find have minimum Rico. experience. Yeah, this isn't really gonna go well now, is know it? What to do. Late again, Tommy? You're pathetic. Shut up, Richard. <laughs> oh man. Somebody, First, yeah, I want to see somebody. You have to get to someplace safe. Uh, you know the reference to that, then put you put a comment. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to hear that. <laughs> it's Enrico. All I'm right. sure he's fine. So let's shoot. And let's just destroy this house by shooting a bunch of bullets into it. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa! We're in here. He mentioned Enrico. 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 Have you seen AVGN's review of Resident Evil Survivor? I have. It was certainly something else. I've never, I haven't expected him to do a Resident Evil review, but that was definitely the one to pick. <laughs> I never even heard of that one. That that review was funny because that game was horrible. It is horrible. I think my friend got it for like two bucks, and I played through it, and I'm I'm just like, ah, oh, never again. Yeah. Never again. I just saw. I mean, it's a good concept, but it just didn't pan out well. Yeah. Noise. What did you shoot just a second ago? Giant bees. Giant bees. Bees! Bee bees in the car! Bees everywhere! Oh, they're huge! They're ripping my flesh off! These people jumping in through the windows and everything. It's like, come on, man. Those windows ain't cheap. Yeah. Now I gotta go back to the Home Depot. Those windows cost my night. Lots and lots of money. I don't know if I brought this up before, but I remember I had a friend or whatever tell me he saw it'd be cool if Resident Evil was a like a light gun game. And this was way back like when Resident Evil 2 came out. And I I don't know that friend no more, whatever somebody from school, but I can only imagine he is like, dang, I thought about that before anybody else, but pretty cool to see Resident Evil like this. The reason I like playing Whoa, look at all those fighters. The reason why I like playing this is you can beat this a heck of a lot faster than any of the Resident Spiders Evil games and you can catch back you can catch up with the storyline. Yeah. So this is Resident yeah. Evil on the go quickly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We have a new challenger. Yep. Yeah, so if you want to, we're at around the uh four minute mark. Right. Whoa, giant bees and giant spiders now, jeez. Yikes. I need me a giant can of raid. There's a zombie, uh, small tummy wonderful. Of course. If Biohazard. <laughs> yeah. A Hey, look at that poster right there with the arm wrestlers. It just reminds me of the Predator right there. <laughs> I wonder if... Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> so this music is more ambient, I guess, as compared to the previous soundtrack from Part 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like about this. Eh, and this will be another area we'll see later on in um, future parts, but as different characters. Ah, cool. Cool, huh? Definitely Mexicul. Oh, hey, now what? What is this? Uh, what video are we in now? Uh, hey, what was that video we did with the pool game a while back? I forgot. <laughs> Minnesota's mm. fat. Yeah, Ma Ma Minnesota. I'm about to say oh. side pocket. Uh, Minnesota fats, yeah. <laughs> this is Resident Evil meets Minnesota fats. <laughs> Imagine him oh. as. Whoa, watch it. Hey, zombie, don't break the door. Never break down the door. I gotta put a stop to Albert, Albert Wesker and this T virus. I'll be right back. He's gonna play. So he's gonna play all the characters of Resident Evil in, the, in a game of pool and take over the Umbrella Corporation, I guess, if he wins. Wow. Oh dear. Oh. What are we going to do about that? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to grab me a soda. <laughs> no Arizona green tea? Nope, not today. Crap. On my end, the font where it says Rebecca looks like, looks like it says Rebecca. Mm. Rebecca. That's funny. Whoa, that was close. You almost became a Rebecca sandwich. You're right. 
And Dan, if you haven't seen it, check out AVGN's review of Resident Evil Survivor. There's a hole behind you. Oh, yeah. I did watch that recently. That was pretty funny. Yeah. I never even heard of that version. I heard about it, and I heard it sucked. That's right. At the request of my friend, Leon S. Kennedy, I was sent here to investigate. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. You did this to us. Yeah. Not me. Not me! Not my! Comment. I started laughing as soon as I seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that from? I can't remember. I don't know if it was light heavyweight or somebody. I don't know. It was just hilarious. They're all. They're all. I seen that. I hear that somewhere before, but I can't remember where. Yeah. And you're on uh, The Walking Dead. And every video that Mexico's ever been in. <laughs> Intergender <laughs> tag team match: Rebecca and Richard versus Jill and uh and. Chris. Uh, Chris. Or Barry or whoever. Whoever said Jill Sandwich. Jill Sandwich. Oh, that was Barry. Yeah, Barry Wyndham. Yeah. I mean, Burton. Barry White. Whoa. All right, Ernest, back up. Wait, go left real quick. I saw something. Go left. Go. Turn oh. left. Dude, why don't you turn I'm... left? Oh, wait. You can't do that. Nah, not on here. I wish. It's not that kind of Resident Evil. Yeah. You just got to ride the rail. What if, what if we made going on to a rail shooter? That'd be interesting. Hmm. Just saying, none the least. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. We're live now underground, underground cave. It's like Shoutgate 64. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, please. no. Never. That game is <laughs> terrible. I gotta give it up to Gen 2, though. Yeah, really. Even Skip <laughs> wouldn't touch that game. He skipped that game. <laughs> Skipping puns. And what's behind door number one? We get to it. We'll find out right after. Now we're from our sponsor. Check out mm -hmm. Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> oh. Should be able to get back above <laughs> We just instantly lost. Uh, subscriber. <laughs> check out Metal Gear Survive. No, oh wait, I'm sorry, that, that's a sponsor from Metal Gear Solid, never mind. Done. The hell with that game. I don't even know, well, I heard about it when I heard Revitech USA talk about it and how it really has nothing to do, it's non-canon, it's just a survival horror, is, there, is Metal Gear meets Resident Evil, or it's just another survival horror game online Walking using dead. Metal Gear's name, yeah. Oh. Yep. And sadly, who Hideo Kojima is not happy. I thought he was going to say Hideo Itami. Uh, I'm good. I can definitely say Japanese names today. Well, snakes! Snakes! I'm tired of these mother-bleeping uh, snakes on this mother-bleeping plane. Oh, ouch. Oh, look out. The, the back up off. Oh. Come on, go Rebecca. 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 I like that name better. Are those, are those ravens or? Well, the raven. Or, or cravens? Oh, oh. Well, the raven never more. Ra what if Raven and uh, West Craven teamed up? Their team name be called Cravens. I don't know. <laughs> And be Cravens for sure. Oh, right. Or Cravens. Quote the Cravens, never more. What are those? Bunch of spiders. Oh, and the Both best way to take those guys out more. is uh, grenades. Submachine yep. gun. I never heard of a submachine gun. I've heard the sub sandwich. Yeah. Subway. Yeah. Fresh. Man, this submachine uh, gun certainly is making me hungry. Cast of, oh, what's that? Castlevania meets Resident Evil here, railgun style. Dun, dun, dun. Area 51. Yeah. That's another unrailed Whoa. shooter. I need scissors. Area 51. Yeah, I now need scissors. Like 61. Yeah. 
Or Tibbs. Oh yeah, Sergeant Tibbs. 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 Calling Sergeant Tibbs. Tibbs, who's in the last part of Metal Gear Solid that we did as Psycho Mantis. Mm-hmm. Let me in. Uh, no ticket, no entry. Yeah. No green card, no entry. Wait. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Trump on the ST2K? No. Yeah. I'm not getting into politics here. This is the wrong place. No. No politics. Yeah, let's talk about the election results. No, I'm kidding. Mm. I guess Ted is cruising on by in Texas. Phil. Huh. Gotta love that voter suppression. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a D house guard dog. No. I like how everything just gangs up on you. They're like, all right, attack them all at once. Yeah. What do we do? Rebecca, hang on. We don't have a choice. We have to make a stand. Sorry, Richard. I'm like, who would survive something Good. like this? Let's do this. Right? Not me. No, oh, got stung. Uh. At least the voice acting in this Resident Evil is much better than, uh, definitely much better than the original Resident Evil and especially Survivor. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, AVGN said a lot of people joke about the first one, but listen to the, the voice acting in Survivor. It's easier to mount it. It's horrible. Yeah. Might be yes. Beyond awful. There we go. <laughs> Just joking. Leon S S S S S Kennedy. I actually did good for one. Yeah. Good job, Mexico. There's a narrator from uh, Resident Evil Survivor. Richard and Rebecca returned to the new Silent Mansion, Silent Hill Mansion, holding on to hope. The two commence their search for and get the narration. Get, narrator gets ahead of the actual text. Mansion, but stay on your toes. Whoa. That's usually how it is. In the no, uh, demolition, this house. Whoa. Rav mutated Ravenous Spectre. Oh dear. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot about the commentary. Ah, oh, sorry, I missed y'all guys again. We'll just do impersonations, everybody. That's not in commentary. We'll we'll just impersonate yep. everybody. Star Soldier here. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Okay. Tibbs here. That was a failed imitation. Bear thirteen. Okay. Points of reference? <laughs> I would impersonate, uh, or would like to impersonate Wee Guy, but we kind of don't like him. Hey, yeah. Don't forget, we're elite members what? of stars. He's better than us now. All right, here we go. In. Oh, it's a, uh, Sally Hill meets Sally Hill Railgun. It'd be kind of insensitive uh, otherwise. Yeah. What was this, Golden Eyes? Is this the facility? Everybody loves the facility. Hey, they had to copy something. Time to facilitate. I find it so convenient that all these weapons are laying. What oh, look I out. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Hopefully we don't get copyright or flag for this. Who let the yeah, dogs whoa. out? Yeah. <laughs> Baja men, people. <laughs> this video has been demonetized. Is this the, is this the mansion from the first game? Yes. And HD graphic, somewhat. High quality grade. Or ADP rules the world. We have to find him. No, it's 1080p, man. 1080p. That's where the numbers are at. I oh, know we're we're being set up. Getting jump. Let's blow up this whole room. It's not a knife. It's a Homie, I'm going to shank you with my knife. That's not a knife. This is a remake of the Villa from Castlevania 64. Huh. Good times. Damn. I thought we'd finally made it. Well, looks like we'll have to find another way. You gotta get the key. 
You need to get a guy. Gotta get hit first. Run, Jenny, run! Love you, Jenny. Gotta get a can, bug. Run, Ronnie, now run! Stay with me. We'll make it through this. Run, Paul, run that uh, yeah, marathon, homie. I know they're related to this too. Oh my goodness. Never mind. Everything's okay. Our main mission now is survival. Having yes. all the Resident Evil survival? Fail. Any good if we're dead. I know, but don't worry, Rebecca. We'll expose all of this. But for right now, we have to focus <laughs> on our job. Jeez, man. I mean, oh, hey, this is a uh, Resident Evil. Umbrella Chronicles meets Crown Patrol. <laughs> oh, Crown <Crime> Patrol? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff would like that one. Yeah, remember Crown Patrol, the uh, American laser game? Oh, yeah, probably. Somewhere that was such down a good the line. Video. Gee, this is like a, everything rolled to one. This is. Oh, dead. This is uh, Castlevania. Oh, wait, you got a fairy. You uh, this is Mortal Kombat? Yeah. No, this is Castlevania meets Crown Patrol. Meets Golden Eye, meets Resident Evil. Or Night Trap. Oh, jeez, yeah. It's a Night Trap. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here, man? Whoa. Who's playing that piano? Such a creepy piano. It's Queen. Mama! Uh, Bohemian Rap Shoddy. Don't be shoddy now. We get Kanye West to sing it. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Don't look out that window. <laughs> <laughs> but there's your window of opportunity there. Uh, plenty of windows. Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Going to the Forest of Silence from Castlevania 64. <laughs> I guess so. Uh oh. And in silence, I kill you. Hey, <laughs> just pimp slap that dog. The ECW slap. Boom. <laughs> Rebecca, which chambers would she report to? Ron's chamber. <laughs> oh my. Or Ronnie James deal. <laughs> Rest in peace there, brother. Yep. Wait, he, saving, please do not. How come they didn't say that? Oh, wait, that's not voice acting part. Alright. They should have. Saving, please do not re turn off your system. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait Rebecca, we're saving. Please do not turn off the system. Boom. There goes my file. Now I gotta start all over. <laughs> no! Make sure you have a battery in the Sega Saturn or, uh, so you can save in your highlight game just like AVGN did. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, you use a watch battery. Alfred Hitchcock, oh. the birds. <laughs> it's a murder of crows I'm trying to murder Rebecca. <laughs> or Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. Don't be a real talker. That's a young, uh, not sure. Tim Burton, Barry Burton. He's out there somewhere. Bowie. So uh oh. Don't give up hope. I don't like where this is going. Besides, I'll back you up. Oh dear. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? You can get killed. That's what can go wrong. Indeed. Whoa. And the fine pet snake. And her nightmare comes true. See, folks, nightmares do come true. Anaconda. Like Nightmare on Elm Street. This is yeah. 
We need to retreat. Oh no, it's the anaconda from uh. uh Man, that snake is solid. Oh. Yeah. Somebody needs to drain that snake. Yeah. I will with this shotgun. I've got a shotgun. So as you fight Jake here, what's the weakness? Uh. uh liquor? Fighting snake man. Liquor. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. Uh, lick it well. This snake lick right it, here it. is one of the snakes you fight in Snake Man stage. Yep, that is very true. But why did it have to be a snake? Don't let it snake up on you. Huh. What was this, Snake Rattle and Roll for PS3? Snake Rattle Roll. That was kind of a good game. Solid snake rattle and roll. What well, they made a combination of Elgar Solid and that. Huh. Interesting. If Weird Al made video games, he'd make a parody of that. He would. That would be interesting. Yeah. Quite interesting. I love me some parodies. Yeah. Oh, look out. Yeah, I kind of like how I need to look out. This part kind of looks like the castle center in Castlevania 64. Huh. Oh, shoot. Look out. Oh, no. Man, if you have a phobia for snakes, you don't want to play. If you have a rhinophobia or snake phobia, yeah, don't play this. I, even though I'm born in the year of the snake, I really don't like snakes. Wait, this similar boss was in the first Resident Evil, right? Yes. Uh, oh. Whoa. 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 He's looking, Whoa. He's looking at me funny. <laughs> oh dear. Don't we hate it when people just look at us funny? Yeah. Wait, it's that cool. snake is body the Macho Man Ready Savage. <laughs> Rest in peace, Randy Savage. Snake, just shoot him. Shoot, 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 and shoot some more. And then shoot some more, and then reload. That's my strategy. Yep. And now, word from our sponsor. Check out SC2K. We are our own sponsor. Yeah, we're sponsoring ourselves. Yeah. Small Tummy Wonderful, otherwise the Black Cat. Magnum Revolver, Ocelot. Ocelot was probably the most badass character of them all. Uh, I think, well, yeah, I, I think my favorite boss would be Psycho Mantis. Ooh, yeah, and how Psycho Mantis was tragic. Oh. Oh, he's hungry. Hungry for some more bullets. And the face. You always need bullets. As Kip Rogers would say. Oh, yeah, Kip Smithers. I wonder what it's Kip Rogers would say. Hmm. Or Crocodile Dundee. Oh, that's a good one. Concentrate be, fire. Be sure to drink plenty of herbal seasoning tea. Yeah, yeah, fire, Whatever. fire, me, me. And Yogi Tea, that's another sponsor of ours, and Arizona Tea. Arizona Green Tea. This is Snake. <laughs> Colonel, can you hear me? Colonel. Finally. Snake! Snake! Whoa. You're kidding, right? That's Mario. That is over. Oh, no. Yeah, that looks pretty dank. Thanks, Nemus. Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot a lot more than that, Rebecca. I would unload a whole clip. Yeah. <laughs> Just unload everything. Hopefully that snake's defenomized. Richard! Ah, brother.
I messed up good. Well, what will happen? Tune in next me. week. <laughs> Same bat time. Don't make Same bat face. channel. <laughs> <laughs> We've still got to have hope. Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. I hated how well, things things just went from bad to worse. Seeing Richard lying there. Oh, it seemed to happen. Things there. went to hell in a handbasket, I, I guess. Was, I had to fight. Yeah, if I don't say so myself, yep. No matter what happened, I'll Damn. prove I have what it takes to survive. Metal Gear survive. What a joke. <laughs> Alright, didn't do as good as last time, but uh, better than I usually do. Hey, Hopefully you made an A. Good. I got an A. You got an A plus for yeah, effort. You got an A. Got an A! Yeah. Alright, folks, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks for joining me, Ron Moore and Small Tummy Wonderful. This is the of next course. Week. I'll let you guys end this before right. I screw it up. <laughs> God bless, take care. Follow the black cat. Hey guys, welcome back to another Resident Evil LP on the ST2K channel. Joining me today is Ron Mower. How's it going? Uh, pretty ECW. Not pretty ECW for uh, some of these stars members. It looks like they were getting eaten up by dogs. Are these superstars members? The WWE superstars? Yep, superstar shakeup. I don't know. <laughs> Run, Chris, run! Whoops, wrong. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> yeah, if I had dogs chasing after me like that, I'd be gone. Remember, folks, you don't have to be faster than the dogs. You just have to be faster than your friends. You almost became dog food. You're right! What is this hall? Uh-oh. Peter just flagged her video. What was that? You know, the other thing I like about the Umbrella Chronicles it's is it tells alone. the story of Resident Evil. Um, a lot faster right. than playing through the actual game because it's a rail I shooter so you can get through the story a lot more faster as opposed to playing the original game with the tank controls which I wasn't too big of a fan of yeah me either plus the graphics look amazing and this is kind of hard to see I mean this is like wow this is a I mean this is a newer Resident Evil game well it would have been I mean this game it's hard for me to believe that this game's 11 years old so yeah, yeah. Time flies. Don't open that door. Yeah. Too late. I did not like the tank controls either. Jeez, what is uh -oh. that? Uh, all, all you can eat buffet. Nope, oh, looks like he's done. Yeah. Oh no, we were too late. No, we're always too late. Too late. And as you see later on in these LPs, I actually get a lot better at this game than when I What's first started. <laughs> yeah. And I think I really was not really too good when I first started. I was just like, ugh. But now, a lot better. Oh, where did he come from? Don't know, don't care. Too. We need to get out of here. Look at this mansion. Oh my god. Will Jill everywhere. become a sandwich? We'll find out. Now work for our sponsors. What are these dun, things? Dun dun dun. What what if Resident Evil actually marketed that and they sold Jill sandwiches? Jeez. I'm I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't do something like that in Japan or something. You know, yeah. Japan's uh they do all kinds of weird stuff, so yeah. they're actually something I'm not too surprised, but I, I never thought of or whatever, is I just found out that a while back ago they used to have a Resident Evil slot machine in Japan or whatever, which is pretty interesting, but it, I guess it was only available over there. That's why I kind of never heard of it until now. Oh, cool. I'm so, surprised they didn't make a Resident Evil RPG. <laughs> that would be interesting. I'm sure somebody has thought about something like that, but... It's just never happened. Yeah. Chris Redfield. It's locked. Rebecca Chambers. Way. Behind you. Oh no. Let go of me. You know this is actually 
pretty fun when you're playing with the motion controls. I can't imagine uh, playing this ooh, with the controller. You know, rail shooters and controllers, they don't mix. It's, it's not really that fun. Who likes shooting this bad guys with no the good. controller? We need to keep I do. This game not is off the rails. Along the way. It's off the rails. Unlike me. Not me! You did this to us. Not my. Somebody, if I put a comment. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Yeah, just, when all else fails, just blow everything up. Right. I've got so a shotgun. I'm not afraid to use it. Whoa. Never came running Everybody. after you. Yeah, he wasn't too happy about me destroying this room. Especially after he remodeled it. Maybe that's why he tried to attack me. I will do as I please. Come on. Zombie Nation for PS3. Oh, right. I'll check it out. It's not my house, so I'll destroy all the windows. It wasn't me. There's your window of opportunity. Uh oh. It's oh. coming right after. Just press the buttons. And here's like Peter. Old... Uh oh. Peter's here. I'm gonna take our video down. Because they're evil. So, Ron, did you ever get into any of like these kind of games, like the rail shooters or anything? Or no, not too much? No. The only shooters I was really interested in, Chris, other than Contra, is like, or Mega Man, is like a, a Goldeneye. That's pretty much it. Oh, okay. That is a good one, though. Don't go behind that corner. Too late. I've got a knife, and I'm not afraid to use it. No, I think I'm just going to use my gun instead. Ouch. I like how these zombies die a lot better than in Resident Evil Survivor. Oh, man. They just fall flat on the ground. Gravity just sucks them to the ground. Yeah, these ones yeah. just... Fix it! It's me! Your mother! My mother! Oh. Vincent, please! I want you to stop committing those terrible crimes! Leave Umbrella! And please come back home! <laughs> that was actually way better than what they did, so... Was that his yeah. mother or Paul Bearer in the voice message? Well, I guess, I guess they hired Paul Bearer and they're like, ah, whatever. And he's yeah. like, alright, I'll do it in one take. And then he did it in one take and that's how it came. You're the detective. Your name is Art Thompson. What? Jintu, I dare you to do an LP of that bit. Of hey, uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, if you play. dare him to do it, he will. He did Shoutgate 64. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to hate us. He's like, why do you guys keep daring me to play all these? If you dared me, I definitely wouldn't do it. So, no. Yeah. My thing. I've already played through it one time. One time's more than enough. Man, this mansion is so big, it just feels like we're going around in circles. You know, Raven Spectre could do the voice acting for Chris Redfield. Oh yeah, he'd be good at that. <laughs> you almost came a chill sandwich! You gotta get good! You gotta get good now! He's on your ass! He's oh, gonna get you! This one's quick. Imagine being in that scenario, you're unarmed and that zombies just come right after you. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much screwed then. Ouch. I didn't know for the longest time, until like years ago, that zombies could run. Yeah, that's the scary part about zombies. It's most of the time you would just think that they're just gonna go after you all slow, and you're like, ah, the I I, I still got a chance to get away. But when they're running after you, There's it's like, okay, got to make sure I'm able to no run kidding. too. I don't think this is. Yeah, they're called walkers, not runners. This is the area where all yeah. There's got to be some. Or what's his name would call them? Biters. Stranger and stranger, but Ooh. I think you're right. I I forget his name. Dang it. The governor. He used to call him, oh, was it, yeah. Biter? <laughs> the Biters. Those Biters. You know, Ravis Petra would have made a good governor. 
Oh, he would. Get off of me! Get off of my. Oh. Just blow everybody up. It just makes things easier. Yeah, Rounder Spectre's not here with us because he's too good for us and wants to play Blue Living Redemption or whatever it's called. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was an awesome live stream. It was, he did one of that. I think he's done more than one, but the one I watched or whatever. Um, yeah. Let's just say things didn't go out according to plan, which made it more interesting nonetheless. Yeah. Man, who let the dogs out? They're supposed to be outside. They're not. These are outdoor dogs, not indoor dogs. Right? Who let the dogs in? Yeah, that's what it was. And now, word from our sponsor: Plumbers don't wear ties for PS3. Oh God. The real gun shooter. Who will ever play that game again? Did somebody dare Jeff to play that game? Yeah, no, Jeff probably play it again. <laughs> play it on his own. <laughs> Oh no, they're everywhere. And if everybody's seen from our previous uh, LPs of this uh, game, then this spot looks familiar too. A lot of these uh, levels just recycle the same areas, but with just different characters. Which is kind of fun because you're playing this as different characters. Come at me, bird. That's a huge chandelier. I know. I can't imagine how much electricity comes out of there. It's like, all right, we're not running this thing. Oh no, they're still alive. They're coming this way. The electricity bill for this match must be insane. When zombies bite you or try to bite you, just stab them in the head and kick them. Yeah. And shoot them in the head. Have you made contact with Bravo team? No, I can't reach them. Let's look for survivors. It's like deja vu all over again. Wasn't I just here? Oh no, that was uh, Rebecca and Richard. Deja vu for PS3. Coming soon. The real gun shooter. Gee, it's like everything just gangs up on you. It's like, alright. Shoot you in the head. You know, come think of it. Deja vu. You know that meme? Oh, I don't know. Well, you don't use Facebook that much, but you might have... You don't use Facebook at all, but you might have seen that meme where... It says, it shows this guy sitting at a table drinking coffee, and it says, blah, 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 I changed my mind. Not like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, somebody sent me that in a text message. <laughs> I, would, I would sit there with coffee at a table with a sign saying, Deja Vu is nothing more than a 8-bit uh, NES Resident Evil point and click, changed my mind. Oh, exactly. Or Resident Evil is a glorified, uninvited. No change my mind. No. I hope everyone's all right. My mind just changed. Spectre, change my mind. Don't shoot through that door. Oh no, the birds are out. And now we're for sponsors. This is Raven. Check out my ECW matches on the WWE Network. Look Trust out. me, I have. Fuck the Raven. Let's go around. Never more. This way. Got it. Watch me as I abuse Stevie Richards. Didn't Raven hold like the United States Championship in WCW like for like one day or something or a week or yeah. I forget. He beat DDP Ford and then lost it the next night to Goldberg. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, your first opponent, Goldberg. Oh my. Well, I might right. as well just hand him the belt. <laughs> right, yeah. How could this happen? Well, because you let it. It's all your fault. Yeah, not you me. did this. Everybody in the comment section. Not me. <laughs> I probably will. I, I still remember I seen the comment or whatever. Somebody's thought, where is that from? <laughs> I was laughing as soon as I seen that. I was like, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to later on tonight. Mexico will live stream. Plumbers don't wear ties. Not me. Not me. <laughs> no, Jeff would live stream that on S2K. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting sick. I can't go to the live stream. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. Get off me. Jeez, how many of those little knives does Chris have? Right. Chris, you almost came a Chris kebab. He are right. Oh, that was awful. No, it would have fit the original game a lot better. Yeah, imagine that would have been so cheesy that it would have been awesome if they did that back then. First, you had Jill sandwich, and then he became a Chris kebab. You start. I'm. You know, I want to know who wrote the script for this for the original game. Did Vince they not? Russo. No. Pro oh wow. Well, there solves that problem right there. Who's? Yeah, oh uh -oh. shoot. The giant snake Yo. again. Your discretion is advised, giant right. snake. First you had Raven up here. Now we're from other sponsor. This is Jake the Snake Roberts. Check out my match on WWE screwed. Network. Get around it and keep Trust me. Right. Watch me as I make my snake bite. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. I can't do a Macho Man. I forgot how he worded it, but Jake Roberts did that awesome promo on the Men Dollar Man at WrestleMania 6. How ironic that the very money that you grovel for will be your very own. Ooh. Now that's something there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did, he, him and Teddy Biasi did the best promos. Oh, this shoot. Sneak. Oh. Yeah, he's your fairy? Oh, you're dead. I am dead. Yes, this, folks, this ain't a I am not. Chill world. Can't lie. I'm what not. Watch the fangs. I not like one of those people that are an expert at this game. Give me another chance, and I'll take this snake down. At least it's you don't start over. Yeah. Oh man, that would suck. Yeah, that wouldn't sit too well with me. <laughs> it's because you had continues. I wasn't paying attention there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Save your continues from when you need them. And just shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. The snake has a lot of problems attacking people. I don't know what. It must not be a people person. Well, this snake seems pretty solid. Indeed. Check out that LP if you haven't already. Shameful plug. Open your mouth so I can shoot you. Yeah. Eat these bullets. Maybe the snake's from uh, Soviet Union. In Soviet Union, yeah. snake kill you. Oh no. I remember, I forgot what weapon Jintu used to take this thing out. I think it was the grenade launcher. I forgot. I gotta Which go back I and watch that LP again. Yeah, another shameless plug, but we'll take it. Yeah, I think it was a grenade launcher. And before every game, too, you can select like uh, which weapons you would like to have equipped with you or whatever, which is kind of cool. I didn't select the grenade launcher for getting that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fight a big ass snake, so. Yeah. Oh! That snake got hit in the top of the head. Now he's got CTE. It's wounded. Now's our chance. Yeah, what does CT stand for? Has, I know it has something to do with like brain injury, but what does the letter stand for? I have no idea. Somebody in the comment section, uh, you'll probably put it. I don't remember. I know it's. No, I don't want to sound stupid. I don't. I don't. I. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> uh, cat scan. Uh, I don't know. Cameo appearance by Rebecca. And Richard. Alpha team. So although we're not playing as Rebecca, okay we get to now. see her again. Nice. Jeez, I think if I was covered in blood, I would have at least wiped some of it off. I wouldn't have been... I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, I actually got an S rank. ECW Is rank. The ECW rank. E C freaking W. Wesker was still Mia. What? I know someone named Mia. Oh, M I A. <laughs> Mama My Mia. Old boss is, it's Mia.
Yeah, Mar Mauro right. Ronaldo reading this. Still missing it. Mamma mia! But we left them with enough ammo and medicine to protect themselves. Shameless plug. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the wrong hill as they faced we have to dogs. Find a way to make contact with someone on the outside. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Wesker. We need to find the others. Right. Let's hurry. I would say, why is it so dark? But then I remember I shot out all the lights. <laughs> oh yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Lights out! Lights out. Well, I shut out all the lights. Now you save a bunch of money on your electricity bill. Cool, let's go for a swim in this pool. The dead pool. Am I right? Ooh. Headshot. This ain't no kitty pool. They're, oh no, we can't cross here. And then if they just jumped over that thing right there, they would be on the other side. Oh, what just happened right there? Yeah, just like a little small cutscene. Like I just on the original game, you know, this is where you would use that crank or whatever, and then it would drain this pole, and then you could go across. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, some of the areas look might look familiar. Well, they're just better graphics or whatever. But some of the areas, you know, original Resident Evil fans would probably see. They'd be like, "Oh, I recognize that area." And then, of course, the people that played the remake, they'll be like, "Oh, I recognize that area." So yeah. this is a remake of the remake as a rail shooter. I recognize Jeez. this area. Jeez, how many times are they gonna remake this game? Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking baby to you, snake now. Snake! Well, I say baby snakes. Those are full-grown snakes, but not compared to the snake we've been seeing. Oh yeah, that snake was out of this world. Oh, uh, look who came crawling back to me, begging for help. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, didn't know that was going to happen. Or did I? The Texas rattlesnake has struck, King. Ah! Austin 316. We're alive here in Texas. Yeah, right. Where's this game take place? Uh, they never actually say. They just say some northwest... I don't know, United States, somewhere there. They never give, like, really a specific area. They just say Northwest United States something. I have no idea. Yeah. Could be in the same town as, uh, uh, Minnesota Fats, for all we know. Can't tell if these are pet snakes or these are just random wild snakes. Oh, good. Good morning to you, sir. Mind if I shoot you in the head? Just waking up for your nap. I wonder what the gaming glitch gremlin would do in this game. Oh, it's an interesting question. Glitch. You haven't ran in. Glitch. Glitch. Oh, oh. Oh, got to blow into the cartridge. <sighs> no, I'm joking. That didn't work. I'm blowing the CD. <laughs> Actually, on the original Resident Evil, well, the one for the Saturn version anyways, I, I played it, and I don't know, I think I had a fingerprint or something, or I don't know, it's glitched, that one actually glitched out on me. So, that was pretty weird, like the backgrounds didn't have any detail, or maybe it was just because the Sega Saturn was just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whoa, buddy, you're sneaking up on me. I don't got any spare change. Sorry. <laughs> Give me your spare change. Like there are two ways Spare to me. Which one should we take? And this is what I like about the game. You can pick which way you want to go. Obviously, cool. I'm going to go through the water. Oh no. My clothes, they're all wet. Yeah. Game over. No, I'm joking. I died of ammonia. Yeah, I died of putting ammonia. Ammonia. What is pandemonium here, King? Ah! It's pwn no more. Pwn demonium, demonium. Dang it, Phil. Don't worry, we'll do it again. We're sorry, we're live. Yeah, we're okay. Anyway, it's pwn demonium. <laughs> That'd be funny if we were, were really were live in a live stream. Uh, I'll tell you, hold on, let me edit that out. Ronnie, we're live. Oh yeah, that's right. He almost became a Sid sandwich. You're right. Sid, shut up. Yeah. No way, Sid. Alright. Welcome to the S2K show. This is Ron Moore, and I'm here 
with a special interview with Sid. Shut up! Exactly. This is my interview now! You shut your stinking mouth. Oh no, here comes the Rolling Rock. Oh, where's James Rolf at? Oh. Now what is this, Indiana Jones? I know, they just stole a bunch of other stuff from like a bunch of different things, like games, movies, and threw it all into one. Yeah, or is this the Goonies? Oh, it's shoot. Now is it uninvited yeah, where you go awesome. down that path and you get killed by John Spider? Oh no, the spiders, they're attacking. They're no match for my gun. Good thing they don't have guns. It's Goma's children. Oh no. Now for revenge. That big old spider is meant to be the boss, but I, I just threw a grenade at him and killed him. Because I yeah. figured it'd be a lot easier. I'd be like, ah, why waste my time with this big spider when I could just blow him up with the grenade? Yeah. We can use the crates to climb out of here. And of course, this is another part from the previous Resident Evil video where Rebecca and Richard jump down there. But instead, this time we're going up. Where are we? Looks like we ended up in another building. Man, that's a big old hole in the floor right there. Somebody needs to fix that. Good day to well, you, let sir. Him in. Yeah, let him in. Come on. Show some hospitality. Come on oh. Ugh. I didn't think, he didn't think it was he didn't think he was actually gonna get in. He just kept yeah. Hitting the window and it finally broke and he went in. Ugh, yeah. I'm all cut up. Somebody get him a band aid. Zombies run. When they run, it's scary. Jeez. Lethal Forcers meets Resident Evil. Oh man, that'd be an interesting game. That was on the Sega CD. Why didn't Jeff do that one? Right. Lethal Enforcers. Well, you know, hey, Ernest, I can't do them all, okay? <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't know Jeff was here for a second. Only yeah, watch you, er Ernest, why don't you go to camp? I just got back from camp. Wake up, sir. Sir, are you all right? Well, all right, guys, this is the end of the LP. We enjoy your views, and before I <laughs> we mess enjoy anything your views up, and opinions. <laughs> Yes, take the survey below. Anyways, though, thank you for watching this video, and we'll join you. Uh, I'll let Ron do this before I screw it up. No, don't go. Well, sorry, we got to go this time. We'll see you uh, in part five. God bless and take care. Till next time. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on this LP, the ECW Umbrella Chronicles. Thank you for showing up, Ron Moore. How's it going? Yeah, I barely showed up. Uh, well, I'm still here. Uh, now, you're not going to flag this video and give us a third copyright strike, are you? No, I'm not that kind of person or whatever. Okay, that's good. Because this is uh, copyright free anyway. So. Yes. This ain't even my footage. I mean, I recorded it, but it's not my game. I mean, I need to come up with it. No, yeah, Mexico owns the copyrights to Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. And the 1947 NFL Championship game. Yeah. For some, I got copyrights to that, but somehow I did. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, so now we're still in. Okay, you're still playing as Jill and Chris Redfield yeah. for Resident Evil 1, right? Yeah, we're, we're finishing up the Resident Evil 1 saga right here. Well, pretty much or whatever. We got another chapter with Wesker coming up, hint, tense. But this ends the chapter of Resident Evil 1 pretty much right here. Okay, uh, Albert Whisker. Albert Whisker. Whoa, Reports water. the principal's office. I know, before when I first seen this, I was like, this looks like gas. I don't know. And I was like, oh, no, never mind. It looks like water. And somebody forgot to feed sharks, so they're pissed off. Angry sharks. Angry yeah, there's something in the water, all right. Oh, man. We're Samuel L. Jackson. If you could help us, 
No, never mind. It didn't end too well for him. <laughs> Water. 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 Whoa. That shark's not playing around. What's going on? It's Shark Boy. Shell, yeah. Shark Boy 316 said. I don't know. I remember when I first seen that gimmick. I, I forgot like, what he said. Uh, Shark Boy. What does it say? Shark Shark Boy 316 says. I just. I forgot. I don't know. Somebody, please, in the comments, as always, post what he said. That was so long ago in TNA. I remember that. I'm sure. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I forgot his YouTube name. He knows a lot about wrestling. He'll probably post a comment. I don't know exactly what's going uh Oh, on. oh, shoot! Watch out! Oh no! We're being attacked by the by the a super by Metroid the boss. Oh no! This is what happens, to people, when you don't cut your weeds. They get really <laughs> big and turn on yeah. you. Yeah, I'm in the weeds. I need help. Help! And then you get big old holes in your house, and you're wondering, oh. God. Yeah. I gotta go to Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot. Home Depot. A word from our sponsor. Home Depot. Yeah. Open. Oh, Open. copyright Open. strike when you get permission to say Home Depot. Uh oh. What is we'll just have to blank it out. Like a giant, looks yeah. like a giant plant. Alright, home. It's a spore spawn from Super Metroid. Oh no. We're gonna die. Of course we're gonna die. We're gonna live! No. Wait. Hopefully. Alright, Claire Panker. You're not gonna die! Ah! Dies. When... This week on, when plants attack... Dangerous. Got it. You better be careful too. Ooh. The plant is done. Oh, Peter Flagger video. You're destroying uh, uh, that beautiful yeah. plant. Don't you guys only care about animal? This is a plant man <laughs> drinking the mutagen from Ninja Turtles 2 in order to become Freaking super plant man or whatever he turns into. Super plant man. Scuba. Scubab. Scubab. After fighting off an arm I can't do Wesker's uh I can't either. Accent. Chris and Jill. Should have been Jack. Ah Jack and Jill. <laughs> Stumbled upon a hill. Underground research facility. There was no doubt that Wesker was here. The two carefully descended down into the darkness, not knowing what lurked below. Something big was going down here. I got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I got some bad news too. I'm about to shoot their heads off. Yeah. Stand still. Oh, uh, oh. Just shot my head off. Zombie no. wrong or Our RIP headphone users. We're Actually, sorry. Uh, zombie wrong or Just a zombie riding on, riding on a John Deere lawnmower. Whoa. I don't know. That's something that uh, maybe Vince McMahon's new ECW would think of something like that. That's a great idea. Nope, it's <laughs> not. Well, the Mexicals. Yeah, that was something else. And yeah. to, yeah, that was something else. I remember when they first came out, I was like, um, not sure what to say about this. I thought it was <laughs> funny. Oh, you're racist, Ronnie, you know? My friend Venom22 is Mexican. He thought it was freaking funny. He loved the Mexicals. The Mexicals were all good. I mean, you, they were a good trio of wrestlers all put together in a stable. It worked out pretty well. I remember, uh, uh, Hoover 2 did a promo. You know the gringos say that we lacy and we fat, and you know what? 
They're right. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about how we, we need to improve and rise above the Gringos. Let's hurry. I'll give him one thing though. Yeah, out of the three of them, of course, he is the best at cutting promos or whatever. Yeah, super crazy. And psychosis didn't talk too much. Yeah, they're, they're, you know their main language, of course, is Spanish or whatever. But when they would, you know, gotta or, give it up to who, but you yeah. have those promos. Or psychosis in Mexico. Oh, sí. Mexico, 187. Conan's finished uh, move. The 187. Yeah. Which way will we go? Which way will we go? Dude, I which way did he go? Which way did he go? Screw it, we're oh. gonna go this way. What is that right there? Let off some steam, Bennett. Whoosh, whoosh. I can imagine a uh, rail shooter based off the movie Commando. That'd be cool. Ooh. You're a funny guy, Mexico. I like you. That's why I'm gonna kill you last. Nice. Seems about right. Oh. Gentoo's asleep right now. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. Oh, better to be dead tired than just dead. Yeah. Uh, someone told me a story one time where this guy was so sick that he drank a whole bottle of NyQuil just to feel better and knock himself out. He was like asleep for three days straight, and his wife got scared and called 911. <laughs> they had to revive him. Oh wow! Yeah, the, the, even one day is a long time, but three yeah. days—I I can't imagine. I mean, lucky to be alive, downing a whole bottle of Nyquil. What was he thinking? He was thinking about going to sleep and waking up, uh, free from a cold, but. He's lucky he woke up. Oh, ouch. A sneak attack. Uh oh, what's this? Alien? Is that alien rail shooter? Rail gun shooter. We've just transferred from Resident Evil to Alien. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Aliens Umbrella Chronicles. I would still would love to see a Walking Dead rail gun shooter. Not me! Not my! What's this? Big Foley's boiler room? Mankind's boiler room? Yeah, we're just passing through. Remember when uh, he was. I think he. Uh, yeah, he beat up Sergeant Slaughter, Pat Patterson, Joe Briscoe in the boiler room? Oh, God. I, yeah, whenever I think of a boiler room, that's what I think of. Yeah. They couldn't find it at first, so they were scared to go down there or whatever it was. Jerry Briscoe goes. Mr. Matt Man, I uh, I couldn't. No, Pat Patterson goes. I couldn't find the boiler room. You're I couldn't find the boiler room. This place is huge. And Vince goes, you couldn't find the boiler room. You couldn't find your ass. And Briscoe goes, I know where it's at, Mr. Matt Man. And Vince goes, he's sitting on it. Is that what you mean? Uh, no, sir. I'm talking about the boiler room. <laughs> Then he finds the boiler room, he comes back. Well, I found the boiler room and there was weird weird noises going on down there and it kind of fright me, I didn't go in. And Sergeant Slaughter goes, Briscoe, you're such a wuss. Hey, don't call me a wuss. You're a wuss, why didn't you bring him up here? There's weird noises going on down there. And then Sergeant Slaughter goes, I'll bring him back. He comes back all scared, not doing anything either. So they all go down there with riot gear on, helmets or whatever. And Mankind still beats all three of them up. Another win for Mankind. Yeah. Oh, no. One small step for Man. One giant leap for Mankind. Indeed. One giant leap for Mick Foley. One giant leap from the Hardcore Division to the WWF title. Yeah. It's around the corner. I'm so paranoid. Oh no. Oh shoot. Everybody just hangs up and fun. this. Alright, you get them. Alright. If you don't get them, I'll get them. If I don't yeah, get them, yeah. somebody else will get them. If they were smart, they would all just gang up on us. Oops. Yeah. 
Well, they're zombies. They're not exactly smart. Oh, uh, the video got flagged by Zombie Nation. Huh, yeah. You find that offensive, Ron Mower, about zombies. zombies yeah. Do they really? Let me follow a counterclaim and give the claimant my personal information. Zombie wouldn't even know what to do with it. Yeah. They'll trap me down and, and that's how that's how he finds Ooh, that's how he eats me. Oh, wait a minute. Do you got a fairy? Yep, you got Magic a fairy. Spray. Yeah. Magic spray. Oh, oh. I'm sure that guy's headache is gone now. Yeah. I remember after Glenn was killed in The Walking Dead, someone made a meme for a commercial for Excedra Migraine, and it showed him standing there, and it says, Ever have a splitting headache as if someone bashed your brains in with a barbed wire baseball bat? Well, I have. I know how it feels. Try Excedra Migraine to feel better or something like that. <laughs> Ow. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh. And that was a word from our sponsor. He just kicked him through the wall. You see that? Yeah, that was. That was, uh. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I remember the last part, he kicked someone so hard, he kicked him up the stairs. It's like, you're, I'm gonna kick you up the stairs. <sighs> yeah. Oh, time to let off some steam. Bought this game now on Steam. Shameless plug. Shoot out all the lights and save this place a bunch of electricity. Yeah. I've just saved a bunch. I've just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to. Nope. Oh, never mind. Right. Yeah. Forget them. I went progressive. Ooh. Shots. Oh, what is this? Shinobi three stage three. Yeah, oh, they had to get it from somewhere. Oh, oh Wesker taking his insulin. Uh oh. Yes, folks, diabetes is real thing. Tyrant, what is this thing? Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? What? Tonight what? was an excellent Wesker just turned hill? On Umbrella's biological weaponry. Or was it that he was always ill? He was just pretending to be a baby face. You set the team up. Swerve. Excellent deduction, Jill. Oh, the that stars are just banned, anyway. just like the shield. However, I don't need them anymore. The Who dares wake me from my slumber? Tyrant. Is this the boss of Resident Evil 1? It's yeah. Beautiful. Just a high definition graphic. You know, it looks a Whoa. little different. Uh, ouch. Well, if that was a crane game, I would say he won. He won a prize. And he doesn't want it. I don't blame him. <laughs> His own creation turned on him. Oh my god. He turned heel. So who's the heel here? Everybody's heel. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, boss... Chris Looks familiar. Didn't you find him in part three or something? Or is no, no, no. never mind. How could they keep it's like a, it's a, oh, with Rebecca, a yeah. Prototype? Like a, yeah, it's like a prototype. But, oh, okay. Similar. And all else fails. Full grenade. Blow stuff up. Wow, that was too easy. Well, I guess that's the end of this LP. Now. Oh wait, it's not. Make sure he's dead. Like the angry videos that Nate Nerd says, this is the end. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, we're scot free. We just gotta get to the helicopter. Oh no. Kermit the Frog's attacking us. Yeah, <laughs> Kermit the Frog. He's all buffed up. Yeah. Gee, I don't know if I could defeat these guys. Well, you better do it, Kermit! Well, Gen 2, Ron Moore didn't do a Chris LP, but I did. Yeah. But it wasn't on Resident Evil 1. Well, you know, it's Umbrella Chronicle, so it kinda is. This is Brad. If there's anyone alive, contact me now! Brad! I'm at the heliport, but I'm running out of fuel. This is your last chance. Is anyone out there? 
The heliport. This way. Yeah, we're here. Hello? Hello? Get to the chopper. Yeah. Get to the chopper! Come on, I'm here! Kill me now! Come on! Do it! Do it now! Shoot the lights out. It's dope. Who shot all the lights? Oh, wait. Shot to the heart! And you're to blame! You give this game a bad name. And now they're like, no, we get this video on copyright strike. No. Uh, strike no. three. Rest in peace, SD2K. Hopefully not. If that happens, we're taking YouTube with us. Well, not really, but. <laughs> I would like to. We'll just honest. come back as zombie SD2K, just like these guys. <laughs> Oh, that is guys just spitting all over the place. Leave me alone, Resident please, YouTube, the s 2 k archives, or Chronicles. I know, isn't there like an Armac archive that somebody did or something? Armac, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Hey, somebody better do that for us. Yeah, really. If you're listening, please try to archive our videos. Not that we're too lazy to, it's just that, yeah, that's the answer. Well, we do we gotta get to the top of the ladder, grab the championship, yeah. and we win. No, no frogs allowed. Get away from me. Get away from me. All else fails, just grab the baddest gun in your arsenal and shoot her. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But the team. We have to save that for later. To be continued. Let's get moving. What will happen next week on this Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, the soap. This way, we can radio Brad for help. Dun dun dun. Now who's Brad? Brad is somebody that Jeff cosplayed a while back ago. Now he's the helicopter pilot. Oh, okay. Although that fact is true though. Man, that's not the helicopter pilot that crashed the helicopter in Resident Evil Survivor, is it? I hope not, because that guy definitely Crashing the helicopter. Take. How does this guy still have a job? Ooh, launch pad. Oh wait. Oh no, he's back. What? Oh man. I gotta say this launch pad was pretty disappointing. Three, two, Persistent one. one isn't it? Shoot him in the chest. Shoot, we shoot, didn't shoot, come this shoot. far to die. Now we need to take him out. It's not working. It must have a weakness. Shoot him what with the bag now. Uh, how about his heart? Well, I guess they... I guess they did it. Uh, I guess he didn't have the heart. Yeah. He didn't have the heart to take this out. It's the end. Or is it? No, it's not. We're almost getting there. After this, we'll have Resident Evil oh. 2. Well, they went out with a bang. Oh, they went out with the bang, just like you two. Oh. No! Don't go! <laughs> That's my favorite line of all time in Resident Evil. It was near I'll make that like when somebody texts. No! Don't go! Oh, somebody just. Close. Wait a second. Except for Chris, I thought he was dead. How is he still chronicling this? The stars were wiped out. Dun, dun, dun. You'll have to tune in next week. Find out. For a brief moment. Or I could just tell you right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, don't spoil it. This too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. Whoa. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. Ooh. Oh, that's not mysterious at all. No, Whoa. not at all. Got a good ranking there. 
I know, I actually, I actually paid attention this time. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Dun dun dun. No, I just copied off the guy next to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out this part of the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles on the ST2K channel, and have a good night. Right. Our God day. Bless. Take care. Till next time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back I for another episode of Resident Evil Umbrella down. Chronicles. This is. I can't remember what part it is, but I'll post. No, it'll be posted. I think it's Anyways, part five. It's part five. Five-time WCW champion Ron Moore. Joining yep. us once again, resident ECW. When I and Wesker's back, but the question is, whose side is he on? Yeah, Wesker. Well, he ain't the facility. With stars no more. Is this Goldeneye? Oh wait. <laughs> it feels like it. Dang, <laughs> dang, does it? So Wesker took some kind of weird virus that brought him back to life with superpowers. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. That's probably bad. Yeah, and someone, the mansion. Uh, so, uh, a friend of mine at work that's playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, he explained how Wesker came back to life. Because I was like, really? Oh, okay, he has like some sort of a vaccine or serum or whatever it's called. Exactly, yeah, because... I forgot what it was. I think originally he was supposed to stay dead, but like people wanted him to come back, and then they just made a way for him to come back. They're like, "All right, fine. We'll we'll think of some crazy way that he comes back or whatever." Yeah. But originally he was supposed to stay dead. Uh oh. So Wesker's flying solo. He's no longer with Stars, or he's no longer with Umbrella. So he says, "My lady, who is he referring to?" Um. That's a good question. I think uh, he's talking about the computer or whatever, because I guess he tried to get some of the data or whatever from Umbrella, and unfortunately it locked him out, so he just, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's not Otacon. He's not a hacker. Nah, he's definitely not. He's got a big bug problem right here, though. Yeah. Now, what is this? Uh, super Troopers? Or no, Super Troopers. Um, Starship Troopers, where we fight a bunch of bugs. Oh, man, I really, I just watched that the other day. Oh, my God. This game truly does have a lot of bugs in it. Oh man. See how many people get those references. More bugs than, than Ocarina of Time. Ooh, dang. Oh no, Mad Kermit the Frog. <laughs> uh, Kermit turn heel. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Exactly. Now the thing I like about Wesker's campaign is really cha it's really challenging, but it's also kind of short at the same. For the but it's it really, as far as it goes, whatever this is like among one of the harder ones. As you can tell, his campaign. Down, like, oh, he's gonna run for president in 2020. He's running for president. Yeah, <laughs> President Wesker. Who who's his running mate? Uh, that's a good question. I, th I guess it'd be that one guy or whatever, William Birkin or whatever that he worked with or whatever with Umbrella. Oh, yeah. Or it could be, who knows? The it Tyrant. Hulk Hogan for all we know. Oh, the Tyrant. Oh, man. Who would be, just got a fly swatter. Who would be the secretary of ECW? Oh. Uh, I don't know. WWF Light Heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> oh no, we got super mad red zombies coming after us. Yeah. I'm gonna assault them with my assault shotgun. As Jeff would say, this game would have been better if it was on. No. The Dreamcast. Whoa. Whoa. Where, where did they come from? Yeah. Someone opened that door. I just told you guys, don't open that door. Yeah, he sounded like the paperboy for the movie Paperboy. Oh, dang. Johnny, I think's his name. <laughs> I just remember the AVGN uh, Paperboy uh, video. <laughs> yeah, I, when I first seen that movie air on TV, I thought it was, I was like, wait, they made a movie of the video game? <laughs> but no. I thought the same thing too, people. It's all. Don't feel bad. I thought the same thing too. I don't want to be a bad boy. 
This just in, this commentary sucks. Uh, that's mostly on my end. That's probably why. In this I edition of SC2K, we're commentating over Resident ECW Umbrella Chronicles. We play as Whisker. Whisker. Or yeah. Rebecca with two with three C's. No, Rebecca, <laughs> yeah. Rebecca. I knew a girl named Becca, and she said the postman knocked on the door saying, yes, I have a package. No, her name was Becca. And he goes, I have a pack package for Bika? <laughs> she goes, she oh, that's me. Becca, sir. Jeez, a bunch of dead bodies. Okay. I hope you survive long enough for us to have our tear well, if you got all the ammo, infinite ammo, then yeah, you should be pretty good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said you have to do like a ridiculous thing or whatever to unlock infinite ammo for all guns. I think it's you gotta beat all the campaigns with the S ranking, which I haven't done. And then you're supposed to find like a bunch of like hidden files, which I haven't done, not gonna lie. I was like, yeah, that's too much work for me to unlock infinite ammo. I think I'm good. Yeah, the pet. It's a ridiculous thing. Ca campaign mode? In the campaign mode, where you run for president. Champagne mode? Oh. Yeah, let's play Campaign 84 live stream on the uh, Coleco Vision or wherever, in television, wherever it was on. Coming soon to do it live. Yeah. Do it live. You. I thought we disposed of you. Oh, no. Yeah, what the heck is that? I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, well, its name is called Lisa or whatever. It's like some kind of. Not even you. Lisa. Looks like a. Ocarina of Time Shadow Temple enemy. Oh. Maybe. Ooh, maybe Capcom copy that from them. Yeah. Yeah. This came out the. No, never mind. I'm an idiot. This didn't come out the same year as Ocarina of no, Time. I'm thinking of Resident Evil 2, the original. Oh, man. Uh, I forgot when Umbrella Chronicles came out. I think 2007. So yeah. this game's like, what, 12 years old? Yeah. Do 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 do. Oh, s s s cab yeah, so like all this hidden stuff you find and you gotta get S ranks. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, nah, I already suck enough at this game. There's no way I'm gonna get infinite ammo. The exit should be close. The hourglass. The exit should be close. Pick up the pace. And back at the mansion, back where we started. Well. No, Wes. Please don't open that door. Yeah. Jill Valentine's Day is around the corner. No time to Ooh, Jill Valentine's Day 2019, 2020, 2055, whatever. <laughs> 2055. Oh, is this the original mansion? Yep. We're just taking another quick tour of the mansion before it blows up. I wonder which mansion is cooler, this mansion or the villa mansion in Castlevania 64? Oh, uh, that's a good question. That, that'll that be for the audience to decide. I personally prefer villa. Mm, I, I do too. Hey, might as well use it. You just wasted the rocket launcher. Why? Yeah. Why? Why not? Hey, you know what, Ernest? You need to get better at this game. You need to play it like a man. And you know, if you use this, you can actually get past the level. You need to just use the handgun. I'm not gonna just use the handgun. What's the <laughs> whole point of grabbing all those other weapons? Use the heck, <laughs> Ernest. Why use the handgun yourself? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, this ain't deja vu. It's Groundhog Day. No, that already passed. <laughs> No, it's Rusev Day. Oh, exactly. No! My door! No! Don't go! My, like, all-time favorite line in Resident Evil. Ow? Yeah. 
the director of that or whatever, he's like, oh, that's pretty good. You know what? You don't need to do it anymore. His first take, no, don't go. All right, that's that's about as good as it's going to get. All right, we'll just use that take. I have to say my favorite take is, uh, you almost became a chill sandwich. You know, I want to know who wrote the script for that. They're, who must have thought, you know, I don't know. They yeah. must have been trolling us. They're like, oh, this sounds so ridiculous that people are going to be just like, what are... I don't know. You're right. It's like, why? Why would anybody say that? Not me. Not me! You did this to us, Kermit! Yeah, I read a news article online where uh, this woman had to step down as uh, whatever job she had with the city because she kept on going around, going around randomly licking people. Uh, and I'm like, well, what is this Resident Evil? <laughs> was she a licker? What the heck, man? That's weird. That's her, that's her favorite enemy from the game. What's your favorite enemy? Licker. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Playing a little bit too much of the remake, and she just probably thought she was a licker. I don't know. Oh boy. I think somebody told me originally too that. I forget, like, zombies, they could turn into, like, these other zombies called Crimson Heads, where they get faster, they run at you. And uh -huh. then those Crimson Head zombies actually could turn into liquors. So, like, the zombie, like, I don't know, has three stages of evolution or something? I don't know. That's well, what I've heard, but I'm not sure if it's true. Those three stages of evolution is a mystery. Yep. The line in the sand. Oh, we just got a copyright strike. I'm joking. Oh, dang it. Oh. Like, use the rocket launcher. Yeah, imagine James Bond in this game. The, the Golden Eye James Bond in this game. Do him a, uh, a mod where he's in this game and using his all the guns from Golden Eye in this game. That'd be pretty cool. I'm surprised somebody hasn't done that. They probably have. Because you never know. Yeah. And in the game, we probably would have heard about it. it. Oh, yeah, like Super Mario crossover, cross dresser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or what was it about, uh, uh, Castlevania Doom? Oh, that's pretty cool. I heard about that one. Man, forget well, this. I want to I wanna play Gloom. Oh. Oh, it's Robert Michael Burhan, or Michael Robert Burhan. Oh. It was. No, zombie <laughs> zombie Burhan. Ugh. Somebody get Wesker a towel so he can wipe off all that blood. Yeah. Oh, and here comes our number one stalker. Yeah. It appears to be stalking me. Your desire for eternal slumber. It's like, yeah, get away from me. It's like, ow. Yeah. It's like, shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. And jump. Wow, Wesker should have tried out for the NBA. He jumps yeah. that high. Oh, might as well throw everything out of the book, the grenades. It's like, will this yeah. thing just die? Right. Come on. The end has come. Ow. You <laughs> can't tell me that didn't hurt. Nice. In third, uh, what is it? The Price is Right losing song. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, Wesker don't need a car. He'll just run. Oh. Insurance fraud. That's what that is. Yeah. And so I was reborn. Oh, uh, I don't know what happened to the house. It just blew up. All right. Well, here's a check for your for your house. A new yeah. horizon stretched out before me. Oh, and the only thing I gotta ask myself now is what will happen next? Leaving nothing to oppose me. Uh, I didn't do as bad as I thought I would, but I didn't uh, that's not bad. Better than last time. Yeah, you made an A for effort. <laughs> How about an E for ECW? Oh, I'll take that. All right, guys. Yep. Thanks for joining us. We will see you guys next time. And like Ron Moore always says, I don't know. <laughs> Go for it. Well, ho hopefully, uh,
We won't get copyright strike for using Mexico's footage. Oh, wait. I hope not. It's my footage. Yeah. Imagine doing that. Actually doing that to us, just taking us down. No that, way. That's insurance fraud. I wonder fraud. if I could flag no. my own video and say, like, no, I'm going to flag myself. and be like, oh, how'd you get kicked off YouTube by flagging myself? I heard uh, that could happen. I think I don't know if it happened to Archfiend a while back or what, but I think J-Man might know it. more about that story. J-Man is the man to ask. Yeah. Until next time, folks. All right, guys. God bless. And take care. All right, it looks like we're back for another episode of Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, this time featuring Ada and Hunk. And yeah, things don't look too good here, but we'll find out what happens. So how's it going, Ron Moore? And uh, Lady Umbrella? Name, Lady Zelda? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. All right. <laughs> Fail. I was like, well, we'll just do it again. Oh, wait, we're live. Yeah, oh, we're live, pal. Actually, we're not. <laughs> what if it's the premiere? We're not live, but we're premiering live. Wait. So Ada somewhere and Hunk. in between. Ada Wong. Yep. What game is she from? Uh, she was featured on Resident Evil Two. She's on Four. I think Six. Whoa! There's Mo Pet Rat. Uh oh. Oh yeah. What Cameo. Are you Just casually walking around Raccoon City and infested uh zombie apocalypse. Not care not having a care in the world, huh? Now it's Rat City. Uh oh. Oh man, it's a major infestation. We oh, find that spotter boss from Twilight Princess. Ooh. Possibly. This wound's getting worse. So how familiar are you with Resident Evil 2, Ron? Other than you know they came out with the remake. <laughs> Not that familiar at all. Except that Leon S. Candy is somehow friends with that douchebag Ark Thompson. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's about right. Whoa, Ada is low on energy. Or what's the name? Ada? Or Ada? Oh. However, you have it. Yeah, eh, I'm not sure. Either or. Yeah, uh, Ada's campaign. I mean, you just start off with low health anyway, so like a couple hicks and a couple hits, and then yeah, that's the end of the game. A couple of hicks. A couple of hicks, John Hicks. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm gonna get killed in like two hits. No. Whoa. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is the place. Are you there? How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, I heard... Is, was that Victoria trying to talk? All I heard was... Uh, 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 uh. Whoa. Oh. That guy okay. Yeah, we can't... Umbrella's missing signal. Yeah, we can't... Lady Roboto now, we can't uh, really hear what she's saying, it's just a robot glitching out, having trouble hearing Victoria. It's YouTube just trying to censor us. Yeah. Dang, YouTube trying to censor us? Uh, yeah. Must got boomer. Oh, she came in clear there for a second. All right, right all right. I'm so over technical difficulties here. <laughs> oh, there, there, there you go. I'm yeah, so it was. Fan. It was weird because my Wi-Fi wiped out, and I was like trying to say something. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Lady Umbrella's back. Ha ha ha! Ah <laughs> Eat my Perfect. shorts. What about pants? Or, well, I, I would say the Hylian banner, but that's kind of sacred. Whisker. Whisker. And you, Ada, you have also failed. Yep, cameo appearance by Whisker. Help that fellow. We'll have consequences for our organization. See this? 
It's a tissue fragment with Birkin's G virus. Well, despite some setbacks, you have proven your value to us. Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. And two, an umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on her, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G-Virus sample is required. Uh, whatever you say, Wesker. If the T-Virus <laughs> did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? The one guy, you never know whose side he's... Yeah. Whoa. All right, then. Who, who let the Ocarina of Time Dogs out? I guess here's Max and Chance making a cameo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you say, Max and Chance? Is there no chance in hell for Ada? <laughs> Where's Shadow and Sassy? Somewhere around here. I thought it said Pete Door. It said Fire Door right there. I'm like, what? Whoa. Fire Door. Fire, fire. No. And this part's not Peter Friend. Oh, wait, no. Right don't now. shoot. Chance and, uh. What's her name? This game is very un Peter Friendly, as I would have to say. Yeah. First it was dogs, and then it was frogs, and then it was spiders. Now yeah. birds. And now what? <laughs> Peter has flagged our video. Yeah. Oh, we have an audience in the background. This video is filmed in front of a studio audience. Yeah. Input artificial labs. <laughs> That's what they're on. This city needs to fix its streets. Is this the Streets of Rage? Now I can use my new toy. And this is what's left over. A Resident Evil remake like the Streets of Rage style. Well, she just used a grappling hook. The hook shot. The hook shot. And it's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, let's, let's try not to get surrounded by a bunch of zombies. Yeah. Mission fail. Well, as I was trying to tell you guys before my network kind of crapped out on me, I do love these kinds of games. Yeah, I remember playing this when it first came out, like on the Wii or whatever, this is the PS3 version. But I remember my friend getting it, how excited I was to see, you know, Resident Evil as a first person shooter. Or a railgun shooter. In between one of those. Yeah, just what you need in the game. A bunch of enemies that just pop out. But of course! <laughs> just turn around the corner. Oh! We're surrounded. So if you think this is bad, just wait till you see the next. Whoa. Yeah, she's in a hurry. This is a speedrun. Who's that talking in the background? Oh, it's just my own mother blah blah blahing in the background. Oh. <laughs> See if anybody gets that. No, what did you say? What the heck? What did it say small tummy wonderful at the top? What are you on the PS4 <laughs> I network? See if anybody would get that. I <laughs> uh, got it. What the heck? Hey, I video. made a cameo appearance. Hey. <laughs> video. Oh, hey, I actually see Mexico 187 on one of the things. Yep, that's him. 
Ha! I'm gonna have to subscribe. What does this title say in the video? Part 6, Evil 1, and ch Japanese letters. I have no idea. I just copied that from Wikipedia and posted it on there. I was like, yeah, I, was, I, I was feeling lazy that day, so I just copied everything. Nice copy, Pasta. So it could copy say, it could, it could say, uh, Mexico's an idiot. And you don't know <laughs> it. Well, it would be true, so I don't see the... I don't see what would be wrong with that, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in the Google Translator machine. It's like, yep, it says Mexico's an idiot, but... Or is that one scammer said in a hoax hotel? Check your goggle map. Goggle, goggle map. map. What you talking about? I use Bing. Use your Bing, Bing map. Use your map. Oh, not Peter friendly. That's something Skip that's Rogers would say. Check your goggle map. Hey, do you know the way? Yeah, I use goggle maps. Put on these goggles, then you can see the map right in front of you. I know the way. Alfred Hitchcock. Simon's Quest. Second. Sure, I'll show you the way. I'll take you to a good place. Whoa, what is that thing? <laughs> of course, I'm referring to the tyrant. Well, have y'all heard of a game called Until Dawn? Yes. From Dust Till Dawn? Yeah. Oh, Freaking love awesome. that one. I've heard of the game, I haven't played it. I've seen like, videos, trailers of it, never played it. Like, uh, somebody I knew, they brought it over during the summer, brought over their game system, and, uh, I was like checking it out, and it's like something that's totally up my alley. Oh. Well, that was easy. When all else fails, just pull out a shotgun. Solves everything. Hashtag James Bond logic. Alone. Skip Rogers would say, "Reload, reload." There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember during the um, ocarina, like one of the ocarina things that we did when we were like making jokes about Tingle. Oh, I have the maps you need. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for our Uber. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Flying Uber. Oh, look out. Oh, no. If I get all happy about it, would I be Uber excited? I was, let's try to make an Uber pun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll see myself out now. Okay, what is... What, did jam his finger or something? Nah, he ended up with their uh, heel in, in between his claws, and he's looking at it. He's like, uh-oh. Uh, well, Dracula. Maybe he oh, stole a computer Hello. from your own company. I wouldn't exactly call that stable. <laughs> the people hey, man, you're flying a helicopter. Keep your eyes in the air. Right? Oh, Keep look your out eyes in the air. In a way, like, like you just... Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually sounds pretty good. And roll them like you just don't cur. Oh my god! From the ashes. Rest in the Thank ashes. you, Kermit. Thank you, Vlad Teepees. Oh, there's a missile that destroys Rat City. I survived the fate of Raccoon City thanks to Wesker's warning. Of course, I knew the only reason my life was spared was because I had the G-Virus tissue fragment. But I would settle things in time. So have any of you guys touched the Spyro remake yet? Nope. Neither have I. Have Tibbs probably has. I want to so bad. 
The same for the um, Crash Bandicoot thing. Uh, not my best work, but I tried. September 30th, 1998. What the heck was I doing that day? Just one month before uh -oh. Metal Gear Solid. Oh. Alpha team here. Respond. Hunk. This is Nighthawk. You know, well, I don't know if you noticed um, my posts about the old gaming gear. Um, well, I found an old PS1 from my childhood along with the old Metal Gear Solid game with like a few others as well. Oh, nice. And I was like, dude! Matilda, that's the gun's name? Matilda cameo appearance. So is indeed Dan DeVito in this movie? He injected himself. Possibly. Uh, I think it was him in the movie. Was it that movie Matilda? That's, that's Matilda's father. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. And I work with a woman named Matilda. Understood. Not me. Not. Not my. Oh, let's turn around this corner, and of course we're surrounded by like 20 zombies. Ow. Oh. Get away from me. Hey Butch, do you like Resident Evil? <laughs> oh wow. Hey Butch. <laughs> Well, there they oh, are, Bush and Chance and, and Shadow and, and whoever else. They just took me out. <laughs> oh, man. Magic fairy time. Oh, nice. What does puppy like? Yeah. I have both puppies. Hey, Butch. Hey, Chance. <laughs> hey, Max, what do you think? You want to comment? Oh, Max. I said Butch. Hey, Max. Are you, are you awesome to the Max? Do you like that what restaurant, you the Max? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> that looks painful. I guess that's his commentary, and hello to all YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, don't go. Ow. Al Snow? Al Snow. Oh, this other zombie won't stop trying to puke on us. No, quit going up. Should have took some Petal Bismol or something. Yeah. This guy just has the worst luck. He's just trying to get get it get to his Uber and get out of here. Yeah. Oh, forgot my wallet. Gotta go all the way back. So, Ron, any thoughts on the new Resident Evil 2 remake? I don't have any thoughts of it. I just know it looks impressive. Because I've seen uh, AVGN and his friends play it. Or whatever, did, whatever they did for James and Mike Monday, that guy, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, he's a Resident oh, okay. Evil expert that sits with them and plays it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've seen that too, yeah. I've also seen, uh, was it Rabbit Inspector's live streams of Resident Evil? I played the Oh, yeah, demo. I've seen that too, and his girlfriend live streamed it too. Yeah. But, I've only played the demo, and that's about it. But, it's pretty impressive. I I think so. I, I like it. What a hunk of junk. Exactly. Thank goodness for the Matilda. I was yeah, like, eh, your, I wonder who, who names these guys. Use your telekinetic, telekinetic powers, just like in the movie. And let's see who gets this. No, no not, not too bad, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for the plugs. Always. Surprise dog cameo again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, he got it. 
he saw it. He's like, oh, where's my name? Hey, yeah. Kermit, what's my name? Ruh, 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 ruh. My name is. Ruh, 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 ruh. I hate when zombies take so many bullets. When all else fails, just throw a grenade. I don't know oh. how anybody would play this game using a controller. So you gotta use the motion controls for this. I mean, why can't you move where you wanna move? Hey buddy, I'm trying to shoot your head off. Quit moving. Why won't you die? Why won't you die? I can see Kane in this game. Can you really? No, I mean <laughs> I could I could see him in this game if they like it would make sense for him to be in the game. Oh yeah. His one day reign of uh, as champ. No, the ECW zombie in this game. Oh, ugh. Stay ECW, Red people. Inspector. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. That was stupid. I remember watching that live. I was like, um... That was stupid. And Taz yeah. saying, I think this new ECW might be better than the original. Like, you know he was totally told to say that. Yep. Well, I saw somebody standing behind him. I'm pretty sure they had a gun to his head. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm pretty sure Taz got paid a lot of money to say that. Yeah. As would I. If I had the chance. Not that anybody would believe me. No, there's just a big old group of zombies. Let's try going somewhere else. Get off me. Ouch. Oh yeah, just so... <laughs> Broke her neck Punk's again. certified chiropractor. Yeah. Before this, he was a chiropractor. He's just as good as Jason Voorhees was in Freddy vs. Jason. Yep. His patients never complain afterward. Yeah. Oh, I love so Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, how that guy oh. poked him in the chest, he just grabbed his head and completely turned his neck around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the guy shut up then. So they don't show you in, uh, they don't show you that in, in chiropractor school. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, invite only corn poke, and you weren't. If I <sighs> the fat guy threw every clear on him and set him on fire. Still didn't work. <laughs> he went ECW on him. Yeah. Mm. We, don't keep, we don't carry around a can of or bug spray around here for all these damn spiders. Apparently not. <laughs> no. It's like an arachnophobe's worst nightmare. It's like, no, what do I do? Well, if you're afraid of plants right now, spoiler alert. You know, I've actually heard that some people are, like, deathly afraid of rainbows. <laughs> there's probably a phobia, there's probably a phobia for everything. Yeah. Fear of big words. Fear of numbers. There's probably Fear a phobia of bugs. Of Ooh. Fear of big Kermit the Frog monsters. I have a friend that uh, have a, has is afraid of rats, even pet rats that don't hurt you. I have I a fear of idiots. Awesome. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I have a fear of phobia. Dun dun dun. Whoa. And the, on the next episode of Ron Mower and his phobias. Yeah. <laughs> As there is no audio all of a sudden. Oh wait, there we go. I've got a fear of Chinese food running out. Oh, oh yeah, that right. is a big fear. Like, shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. I gotta say, though, out of all the guns, the handguns or whatever, I'd say the Samurai Edge is my favorite. 
I completely misheard what you what you said. I thought you said something else aside from shoot. <laughs> I was like shoot, shoot, and out of all the favorite guns on here, I gotta I gotta go with the Samurai Edge. Shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. So like, let's go around this corner. Let's it looks safe. Oh no, we're gonna get attacked by some birds. Oh, I'll say this at the end of you. Uh, at the end of the video, your discretion is advised. Well duh. Video gets flagged, taken down. You should have reported this at the beginning of the video. Well, sometimes people start at the end of the video. What about those people that start at the end? Yeah. In the end. <laughs> in the end, we get attacked by every single freaking monster. Right. Hey, dude, I don't have enough room in my Uber to take all you guys, so I'm sorry I can't take any of you guys. Yeah. Stay away. Stay away. Like, back up off me, Kermit. It's like, what? Are right even been here? They said they were here already. Mission accomplished. So what would you guys say your most favorite thing about this game is? Obviously for me is like being able to like go through all these different Resident Evil games like at a faster pace like you you know It's just a you know shorter version of like the original game that I like I don't think I have a favorite thing. I'm not too familiar with these games. The deaths cannot die. I mean, I've never owned them, but yet I'm very much aware of them. But I, I just think that they're like really cool. I love the atmosphere that they have. It's just awesome. Indeed. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in for this other episode of Resident Evil. Stay ECW, and I'll let Ron Mower finish this off before I screw it up like I always do. <laughs> oh, uh, God bless and take care. That's your line to say something. All right, everybody. I am glad you are joining us again for Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Raccoon this time we will be featuring Jill and Carlos. Of and of course, the Ron Mower. Carlos. That's the first time I heard of the character in Resident Evil. Then again, I don't know anything about Resident Evil, really. Umbrella. He's a, a what I would call a one and done character in the game. He's featured in one game, and after that, we never heard of him again. Just like Enrico. Like, yep. A member of Star. Oh, Enrico. Like, <gasps> Enrico. Actually, he was in two games if you count Zero as the prequel. But still, yeah, I get what you mean. Oh, okay. But Enrico Swabby. Exactly. Whoa, whoa, we're not trying to get a copyright claim. No, Whoa, is she gonna become a jail sandwich? Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that always works. He got pistol whipped. Literally, he did. Uh oh. May not be appropriate Ooh. for some younger viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Not joking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Carlos? Carlos and his gun. Nice. Shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. And then you shoot some more after you're done. You okay? I'm fine. That's some good shooting. Well, I'm we so glad I didn't uh, sign up for stars. Uh, it doesn't look like a very good okay. job. Yeah. I thought she was going to do the Frankenstein or on that zombie. That would have been awesome. The Frank and Scott Stonder. When you when you lay down and the earth rotates on a 400 degree axis and you multiply and simplify 95 times 5 for the math mathematical equation. I remember I seen Steiner's promo when he was cutting that math promo live. I, I, I've never laughed so hard in my life. Yeah, really. I wonder if he really is good at math in real life or is just uh, was just uh, spewing out uh, gibberish. No wonder. 
So you're pretty elite then. And you are? I don't know. I'm not good at math myself, so pretty much whatever he was saying, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'll just uh, go by what he says. Yeah, I wasn't uh, good at math either, but you're getting no sippy for me. I think 2 plus 2 is 4. That's about it. Yeah. This looks like the beginning of Resident Evil 2. Is that right? I guess not. Hello, Mexico, are you there? Oh, sorry about that. I don't know why. Okay, I was saying this looks like the beginning of Resident Evil 2, is that right? Exactly. It's um pretty much they cross over in some parts of the game. Resident Evil 3 actually takes place um weird. It takes place 24 hours before Resident Evil 2 and 24 hours after. So it's before and after. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had we had a lot of Goldeneye action recently. It's time to It's a Resident Evil on Braille Chronicles turn to have some action here on S2K. It's been a while. It's been a while. No, I don't want to get us another strike. Yeah, don't. Yeah, we just those two strikes just uh expire. Don't bring them back. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll hit us a home run with this uh, LP, our yeah. grand slam. Everybody get on base. No, Any ECW so, yeah, mode I mean, in this one, like uh, invisibility or not? Maybe not. I wish I had ECW mode on this game. Unfortunately, I don't. And a lot of times in this game, I die. As long as I get my magic fairy, I'm good. You should live stream this on your channel. You mean live fail? <laughs> no, live fail. You'll be on livefails.com. Livefails.com. Oh, well, I got all the way to the boss and I died. Fail. What's it called? Fail blog. Don't work. Whoa. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Neither did that zombie. Yeah. Tipster did a live stream of uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake a few days ago on Twitch. Oh, and if you guys haven't checked out the Ron Moore Twitch channel, yeah, shameless plug. Or later on tonight, check out the live stream of Contra and Super C. Oh wait, this video won't be uploaded by then. No, but hopefully you guys watch that live stream. If you were there, then you, you check it out live. Check it out recorded. Go back in time and check it out live if you didn't see it live. Yep. So yeah, this game crosses over from Resident Evil 2 a few areas. So I'm I have a I'm wondering if they've already worked on Resident Evil 3 at the same time they worked this too. So I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden we heard, oh Resident Evil 3, the remake's out. That'd be an awesome game. Um, these Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, they kind of um, change a few key elements up or whatever. There's like a few minor differences or whatever from the actual games. So it's kind of tell which is canon, but I would, I guess I would go with the original games. This is just a alternate take of Resident Evil. You use a cannon in this game? Oh wait, Zap Cannon. Or I don't know. I was thinking of uh, somebody else. I think that Zap from uh, Futurama. Zap Brandikin. Uh, no. Shut up and take my money. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much how I am with Capcom. Well, back in the day, not so much more. Right. Yeah. Oh, another Street Fighter 2 uh, um, update. All right, I got to get this one. That's what I was thinking. Another Street Fighter collection. All right. I'm probably the only person in the world that's played Street Fighter 1, 2, not 3, 4, and 5. No, I haven't played, I haven't played the first one. I have. I, have I, I, I did not get no joy whatsoever from that game. It, I could see why everybody just thinks Street Fighter 2... You should just start from there. You're not missing anything. Right. That's fine. But remember that Thunder's great founders like you from all over the world. Thank you very much, Rocky Balboa. Whoa, there's the giant spider from Uninvited. Yeah, who invited them? Well, we invite you to check out the rest of our videos. I fail. Exactly. In a future update, too, I want to kind of... um. I don't know if you've ever played it. it. It's um, it was on the Sega Dreamcast and it was released in the arcade. I plan on uh, doing it one day as LP on here since you've done a lot of wrestling videos on here. I wanted to do um, it's a WWF Royal Rumble and it was released in 2000 on the Sega Dreamcast. 
I think I, I remember I didn't play that one. I didn't hear I really hear anything about it, so I wonder if it was really good or not. It was kind of like low key good, but at the same time too, there's a lot of things wrong with the game. The Wait. only thing memorable about the game itself was just because you could have nine wrestlers in the ring at one time, and it had the Royal Rumble mode, which really actually felt like a Royal Rumble mode with that many people in the ring. Wait, low key wrestled in Ring of Honor. Oh wait. Oh. Actually, he wrestled in NXT as Caval for a very brief period. It was so brief, I didn't even remember it. No, I'm shaking. Yeah. When all else fails, grab a shotgun. Or grab any gun other than the handgun. Yeah. And start shooting. So, of all your friends, Ron, who's uh, really familiar with Resident Evil? Jody. Oh, okay. Swindoll has always loved the Resident Evil series. I think he does have the remake. Uh, part 2 remake. Part 2 remake. I think that's only Resident Evil remake. Whoa! Look at that glitch! <laughs> you see that? You know, I, I was, uh, I, I played, well, of course, obviously, this is my LP, but I was, I've, I've been waiting for this moment to happen or whatever just so you could see that glitch. It was kind of, a. Uh, Something else, wasn't it? <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh wait, uh, is that is that a spirit coming back to life, or is that I a different not... zombie? Oh, that was... I I could I couldn't really tell. Uh, his spirit. I just What's his ghost? Does... Is Patrick Swayze now, and or uh, Carl comes out out of his body, and then he turns around. No, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sam looks at Carl. He goes, Oh, Carl. Carl turns around, sees his body. He's like, oh no, I'm dead. And here come the demons. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I, and a little fun fact. Those demons that made that noise. Those, that's actual audio of crying babies, but slowed down. Oh, I did not know that. So that makes it even more creepier. That makes it even um, creepier. I wish I didn't know that. Yeah, so sorry for the nightmares you're gonna have later on tonight. Sorry for our headphone users. You no, did this to you. yourself, not me. Not me. You did this. Not my. I think it's been a year now. We've been talking about that. I don't know. We just. I don't know. That Welcome and to the Walking Dead here on PS3. Wait, <laughs> wait Walking Dead didn't come out yet during PS3, did it or? I don't know. Uh, no, I think it did. Yeah, PS4 wasn't out yet, so PS3 was still running strong, I think, in 2009. When I think this Walking Dead started, right? 2009? I I believe so. I'm not certain. I'm going to get somebody in the comments saying, Mexico, I can't believe you don't know when The Walking Dead uh, came out. Oh, wait. Why, do I, why am I trying to sound like Jeff? <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? Res uh, Resident Evil. You know what, Mexico? You... You say you know a lot about this and that, but you know you're, you're not Mexico. You're Mexican. Oh. Oh. Well, so Jeff, Jeff you can't to... stay awake. So. <laughs> oh, what was it? What were we? I think I was in one of the chat rooms or whatever on one of your videos, and what, what did somebody say? What's it, Jeff or something? I was like, and you're all just ne Jeff's uh, notoriously known for uh, falling asleep during videos. <laughs> yeah, there might have been. Was it in the Link to the Past live stream, or was it the Metal Gear Solid premiere? I forgot. I thought it was the Metal Gear. The Twin was Snakes it the Metal Gear? I'm not sure. I don't know. All I know is that somebody now everybody knows what that means. I yeah, pulled pull a Jeff. Jeff. Don't pull a Jeff before you watch the rest of this video. Yeah. Instead, grab yourself a nice cold glass of water. Yeah. Or something else. I remember when the Undertaker was stalking Bobby the Brain Heenan on Primetime Wrestling. Bobby Heenan was running from him. Wait, have a seat. Have a seat, Undertaker. Have a drink. A real cold drink. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember that. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Bear. Oh, Mr. Heenan. The Undertaker's always closer than you think. Whoa, who's this? Uh, I don't know, but they don't know how to drive, apparently. Get out of Dodge! Oh, look out! Oh. And that, folks, is what we call insurance fraud. Yep. Uh, they, they just got right in my way. I, I tried to swerve out of the way. I swear. Well, here's a check for your, your brand new vehicle. 
Yeah, this is a commercial for uh, Allstate or something. Or yeah. Allstate. Oh, the, is it the one with the crazy guy? No, that's uh. Well, oh, yeah, I'm not beat now. I'm thinking of the old school Allstate commercial. The guy goes, "Are you in good hands with Allstate?" Uh, <laughs> introducing accident forgiveness. The Mayhem commercial. I think that is. It might be Allstate yeah. today. I'm, I don't know. Well. I think we just answered the question of uh, who was driving that uh, vehicle. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was him. Whose side was he on? I don't know, but he's on the side of the road right now. Who was driving oh. the Hummer? Not me. Who Not drove me. the car that ran, ran over Austin? Oh, damn. It's me, Austin. That's all anybody was talking about back in the day when... Uh, Stone Cold got hit by a car. I remember watching the pay-per-view and I'm like, did I just see this? Uh, yeah. I feel I like I should call it. <laughs> my jaw just dropped. I was like, my dad was like, oh, I don't think he's getting up. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb oh. though. Rikishi was the culprit. I think Rikishi I did it drove the, the car. Rock. Yeah, I did it for the rock. Uh, JR goes, I hope, you, I hope you get what you deserve, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, he played off really well though, JR, I gotta say. But Triple H was the one that orchestrated it though. Yeah, I don't see why I would have been like, alright, well you told that guy to do it, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna lay a can of whoop ass on you, Triple H. Yeah. And I remember that. Uh, I was like, really, Rikishi? I get it though, I guess, because nobody would have suspected, because Rikishi wasn't that known at the time. And a year later, he gets over, so popular. I thought it was SA Reels the whole time. <laughs> nah, and, I mean, I uh, I thought it was Mr. Man. It's me, Austin. No, I was kidding. Hell, it could have been Stone Cold for all we know. I did it. I ran over myself. I don't know how, but I did. I remember Billy Gunn no. was a suspect. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think we're all suspects, Ron. Even I was. Yeah. I was like, I wasn't even there. I and swear, Stone Cold's, Austin. And Stone Cold's court of law, you're guilty. Until proven innocent. Well, that kind of sounds like nowadays. So, but still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I don't blame Stone Cold though. Uh, I mean, as 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 far as story wise goes or whatever. Yeah, that was um. I was always wondering who the hell ran over Stone Cold. At first, I thought it was a woman because no, I'm joking. Oh, uh -huh. Deborah. Oh, what a plot twist that would be. <laughs> Jin too would have told me he's she, he's a uh, it was a woman driver driving the car she was on her way to the kitchen. Oh, oh. <laughs> yep, uh, blue rose and a thumb down this video as well. <laughs> I'm gonna be, my channel's gonna be flagged. Well, with Mexico, I can't believe you said that. She's gonna follow a strike. She. Well, don't don't throw a pitch against me. I'll hit a home run. Yeah. And Carlos got them shooting skills he's a straight shooter oh yeah this is about about the point where I started actually getting pretty good at this game because uh, as we carry on to, or as we go further in this LP I actually get better at this game not worse but I kind of start off really crappy or whatever but um, I guess the more you whoa ah there we go again yep that's uh I was I forgot about that one Th this happens quite a bit in the game that's why I'm so glad I got this footage, just so people could see it or whatever, and they'd be like, uh, that didn't happen on my playthrough. No, it didn't. But it did here on the ST2K channel. Um, uh, and also on your channel. Oh, also on my channel. Um, uh, it's a few parts back, was it, where, uh, I forgot who you was playing as, but did like a spin kick or a super kick or something and kicked somebody like up the stairs and just looked weird? Oh, that was Wesker, yeah. He did his uh, special kick move. Yeah. As I did my special kick move, it was a glitch in the system. The T-Virus yeah, well, I got you know, into the SC2K. was better on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, I did a mixture of Jeff and Wesker there. That was disturbing, but anyway. Oh, you know I'm what, sure Jeff would have You think you're better than me, it. but you're not. I got the T-Virus, and I'm going to inject the SC2K and give it, make it become the STDK. Wait, whoa, oh, no. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Um, okay. Whoa, whoa! Right. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Whoa! What those zombies look like? 
Willy from uh, Ghost. Speaking of Ghost, we were talking about earlier. You're dead, Willy. You're dead. And now you're dead again. Yeah. Willy. I kind of have remorse for Carl because he, he didn't want Sam to die, but Willy killed him. So there's like remorse for Carl because, you know, he was like Sam's best friend and just the robbery and the scheme went wrong. But no remorse for Willie, because Willie was a douchebag murderer. Exactly. Sorry, you Willie fans, if there's but any. That actor, though, I think I might have seen him from other movies before. I gotta find his name. But Willie, when he was running from Sam, when Sam was messing with him, I never seen anybody go down, go down some stairs as fast as he did. I think someone speculated in the comment section on YouTube of one of the videos that that was an accident, but the director did not say cut, just left him in there because it looked so awesome. Uh, happy accident, yeah. It's something really good happened, and yeah. Yeah, like, we're live, pal. Happens. Oh, you know what? I meant to do that. <laughs> uh. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. Nuggets. <laughs> uh, the Hall of Fame, yeah, they're coming for the Hall of Fame. The WWE, congratulations, Harlem Heat. I got, I'm really happy about that. I was in, I watched WCW. But I gotta say, my favorite tag team was Harlem Heat, and it's awesome to see them go into the Hall of Fame. You know, mine was probably the Steiner Brothers, but I like the Harlem Heat when Sherry was managing them. Oh, yeah, that was. So many good memories with Harlem Heat. Our Booker T's theme was uh, my ringtone for the longest time. Yeah. You go back and look at Scott Steiner in 1991. And then look at him 10 years later, and in 2001, WCW, the difference? Jeez, you would not have recognized him if you didn't know better. Uh, who is this guy? That's Scott Steiner. You gotta be kidding me. Rick Steiner's brother, get out of here. You gotta be kidding me. You guys are... Oh, all right, am I being punked? No, yeah. Easy Chica. Who's it, Scott Hall or Razor Ramon? Hey, Chicas are for fun. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, tremors now. What the heck? Grill me later. Uh -oh. Come on. Kevin Bacon. Grill Where's me, he at? Grill me later. Grill some bacon or what's he talking about? That? Oh. Man, Funny he, story about she's the all up in tremors. his grill. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just saying. Um, when I first, well, my mom's house or whatever. I remember the first night that we moved in or whatever. It was like around midnight or whatever. And you know, they play like movies, old movies or whatever on TV. So my dad's looking for something to watch, and that happened to be the first thing we watched in the the house that my parents still live in today or whatever. First movie, first thing we ever watched was Tremors at their house. Nice. So that movie has a nostalgic value to me. Babyface Kevin Bacon. Ow. Everything tastes better with bacon. Or does it? Yep. I made a joke on Join Facebook years week. ago. I said, Kevin Bacon. There's something about that name. And I think someone posted, what do you mean? Jeez. Oh, uh, jeez. I'm not even going to. Uh. <laughs> yeah. What was that movie called? Fist Tight? I mean, Footloose? Footloose. <laughs> I was trying to think about it because I know you do the opposites or whatever. So yeah, it's like, like George hey, Costanza. Fist tight, so it's got to be. Nice. Quit throwing your garbage at me. I am not yeah. a garbage man. <laughs> and today's not even trash day. Well, it might be for some of the people around here, but not me. Not, not me. May. Speaking of May, I watched an old video that Ravenous Spectre, no, someone else tagged me in on Facebook of Bubba Ray Dudley putting May Young through a table. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I remember watching that with my dad. My dad. My dad's funny when it, he would make a good heel commentary or, or just somebody in general that kind of like would make people say, did he actually just say that? Because my dad said, well, it's it's pretty safe to say she's not getting up from that. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to hurt. I see where I get, yeah, I can see where I get my sarcasm from. Rabbit Spectre keeps saying, I'm going to be a great dad one day because of my puns. Oh, that's part of it. The horrible dad jokes. My kid's going to hate me. Jeez. All right, now I just gotta find it. Ouch! Why don't you just move out of the way? Why, 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 why is the character just shooting at the road debris or whatever? Just run. Well, I gotta destroy this road debris before it hits the ground, or else you know, the, you know, it's gonna get dirty. So, 
No, I mean, little chunks and pieces are still gonna fly. You, you know, you might get some dust particles in your eyes. You know, this still isn't safe. We're not wearing safety goggles. No one draws to the distant ground. Draw. <laughs> I was like, and that's why I love being on the ST2K channel. We do references. Whoa! Oh, look at oh! Oh, come! Oh, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, you had better be dead. Yeah, that's gonna take out anybody. Oh, use the fairy, just like I did. And I linked to the past. Look out! Oh, there you go. Sure, a freaking bullets from a bullet bullets for. Oh my! Oh, God. God. Man, really? Yeah. No, come on. Really? Man. Well, next time somebody throws the bus at me, I'll just shoot it with a few bullets. Yeah. Maybe it'll explode and I'll be fine. I mean, uh, talk um, about throwing somebody on the bus or actually throwing the bus at them. Throwing the bus at them. Oh, <laughs> that's a new term. Hey, you threw the bus at me. What? Uh, watch the Umbrella Chronicles on the SD2K channel. You'll understand. Our the, the what channel? channel. It's, it's, it's on the bus. See? Somebody wrote it right there, that guy. Uh, was it wasn't me. Wait, sure. Where's the bus <laughs> monitor at? I don't know, but I forgot my bus pass. I need to renew uh, it. I need a transfer. I need a transfer. Ow. Oh. Man, you have to react real quick right there. Yeah, this game... Uh, I'm not really good at the reactions, so... Kind of just... Yeah. And I hate doing this. Stop throwing stuff at me. Stop throwing it at my... Oh, there you go. It's like a Metroid the over dramatic death. It's like we get it. You died. You don't have to act like you know. Being all dramatic. Over... Yeah, remember what was it like the old movies where somebody would get shot and they like grab their heart and be like, oh, and they fly back or whatever. Or they somebody would get shot and they fly back ten feet. They oversell it. Yeah. Which is what I would do if I wrestled. That's what Dolph Ziggler would do in a movie. Oh man, I love to see when Dolph Ziggler he over. Sells moves or whatever. I, that's I love that. I think oh, Shawn uh, Michaels did the same thing too with the uh, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, RVD. Well, Shawn Michaels did it to, out of mockery or out of uh, to be uh, what's it called? Uh, not vengeful. Uh, I guess be petty or uh, vindictive. Uh, but man, I would RVD did the same thing. He would sell almost like oversell sometimes. I would like to see RVD versus Dolph Ziggler. RVD in his prime. Oh. Come on, folks. Let's. Let, you know you would want to see that. that. That's. That does sound like such a good. Yeah. Wow. An ECW. Ooh. And the real ECW, not that. Uh, ECW yeah. with that zombie guy. Yeah, Dolph Ziggler and the original ECW would have been awesome. Please don't go. Please don't. Go. And of course, he'd probably just get taken over. But he'd probably join another company eventually. Yeah. All Elite Wrestling. All Elite Wrestling. I really we're not sponsored by them, but we're just giving them a shout out. We have to let the world yeah. know what happened. Yeah, but first we have to make it out of here alive. We can go through here to get to the police station. In a zombie apocalypse, all you need is two people. Yeah. Rick and Shane. Wait. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Rick Flair and Shane McMahon. Woo! -hoo! Shut up, fat boy. Custom made from head to toe. Whether you or, like uh, it or whether you don't like it, it's the best channel going today. The SDUK. Not really. Shout out to Ron Moore going over 900 subscribers. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Thanks to everybody for the support. Maybe we can use an explosion. Now on the road to WrestleMania, I mean 1,000 subs. You can do it. Which Social Blade projected would be in, by July, but uh, Goblin says, no, nah, this is going to be sooner. We'll find out live. And if you haven't checked out Goblin's channel, like I have, I've been doing. That's pretty much all I've been doing. Yeah, check it's out. pretty awesome channel. Yeah, I think I gave him a shout out in the uh, last uh, GoldenEye part, or the, one of the parts in GoldenEye. Well, I'll do it again. Click the link in the description box below. Someone's in there. Oh yeah, he actually was in the, uh, what was it, the Zelda live stream too, at that too? Yeah, in my Super Street Fighter live stream last night. Super Street Fighter! You know my parents, when they played video games or whatever, I noticed when they played fighting games, they would pick one character and 
yeah, that's about it. My dad, I don't think he used anybody else other than Zangief and my mom. Well, of course, she picked Chun Li. And I can kind of see why that I kind of play like that now. Whenever I play a fighting game, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to be this character. Never giving anybody else a chance. I used to pick Dalsing because he had the long legs and arms, and he was uh, easy for a beginner to use. A lot of my family's like that, too. I'm thinking about, too, my uncle. I've never seen him use anybody else other than, uh, I'm going to horribly butcher this name, Gaiyu. Hopefully I said it right. I to say Meryl. Meryl was a street fighter? That's not right. <laughs> Great. Van Damme. Meryl. Well, we'll just have to be that much more careful. Uh-oh. It's not safe anymore. I can't see anything. They're in the subway. Eat fresh. Sub, sub for sub. Oh, mark this spam. Yeah. Oh, look out. Uh, this is Shades of the movie. And he just keeps running and running Thanks. and running. Where you walk. And he's gone. Well. Touchdown. No, I'm just. <laughs> So, so much for your blocking, dog. At least you scored a touchdown. Yeah. Whoa, all I saw was like a pair of eyes. Oh. Keep your hands off a of lady. Now I've switched over to Jill. Yeah. I gotta say, though, out of um, all the animations or whatever, uh, my favorites are Wesker or whatever. Seeing him just kick. The crap out of somebody is awesome. Yeah, Whisker. Whisker, aka Jeff. Yeah. I got the ST2K virus. Ah. I want to get the ECW virus. I'll get down with the sickness for that. Oh. In case you haven't checked it out, folks, a brand new episode of ECW tonight on TNN. No, I'm sure they're not even called TNN, TNN anymore. Yeah. Uh. I was gonna say, uh, speaking of down with the sickness, disturbed. The Christian band, rock band, what's it called? A skillet. It's just a Christian disturbed. Changed my mind. Oh. I was like, I can't see anything. I need a bigger flashlight. Yeah. It's like, all right, whose idea was it to take this? Oh, it's my idea. Never mind. Whose smart idea was it to take the subway? It was yours, Mexico. Oh, that's right. I never Carry been on. in a subway. Have you? I cannot say that I have been. Nope. I heard people in New York rather take the subway than drive. That's interesting. Because the traffic. But then again, so New horrible. York traffic is horrible. Yeah. yeah. And they have all those crazy bicyclists. People just yeah. riding on the wrong side of the street. People right next to your car, holding onto your car. It's pretty crazy. These Glad I don't have that here. Yeah, stupid bicyclists with their little anymore. helmet cams driving around like idiots all the time and uploading on YouTube. What the heck? Oh, wait. <laughs> yep. That's I saw me. a video where someone was doing that, and this police car ran into this guy on a bicycle, and it was the police car's fault because the bike was at a stop. And the, the cop was like looking down at his phone or a computer in his car. And the bike, the guy on the bike's like, whoa, 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 and whoosh, whoosh, knocked him off. Like, oh man. Like, Come on, officer, that actually what are you going? On, uh, yeah, I remember that actually airing on, uh, what was it? That, like, on one of those one shows where they like, show video clips of like YouTube videos right this minute or whatever. Like, shows like something like that. Oh, I remember cool. seeing it on there. I can't remember the exact show it's called, but it's just one of those shows where they show clips of the videos. Check out this bicyclist. He's about to have a bad day because he's about to get hit by a cop car because he's yeah. not paying attention. Me, 21-year-old Mexico. The lights. That was ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out. There they are again. Whoa. They found me, and I... I can't really see where they're at. I gotta reload. Oh, uh, PETA just copyright strike this video. No, PETA, we, we could, I swear we could blur out the dogs. You'll just see a big old blur or whatever. What is he shooting at? Oh, uh, we can't tell you. Yeah. Oh, I could kind of tell. It's a dog. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us for, oh crap. I don't know what part this is. Well, this is Resident Seven. Evil 3. Seven. Seven. Till next time. All right, guys. God bless. Take care. Oh, hey, everybody.
everybody, it's Mexico along with Lady Zelda and Ronmo. I bet you guys didn't think we were going to do this again, this but welcome like back to Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. It's a going guys. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, some people have been asking about it, including your girlfriend. Yeah, I'm making a <laughs> big deal about it, but you know what? I'll get this done when I get this done. But this is actually the interesting part of this uh, LP right here, so... Yeah. Tune in. She said, you better hurry up and get it done today or you're going to be in the doghouse. That wouldn't oh, be man. fun. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be fun at all. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Yeah, I was wondering about this. Man, it's been a while here. I mean, it's probably what? Yep. It's been months. Probably three or four months, I think. It's been months. Has it? Somebody really? Yeah. yeah. Last left off, we were heading out towards the creepy subway, which I've never been to before. Yeah. What about you guys? Nope. I've been. I, so, I, I've been. I've eaten at Subway. <laughs> Eat fresh. Yeah. And now a word from our. That Jared, was a word. Jared? Word. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, the fire. Foya. Well, you went all the way that way for nothing. We're on foya. Yeah, I remember um, the last time we did this, we did stop where Jill and Carlos or whoever that was. Uh, yeah. And then uh, we faded to black. He said, all right, stop right here. I think because I didn't want to do the whole thing. I, I wasn't up to do an hour-long commentary. No, this is good or whatever, too, because this is, like I said, this kind of drags on where things <laughs> actually get really intense. I'm not up for an hour-long commentary. Says the guy that does vid videos <laughs> that's about an hour long. It's like, ah, I'm not up to it. But, yeah. you know oh. what, I'll do an hour long. Jeez, imagine, whoa, ugh. Mutant, uh, yeah, cockroaches. Is, yeah. If you got a problem with cockroaches, you probably... Oh. I like this part. Holy I, I worked with this girl that had a phobia for bugs. She would freak out and literally run away screaming. If she saw this right now, especially in real life, she'd have a heart attack and die on the spot. What? Ouch. That's yeah. not good. Yeah, these bugs are... They'll bug you. Yeah. <laughs> this game has a lot of bugs in it. Ah! Yeah, I know. That's old. I guess you could that's say old, they're bugging you. but it's true. You. Jeez, man. I'd rather... I'd rather deal with the gold sculptures in Ocarina of Time than these things. Oh man, these things are At least the gold sculptures don't fly at you like that. Man, that's scary. Imagine just seeing one fly at you, you're like, ah. Oh jeez, yeah, and it's on your face. I think uh, there was like an Instagram video years ago. This little this this girl was talking, and she had she had that filter on where it makes your face look real big, like your eyes real big and your lips real big. Oh, uh, okay. She was talking, and a freaking cockroach landed right on her freaking lips, and she had to stop recording real quick and moved out the way. Like, ah! <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Oh, that my was. goodness. Yeah, these bugs are. Ooh. We're going to need a bigger can of raid. Ooh, what is this, Milk? You're a solid two now? Guess we'll just have to deal with it. Could be. And now, word from our sponsor Raid. Got bugs? Kill him with a can of raid. Now, I've been fortunate enough to not have uh, too much of a bug problem. Yeah. So, seeing this is like, uh. But then again, it is a subway, so I assume there's probably bugs down there. Not, hopefully, not that big. <laughs> Man, those things are ugly. It's like, I can't see anything. Where are they? They're all. We're trapped. <laughs> Look, you're getting, it's like we're getting jumped in the subway. This game is very accurate. I'm not sure if that's a statement. Your face is accurate. Oh! Damn. Oh, indeed. On, Ouch. Alright, now you're playing as Jill. Where's Jack? Jack and Jill. Went up the Silent Jack. Hill. Oh, man. Oh! Good time. Where is this Castlevania 64 now? We're in the sewers fighting those lizards. Oh, man. Oh, the game had to copy something from somewhere. Yeah. Okay, this channel got a strike from someone in Mexico 187 for Resident Evil <laughs> Abrera Chronicles videos. What's up with that? I was like, I don't even own the footage. <laughs> That's right, people, anybody felt free to use my footage, go ahead and use it. Yep. For, what is it? Yep. Fair you? Yep. Or... We won't get butthurt and uh, put a copyright, false copyright strike on your channel. Are you serious? Third party? No, but that did happen to us, remember, Victoria? We had to do Ocarina oh. of Time all over again. Oh, that's right, yeah, and it was, like, so annoying. Yeah. But this time, 
I use footage from World of Long Plays, gave them credit. They don't care as long as you give them credit, which is what I always done anyway to whoever I used it from. That one person, no, take these videos down. You even asked me to use it. I didn't even get to see those videos um, of the those original uh, LPs or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know how many people did get to it see them. It could have been worse crap. because we could have had three strikes. If three of the videos were up, but only the first two, three strikes means you're gone. And we just got the two strikes, and they each go away after three months. Ooh, rank, rank A. About as good as I'm going to get. Yep. Yeah, the whole copyright BS, all that, that was... <clears throat> that sucked. Like I said, I didn't yeah. even get to see those videos or whatever, and I'm sure the commentaries you guys did on the be good. They didn't include me. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the hoops that he had to jump through just to, like, try to get us to do LPs again. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, now what? <laughs> Now we start over, we'll Sorry. use better footage. We'll use better gameplay. That's I why I like... First, uh, oh, I was all like... Uh, uh, okay, well... <laughs> I remember at first I was all like... Wait a minute, you're kidding me, right? We have to do these over again? Nope. <laughs> yeah, and... That's why I like World of Long Plays. One of the reasons why. They say flat out on their About section on their page... The Q&A. Can we use your videos? And they say... Feel free to use whatever videos you want. Just give credit the description what? and the video and all that stuff. And oh so, God. yeah, that's what I did. And in each video, it's the one of the first things you Listen. see in the description. At dawn, this town is going to be destroyed by a missile. They're going to wipe out the town. And blow up the city. We're all going to we die. Don't have much time. We're all. Let's move. Let's we just to probably move. try to get Come out of here. On. This way. Oh, man. This game is... Well, I'll be going to... I'll be going so many, man. Yeah. I'll be going to Mexico next month. I mean, Mexico. I don't think we'll make it through that. It's done, What now? Mexico. Skip Rogers. Ha! <laughs> Skip Rogers in Mexico. Well, that'd be... The Skip Rogers, uh, how-to co-guide. Whoa. It's her stalker. Yeah. Ex her ex boyfriend. He's back. I don't like how they change. It's sloth on steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Actually, you guys! See, Ramor does a better voice than what this guy has. A lot Talk of people didn't talent. like this voice. We have to find yeah. Some way to stop him. Much well, listen to Skip. To if you can't beat it, run. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like to be able to do anything. Be careful. Uh, run might be a good idea. We need to find something with a little more kick. We've got it now. I'm shooting. He just won't go down. Do they use the flashbang? Yeah. Nah, I think explosive. Ah, oh, there oh, we what go. Is that? How convenient. What is that? Uh, I think grenade round. Oh, cool. Whoa. How, how convenient they happen to be right next. And of course, I shot him and I didn't get out of the way and I died. Oh, uh. Oh, oh, pool to Mexico. <laughs> how to pool yeah, to Mexico. To... I forgot who it was. I don't know if it's Angry Taco Man or whoever it was. I posted a poll on the Rombo channel saying, Do you guys want to see me stream CPS 2 every Saturday? And he, he posted a comment saying, uh, yeah, it'd be much better than Mexico's four streams a year. Go for it. Oh, yeah. I think I'm up to three, so I still got one more stream left in this year. Hey, yeah. But you treat your streams like the old WWF pay-per-views back then. Only four times a year. That's how special they are. Jeez. Oh, my God. I remember that. Uh, the big four pay-per-view. Yeah. Now the question is, will I be able to get the heck out of the way? And whose side is he on? I don't know. There you go. And that's what you're supposed to do it. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Alright. I'll find him dead. Or is he? Nope. Oh man. 
He's even more angrier than Angry Taco Man. Yeah. Not a taco on Tuesday. What do you mean there's no taco? Is that the only word he knows? Stars! Stars! <laughs> This is a, I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. This is a police station? This was a police station. Now it's infested with zombies. The, the same police station from Resident Evil 2. I know you said, um, I forgot which one of your friends you said played this game back in the day. Swindoll? Swindoll. Dang it. We'll just edit that. I'll be like, yeah, I remember it was Swindoll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cycle. What a lovely night. Oh, we're gonna we're about to get attacked by some birds. Three birds. <clears throat> well they did say that the bird is the word. Bird is the word. Oh man, how could you shoot that dog? He had a gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> have have, have y'all seen National Lampoon's vacation? <laughs> I think so, anyways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When he accidentally oh, yeah. dragged that dog up behind, uh, 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 the dog was tied to the car. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I remember that. They didn't show it, but I mean, like, I know, I the cop pulled him over. Just... Explained this, yeah, you sick like... son of a bitch. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez, uh, you can't think I did this on purpose, officer. The cop goes, "Do you know what the penalty is for animal cruelty in the state?" Uh, no. Well, it's probably pretty stiff. <laughs> Oh, uh, big times at that movie. I, I seen it when... In the TV version, they edited it out. Explain this, you sadistic bum. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Ron Moore knows everything. He's like, oh, I know the TV versions and the movie version. Yeah, like, uh, what's it called? Not Fatal Fury. What the heck am I thinking? Uh, Lethal Weapon. Um, he goes, uh, you son of a sticks. What? <laughs> son of a sticks? <laughs> Jeez. You know, watching the TV version is always interesting because you get to see stuff that, uh, what the heck is this? And I know what you did last summer, the first one. I think Fred Prince Jr. goes, stuff you. Oh, wow. It's always interesting in the TV version. So, okay, let's see what they change. Wow, this is horrible. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in 2006, my ex-girlfriend said that I looked like, in the MySpace profile picture I had at the time, I looked like Freddie Prince Jr. I'm like, Shout out to that MySpace. Uh, okay, I, I, I do? Okay, thank you, I guess. I, <laughs> I don't agree with that, but okay. It's like, really? I mean, really? yes, it's a nice compliment, but I don't think I look like him. I don't know, maybe she just somehow saw that in my, in my face. I don't know. I'm like, I do? <laughs> okay, thank you. That looks like it would hurt. <laughs> Indeed. George Costanza in Soundfield. That's gonna hurt! After a big explosion. <laughs> Pow! Right oh, yeah. in the kisser! <laughs> yeah. Jeez! It's like, alright, which way do we go? He always aims, like, straight for the head. Just boom! Yeah. There he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys? Where are you at? Oh yeah, let's hide in this room infested with zombies. We should be safe in here. Oops, spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't think so. Quiet, guys. We're trying to hide from the IRS guy. Welcome to The Walking Dead, Season 13. Is that what they're really on? No, I think they're on 9 or 10 now or something. But Oh, uh, okay. I heard I they signed a yeah, the contract uh, that right after the season where Glenn got killed. I think they signed like another 5 or 7 year contract from what I heard. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, th I, I think I stopped watching was season six, so... I think so, too. Yeah, I need to say I'm way far behind. Man, who the who let the dogs out? Right. This video has been third party. Yeah, where's Butch and, uh... Dang, I keep forgetting their names. Raru, Raru, Raru. Raru. Are they there? Are they, there? Are they in the background, Victoria? It's they're now. secretly thumbs down. Yeah, they're here. Oh, right, they're <laughs> hey, yeah, y'all get y'all's friends out of this video game to leave us alone. Y'all get, get these bitches out of here. Ooh. One time I said that in, uh, I forgot what game we were playing. I said, no, Jeff's dogs are barking in the background. I said, tell them bitches to shut up. 
He goes, hey, oh. he goes, he goes, hey, Jamie. I mean, Jamie, Ronnie. <laughs> he got me mixed up with Jamie because of the cursing. <laughs> he immediately went. I said, technically, it wasn't. Jamie. Technically, it wasn't cursing. I mean, if they're female, they are bitches. Yep. I remember I even looked that up one time in the dictionary or whatever. I was like, wait, is that really true? And I looked it up. I was like, oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> also looked up some other words too, but I'm not gonna say what they were. All right. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen any of the Resident Evil movies. Are they good? I like the first one, and then I never really got to see any of the other ones. The first one was pretty decent, and then I hear mixed things about the other movies. And I just never got a chance to see them. Just like I almost never got a chance to finish this LP. Uh, there you go, folks. Psychiarity! <laughs> Psychiarity! We need the real Psychiarity here. These dudes need to go. Need to go. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you nicely to not do that, to not attack me, to not eat me. So when all else fails, just pull out a shotgun. Thank you, Skip. Need to get up to the roof fast. Yeah, use a regular gun to beat the zombies. I wonder what Skip's tips would be for this game. Move the cursor if over. If you can't the beat it, and pull run. The you can't. You can only run where the CPU takes you to run. The CPU is controlling you because the CPU is like, yeah, we're getting tired of y'all controlling us. Now we're controlling you, the player. We're taking over the BWO. Uh, well, speaking of wrestling, uh, today is the uh, let's see, 24th anniversary of the debut of Nitro. Oh wow! The, the Mall of America. I might watch that later. Now that we're talking about it. Let's get to the, the mall. We're alive. Lex Luger okay. makes his debut out of nowhere after being on WWF TV like a week before, or working a house show that. the night before. Oh, what? What is he doing here? Get the camera off of him! Somebody get security! I remember watching that. I remember it was a big deal or whatever too, because my uncle had invited me over. He's like, "Yeah, you know, WCW starting up with uh, Nitro." He ordered pizza. I, I remember that day like it was, like you know, like you said, for, like not that long ago or whatever. But, I remember uh, me and my friend watching it in my room, and we see Lex Luger come out, and we both looked at each other in shock with our jaws hitting the floor. Like what? What? Is, what is he doing here? He was just in the WWF last night. What? What? And, huh? and then Bishaw. I, I, I like Bishaw. Bishaw goes. Oh, what? What is he doing here? He said the only people that knew about that, <clears throat> I think, was him and Luger. And Vince Holy McMahon God. didn't know about it. Uh, maybe Bobby Heenan and Mongo did on commentary. I don't know. <clears throat> but Vince McMahon did not know about it. No one really knew except Bischoff and maybe the commentating team. I like how and Bischoff goes, so, somebody gets to get him out of here. Somebody gets security. And then Bobby the Brain Heenan goes, yeah, but who saw it? No, he didn't say that. No, but he goes. <laughs> no, Bobby Hina goes. <laughs> but this is the public mall. He's allowed to come out here. <laughs> you can't be well, technically it's true. He can come out. Well, yeah, wants. but technically he's not supposed to come down the aisle. If a real fan did that, security would have taken him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd like to see security take that dude down in his prime. No, i <laughs> Yeah, Lex Luger, yeah. I like to see a so fan try to. Uh, I want to see a fan try to attack Brock Lesnar. Let's see how far they get. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, look out. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm running Snaps. out of bullets. Oh, you dodged the bullet. Now, Skip? <laughs> I did. You always need oh, bullets. Oh, I see. I, I, I see what you did there. I totally see it. What's this, a commercial for cores? <laughs> Seems like it. Why is he shooting the bullets at us from uh, Mario? <laughs> it looks like that did the trick. Even he couldn't survive that. Somebody's gonna be like, dang it, Mexico, you don't remember the name? You almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> you are right. Okay, now I'm gonna go yeah, back and uh, watch that uh, LP that Gentoo did back in 2014, I think it was. Oh, yeah, the director's cut. The first Resident Evil yeah, LP th uploaded yeah, th to the channel. I think I listened to uh, one of those parts the other night when I was going to sleep. I think J Man was in one of the parts. Oh, yeah, didn't you guys record a part or whatever on his birthday or something? Yeah, that was it. I said, speaking of, happy birthday, J Man, or something like that. And uh, J Man's with us for his birthday. When, I hope, hopefully, we can get Gentoo on one of these parts right here of um, ECW Chronicles. That would be awesome or whatever. Like I said, I know Gentoo knows a lot about uh, Resident Evil, so 
I mean, that's yeah. my whole inspiration yeah. was to do Resident Evil is because I saw that LP. I was like, oh, cool, finally, a Resident Evil LP. Because I never knew at the time or whatever if you guys would have ever done one. We also did Survivor. Remember that? I'm a survivor. No, I'm joking. I'm going to make it. I'm going to tell, uh, <laughs> well, I asked you, he might be like, <laughs> he might be like, oh, um, no, I can't. I'm playing World of Warcraft. I'm doing a raid tonight. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, I just Anybody's had the craziest. I had the craziest thought. Like, uh, like when uh, Mexico was mentioning raid earlier, I thought to myself, "What if somebody conducted a raid of raid to get the raid?" Ooh. Whoa, raid session! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's back. Accepted. He's back, and he's more angrier than ever. I don't know if that's possible, but it looks like it. Like, who hurts you, dude? It's like, dude, effect. get over it. Shit the barrels. Get away from me. Talk about Shoot like. Shit the dumb drum yeah. from Donkey Kong Country. Oh. He's like, oh, fire. Did that do it? Nope. But I think it pissed them off. Oh, man. Just a little bit, man. I want to see Solid Snake take on this thing. I think he could do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, there's not much that Solid Snake can't do. Oh wait, is this the final boss? Yep, this is the final boss. This is what you guys have all been waiting for. Anybody that's been waiting for oh, this part. They're so like, never mind, we can't get Genji in then. <laughs> I thought we had more to well, go. The... Yeah, this is the final boss of this level right here, so. Sorry, Genji. Oh yeah, Genji's the one that did Survivor, right? Yeah, he did Survivor after oh, yeah. we dared him. We dare you to do Resident Evil Survivor. He's like the only game he didn't dare to do was Superman 64. <laughs> oh God! I remember I told somebody I beat that game before. I beat it with the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I should upload a video of that or whatever. I think I seen it like. Uh, ooh. Oh. Oh. He just got curb stomp. Danny, he just got wrecked. Oh wait a minute! Yeah. He's got a fairy. Magic fairy, come in and This handy. is no fairy to a world, kid. This is the end of all things. I'd be funny if someone in the Zelda series said, like Ganondorf, this isn't a fairy to a world, Link. There's fairies everywhere in Hyrule. What are you talking about? No! I mean, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> There's someone should do a parody of that, whether it be on a, I don't know, college humor or um, whatever. Someone just do a skit about that. Somebody should because that would that just fits perfectly. Yeah. Kind of seems like he'd be contradicting himself. Oh no. He goes. What do you mean? Oh, There's yeah. fairies everywhere. Oh um. Well then um. There are no heroes in this world, kid. What are you talking about? I'm the hero, Tom. Oh um. Well. <laughs> oh, I saw I saw uh, look, John Kratz is a uh, live stream of Smash Brothers. Uh, for the Smash Brothers Brawl, whatever the newest one is, or Smash oh, Brothers okay, on okay. Switch. Um, oh, Ultimate. Ultimate, yeah. And um, it showed, you know, like when at the end of the fight, it shows the losers in the background clapping and applauding for the winner. Ganondorf would stand okay. there applauding. I go, Ganondorf wouldn't stand there and applaud for anybody. Come on. Exactly. Congratulations, Link. You saved High Rule. You're the better man. I'll be back next time. Uh, and it's man. like, oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, random fact. I actually found out something that I didn't really expect to find out, and that is Goron translates to freeloader in a foreign language. What? I kid you not. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, you are anybody, dead. If anybody learns anything from this video, if there's one thing I learned from this video, I'll learn that. I'll remember that. Wow. How is it possible? Did you post yes. you should post that tidbit in High Rule Warriors just in case someone don't know. Yeah, it's it's on um it, it's actually on a post that I did of the three sacred jewels. Somebody okay. posted in Spanish that they wanted the Goron's Ruby, so I I hit translate and it said I want the gem of the freeloader and I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> Oxide. I don't know. They don't seem like freeloaders. They work pretty hard. Exactly. Maybe that's the that's the it's an oxymoron. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. 
It's like, dang it, this guy just won't die. Doesn't he get the drill? I'll shoot him, he dies. Nope. I'd hate to encounter that in reality. It's using its tentacles. I think anybody. It's using its testicles. Oh, uh -oh. snap. Crackle pop. Right, snap, please, crackle. Please. Oh, snap, oh, chat. Snap. Oh, Barry dodged that. Now he's stuck to the ground. Now he's not stuck to the ground, and we're screwed again. Shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. It's like, hey, get him, Cuddy. To get him. We gotta go back to Walmart and buy some more bullets. All right, I gotta go to eBay. <laughs> yeah. Can't go to Walmart anymore. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Why won't you die? That is the question. Okay, now Mexico, you're you're contributing to why people go and, and do mass shootings to do in this game. How dare you? I can see somebody posting that in the comments. I can see that too. Some troll, yeah. This is uh, this But is you know what? Yeah, someone made a great point on ABGN's latest video saying if these games won't make ABGN go out and shoot people, then uh, then you know no game will will. I thought that was a good like oh take that government. Oh yeah, because it hasn't I forgot what was it? Isn't the government attacking video games now or Walmart? Or again, I'm like, is this Notch ninety three again? Come on. They're all we need a new rating system. Like, we already got one. How about ready S for shut the hell up? Ooh. Ready P for pwned. Pwned. Which I've been plenty of times in this video already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look out! Yeah, I was just thinking. I was just thinking to myself, how much easier this would have been with just one more player. <laughs> right. Ready player two. <clears throat> Ready player two. Press start. Remember WWF Warzone and Attitude. Player one. Player one. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. I like I'm the YouTuber Slayer, Slayer768, who shout out to him and get donated $10 to me in one of my anniversary streams. Um, he's a cool dude. Awesome I go, Slay ready Slayer1. Oh, you slay me. <laughs> slay boy, slay. Slayer the band. And I just recently started checking out his magic fairy time. Re recently started checking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go again. Nice. He's trying to curb Another stop me. Another yeah. fairy, yeah. I hope Krusty Retro starts yeah, to stream again soon. Yeah, his work is really good, too. Like, a lot of yeah. these people that started watching the channel or whatever, I see their content. Whoa. Yeah, he's getting close to 100 compete. subs. I can't compete with that. They're just too good. Yeah. I, I'll just well, continue on with my four streams a year. Yeah. Raven Spectre said, always said, get good. Get good, and he got good, and he fell over the rail. Yep. Well, this is a rail gun shooter. Ride the rails. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. They're going to blow up the city and then say it was never there. Wait, what do you mean? There's no such thing as a raccoon city. Uh, all those people. I was like, there was, this was their solution for everything. Let's just blow up the city. Yeah. Oh no, the meteor hit. It's Armageddon. Bruce Willis and them didn't save everybody. I'm joking. Oh man. I feel rubbed off now. The nightmare would continue over the next few years as the survivors fought on. Resident Evil survivors? Check out that LP. That review from AVGN was funny. Oh, I love AVGN. Yeah, me too. I love Abigan. Abigan. Also, HBGN. He was pretty cool, HBK. too. HBK. 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 <laughs> I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy! <laughs> Alright, guys. This is Resident Evil The Umbrella Crew. This was the rest of Resident Evil 3. Join us next time. Finish off the rest of this LP. Two more parts. Oh, so we... Okay, so you said there's a final boss. I thought that was it. Like oh, we're done. no, no. I mean, that was the final boss of Resident Evil 3. <laughs> oh, okay. So it is possible for Gentoo to join us in this LP. Yeah, Gentoo could join us for the rest of it, where we get to see Wesker again. All right. Whisker. Whisker. All right. Whisker. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Till next time, guys. Have a great one. Thanks for joining us. God bless. No problem. Oh wow, it looks like we're back for another Umbrella Chronicles episode. This time I'm being joined by, of course, always Ron Moore, Lady Zelda, and wait, who is that? Is that Revenant Spectre? Greetings <laughs> and salutations to you all once again after being gone for such a long, long time. It's like back, you know, when a pro wrestler makes a grand entrance after being gone out on injury or something for an entire year. Wow, Revenant Spectre's back. Exactly. <laughs> I'm back here black! Back here black! Well, I'm not gonna sing ACDC because I'll get copyright strike. Wait, is this Raptor Spectre or Cartman? Back here black! It was the year. We're playing uh, South Park now on S2K. <laughs> South I'm surprised Park. we haven't done any South Park games on the S2K channel. Now I'm surprised we haven't back when we got J Man were around full time. I know you guys said the Beavis and Butthead, but that's about it. That was fun. We got Weebus and Buttman. That was that was good. Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> Rock Wee and Bullshit too. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this game is like 13 years old. Uh, Umbrella Chronicles. I can't believe this LP is almost two years old. Oh <laughs> man. We are slowly but surely working our way through this. I think this might beat my record of mockery of time LP on the Rumor Channel going on. Probably three years. <laughs> Whoa, has it really been that long? No, not on S2K, but the Rommor LP from 2010 to 2013. Oh, jeez. Oh, three years? Wow. That's a... Yeah. Wow, we're back with uh, the Predator Chronicles. Star starring Mr. Gigi. How you doing, Mr. Gigi? No, I wish. I wish. <laughs> so I'll be careful what you wish for. No, we're back here with Jill and Chris on this. Um, it's part never of the over. <sighs> Speaking of Resident Evil, I can't wait for the Resident Evil remake to be out this April. Resident Evil Three remake. Oh, yeah. oh Resident Evil Three remake. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, Resident Evil Three remake. Oh my God. Because the Resident <laughs> Evil Two remake uh, was very, very successful. Oh yeah, it was. I I hadn't even like beaten all of it, man. Like I I beat my first playthrough with Leon, but I haven't with Claire. And uh, my fiance, she beat it with Leon, and she got like part way through it with Claire. I don't know. She might have beat it with Claire. I'm not sure. She was doing some side some side uh, stories. They ended up at again, but I don't know. You know, there's a lot going on in that game. There's you can play that game and still not see everything. It's going to take a lot of playthroughs to play through that game and have all that extra stuff and DLC. It's definitely yeah. worth the money of that game. You know, Ric Flair should have named his daughter Claire. Claire Flair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was thinking about that for a second. Uh, Claire Flyer. Claire Flyer. Woo! Shut up, fat boy. I'm the nature boy, Ric outside. Flair. I've been in the Super Bowl commercial. You haven't. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Dang. Watch the Super Bowl commercial ad pull up right next to this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to check out the commercials. I don't care. I don't care anything about sports or care or cared about the game or anything. Else. I just want to see the commercials, and I've already seen like a couple of them that people had posted on social media, and I was like, oh my god, that was so funny. Especially when Jason Momoa was like taking off his muscles, and he was just like this really skinny dude. <laughs> I loved it. I loved that. Absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Took off his hair and he was like balding all up on top. I was cheering for the Mavericks. Sounds like such a Ron Mora answer right there. <laughs> Whoa, look out. So how many baskets did both of the teams make last night on the ice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, how, how to make three uh, how to make three uh, fan bases mad at the same time. <laughs> Oh, there's a way to do it. How many home yeah. runs did he run? <laughs> yeah. You're out of there. Strike. How four. many goals did he make in the end zone? Uh, on, at, at the home plate? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he running at the opposite end? He should run to his own team's name at the other end of that field there. Yeah, why enter enemy territory? <laughs> 
because it's fun and it's dangerous, and danger is my middle name. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. <clears throat> I really wonder if there's somebody out there that has the middle name Dangerous. There's some crazy parent out there that's done that to their child. I'm Trust sure me, yeah, I know they'll do that. Danger's my middle name. Yeah, like uh, the tag team, uh, what's it called, Demolition? Yeah. It's one of the lyrics that's about uh, some danger is, or something is our middle name. I forgot, dang it. Oh, Pain and Destruction. Ooh. Pain and Destruction is our middle name. Dun, 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 dun. I haven't heard their theme song in like, well, since they were actually wrestling back in the what, early 90s. Their theme song is underrated. Freaking awesome. I think it's the same guy that might have done Hulk Hogan's Real American uh, interest music. I'm not sure. It's a true fact, people. Check it out. They're Whoa. Real oh, no. He Lil Key's contracted the uh, T-Virus. Oh, no. My, my little boxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Lil Key, uh, uh, Chance, D uh, Butch, and Sundance. I forgot your dog's names. I keep forgetting it. <laughs> That's how you Chance always remember Max. them as, though. Chance oh, and Max. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> Rauru. 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 I am Rauru, the Sage of Light. Rauru. <laughs> what was that thing you posted on Facebook, Victoria? To my R R R R, -R A U X, and I go R R R. <laughs> Spelled it out. Oh, yeah. I was asking people what color they like their roux: blonde, peanut butter, dark, or milk chocolate. And yeah. he's like, Ruh, Ruh. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Ruh, Ruh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I'm like in the Cajun Nation, and you're all like, Ruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah, he just comes right up on my stand and just goes, Ruh, Ruh. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I start laughing like a freaking moron. <laughs> People are looking at me crazy, and I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 you know, I mean, at least they went out on a high note, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. It sounds messed up. It sounds messed up, but I mean, I'm just saying, hopefully they, they left for a good, wholesome reason. Unless they're evil villain, the world's mine. <laughs> I could probably imagine somebody passing out from laughing too much, but I never really knew about dying, but I'm pretty sure it could happen. This it episode, seems like you'd be starving for oxygen. This episode of Soundfield where... Jerry was trying to entertain the sick guy in the hospital, and he was making the guy laugh so hard, all of a sudden he just stops. You know, it don't show the guy, it shows Jerry have a, hor a horrified look on his face, and the audience is laughing. And Jerry goes, uh, hey, hello? You still with me? So apparently he died laughing literally. I was like, oh man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, at least, it, at least it went out being entertained. <laughs> it's just... I don't know, it's like, someone died, no, this is like a, a saying, I died laughing, what they really did, is that, should you be happy for them, or what? It's just like when people say, laughing my ass off on social media, it's like, if you laughed your ass off, how would you sit down? Well, technically you could, you just kind of probably would fall over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it probably wouldn't feel very good, either. More than likely it's not. Where I live at, um, there's a traffic circle, and it's a famous saying, because so many people have gotten in wrecks on the circle over the years, and there's a saying, it says, I survived the circle, and there were like t-shirts and stuff sold, saying that, and oh, I, I thought to myself, wait a minute, so what if someone's driving on the circle wearing that shirt and they get killed? Would, <laughs> they, be, would they be considered a liar? <laughs> I don't well, know they would, they couldn't necessarily be considered a liar because they wouldn't be able to own up to it, considering they would already be dead. So, yeah. I'm like, what if someone died on the circle wearing that shirt? And I mean, should, should we laugh or not? No. <laughs> roundabouts roundabouts are simple to use, but like, well over half of the people in the 
freaking world don't know how to use them, and it's just as terrible. If you just, I, I remember. I was going to say, if you just yield where you're supposed to yield, there'd be no problem. And stay in your own lane. Exactly. It's like, you come up to it, you're supposed to yield to everybody around you. When it's clear, you go, and then you take the first exit to the route that you know that you're going to be going, even if you got to turn on your GPS if you don't know exactly which one you're supposed to take. And it's the same way when you're coming back. You just go right around, do the, the exact same thing. And I remember the first time that I ended up coming up on one, I mean, I wasn't driving. Um, I don't know if it was one of my friends or if it was my fiance or something. First time I saw it, I had seen it on TV, but I was like, how the hell do you use this? And then I saw it and I'm like, oh, okay, so oh, that's not hard. But other people, other people try to act like the world revolves around them and they just got to go, go, go. It's like, I'm going to go run over anybody and get some my way. Yeah. Common sense, non-existent in 2020. Boy, that's the truth. How not to pull <laughs> yeah. a Mexico. How not to pull a Mexico. Good question. <laughs> uh, you, you don't die, that's all it is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you are immortal. I die more times in my LPs than I, I, I don't even know. I can't even stay. This is the place. I was actually doing a little bit of a Assassin's Creed Odyssey today. I was streaming it on my channel. And like, not half of the stream, but like a few good minutes of it was just like nothing happening because I had to go do some laundry real quick because I was trying to get some things done. So I'm like, I'll be right back, guys. And <laughs> I came back and I'm just like, oh my God, how long have I been gone? So I don't know how long in that stream. It's like, it's just nothing was happening but just a steel screen. Was it the same laundry room where you said, get good, get good? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> This is inside of this is this was inside of my own home. This wasn't actually at work. My previous workplace, uh, so a few years ago. <laughs> oh, whoa, giant tarantulas! Yeah, no, this game <laughs> has everything. This looks like you'd be a golden eye level. Yeah, it seems like it. Speaking yeah. of which, I, yeah. I wonder. I wonder if this is like the same developers that ended up doing uh, Dead Space Extraction because they had like a first person thing that was just like this that they did with Dead Space that they actually had released with, uh, I think it was either Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 3 because it first came out on the Wii and you could use like the PlayStation Move controllers or just use like the regular controller and uh, obviously it's a lot more faster because you're dealing with faster enemies but um, I wonder if this is like the same developer that got involved with that because it kind of looks like it in a ways. Uh, that's a possibility because this game, uh, that game came out not too long after this one. And mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find out once we see the credits. Or mm -hmm. the comment section for I sure, did, I know that. Did it come from the According same... According to the internet. Did it come from the same developers, 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 I have no idea. But anyways, um... <laughs> <laughs> do do oh, Y'all remember that meme? Um, Steve, what's his name? Steve Ballmer, the CEO of what was it? Uh, dang it, Microsoft. He mm -hmm. did that speech years ago, but he was on stage sweating profusely, going, "Developers, developers, developers, developers." De he kept on saying like 20, 25 times, almost ran out of breath. It was mm. just, it was just so funny. Yeah, go look it up. Steve Ballmer, developers, became like this huge meme in two thousand four. Oh God, I do remember that now. Okay, <laughs> it. Yeah, I'll check that out. Now I fully remember it. I, um, that you don't want to remember. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of them. That would probably be like an interesting let's play to do is, is, uh, is Dead Space Extraction. Because it's like this, but it's more. It's probably a heck of a lot. Probably a heck of a lot more gory and graphic, I would think, and more adult than this is. Oh, yeah. By far. Definitely. I agree with yeah. you on that. I played <laughs> it. Yeah. I want to play exactly. Resident ECW. Is that where you're going and having hardcore wrestling matches against zombies? Zombies? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the ECW zombie, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was one of the stupidest things WWE ever did. My goodness, and Taz. Taz and Joey Styles. I bet that felt stupid. Right. Being uh, a part yeah, of that. Yeah. I remember Ta uh, Joey Styles cut that work to shoot promo talking about, I'm tired of this sports entertainment crap. And PW Insider's Mike Johnson was like, Joey, mm. you're looking real good right there. Doing the work shoot, talking about you're tired of the sports entertainment circus, and now you're a part of it with the new ECW. Exactly. Ooh. 
And what else? Uh, Taz, and you know Taz was fed this line. He goes, I think this ECW might be better than the original. I'm like, oh, man, you don't mean that. Somebody had to pay him. On him. You know he was fed. You know he was fed. That. You know he was fed that line. You know it, yeah. Yeah, he was. Angry Kermit the Frog after us. <laughs> Kermit the Frog <laughs> turned heel. <laughs> he got pissed off because Miss Piggy wasn't giving him any. Now yeah. He's got this head going. <laughs> so he got so two jacked, Kermit. If Miss Piggy won the Money in the Bank ladder match, would she be Miss Piggy in the Bank? We'll have to check it out. Miss or Piggy, Piggy, Piggy in a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Piggy in a blanket. <laughs> those are good. I keep calling call them kolaches, though, but they're not. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of those yeah, kolaches yeah. over there. Yeah, Tanya actually made some of those last night, and I was like, ooh, we got some extra one of these. I'll make some of these for lunch. Little tiny little things. Peachy. Peachy. Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh my god, I need to get back to playing Sekiro. I'm looking at the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, a little uh, letter opener that Tanya had gotten from GameStop for free. They had a bunch of extra ones, and she's like, hey, can I have one of those? I'm like, yeah, take it. I was like, she's like, oh, cool. She didn't even pre order the game or nothing. They just gave it to her. Hell yeah. As, as I showed in my stream, I still have the Mega Man t shirt that GameStop gave to those that reserved the copies of Mega Man Anniversary Collection in 2004. Do you, do you wear it, or do you just kind of keep it as a collector's I haven't wore it. I keep it as a collector's item, but I took a picture before my stream started and showed people on stream, um, hey, look, I still have it. It still fits. Barely. <laughs> Barely. I got a little poochie in the front, but other than that, yeah. it's all right. Yep. It's all it barely fits, but it fits. Yeah. <laughs> so many dang glass of tacos. Samurai Edge 2. Yeah. The Ed, Samurai Ed, Edge 2. Edge is back, and I guess he's going to wrestle again. Oh, yeah. Yep, going to go against Randy Orton. You know it. He's probably not going to show back up until WrestleMania, though. I'm confused, though. Like, I thought Edge could not physically wrestle anymore. How did he get cleared? Uh, from what from what I had heard, I don't know if it was – I can't remember if it was that night or if it was on Raw. I think it was on Raw. He had like a second neck surgery or something, and I have no idea what in the world they had done, but something had to have happened for him to be able to, to come back into the ring like that. They must have done something, some other type of surgery, something. I don't know. I had a couple of friends of mine saying that they were like, well, it's good to see Edge back, but it really is going to suck if um, – he goes and ends up like killing himself or paralyzing himself just because he wanted to come to come back for one last moment with the fans and, and soak all that in and whatnot. They were saying he doesn't need to come back but when it's risking his health. But I don't know, man. I mean, we don't know what's going on with him or what type of other surgery he's had or what's been going on. So, I mean, we can't really say that, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I just hope nothing bad happens. How, how old is he now? He's uh forty, 40s, right? yeah. He's forty six, I believe. Okay, he's not as old as I probably thought he would be, but yeah, I mean, I hope, I hopefully, uh, not, even if you can't see him in his prime, even if you can't perform like he could years ago, I mean, as long as he probably still do at least decent. If he can still be like seventy percent of the performer he was, it'll still be pretty cool. But uh, I just hope, yeah, I hope nothing like he don't get seriously injured or something or paralyzed or anything. Yeah, he's 46 or 47. I don't know. Maybe the almighty Google will tell me. Yeah, because Google knows everything. Yeah, he didn't Indeed. do too bad in the Royal Rumble, Edge. Yeah, it says he's 46 here. I, I love the uh, his interest music. On this day, I see clearly. <laughs> Dude, I saw that. I saw his Royal Rumble entrance in reverse because I'm, I'm like, uh, I like um, or subscribe or whatever to one of these Facebook pages where this guy would take like different scenes of running in reverse and it's so hilarious man seeing seeing like a clip of him that i think was taken from wwe network and the guy just reversed it and everything is all running backwards and it's just hilarious yeah i saw one where uh it was hulk hogan and bruce beefcake and uh meet you in oakland i think talking backwards yeah <laughs> and the way hulk hogan <laughs> it's like, it's like the drunk germans or something <laughs> Oh, I get amused by some of the most stupidest stuff like that, man. Something so simple. It's just it's hilarious to me because it's just so dumb. Oh, man. The simple pleasures in life. Exactly. Yeah. And Tanya will look at me like I'm crazy. She's like, you're so crazy. You're weird. And, and you know, I was like, yeah, well, matter of fact, speaking of which, Heather and I from the Pixel Gamer Girls channel, 
she was actually wanting to start a channel of like reverse footage and she took um she kind of did a little bit of a test where uh i told her i said did you happen to have like a reverse mode in your um on the your video program on your computer and she says yeah i do actually well i said you ever think about actually taking some of our videos and running them in reverse and she's like wait a minute she's like i'll go and get a couple of yours and do it and when she did it she sent them to me and we were just cracking up man like the way <laughs> some of the rants that i was doing it sounded like i was trying to like chant some type of magical spell over somebody with the way that the way that my voice sounded going with everything i was saying was going backwards yeah i wonder, uh, I wonder what the ecw chant sounds backwards <laughs> it's probably like just I don't know, I'm trying to speak that ain't gonna work. How about a rubber backwards? Oh my god. It probably why we're that it's probably how it sounds. <laughs> Some hater will post my channel. Well, it makes sense because your your videos are ass backwards, Ronnie. Look <laughs> 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 at my soldier face. Oh, literally. Oh snap. Ooh, who said that, Bear? No, I'm just kidding. He would say that. Soldier face. Oh, <laughs> shut up. I've been checking out We Got streams or collab streams recently. It's oh, hey, it's the, the guys from S2K. Wow, he's not. He's no longer called We Guy. He's now called Nico something. Nico Tengu or something. He goes, so the Wii guy, I guess, rest in peace. Kind of like uh, the Happy Field Game Nerd, is, that character is resting in peace. But the his, his, whatever name he's using now is still around. But the, the Happy Field Game Nerd character is done. I guess the Wii guy name, whatever is done. But yeah, he's still around. I know that. Doing stuff on, I guess, just Twitch only. Maybe not so much YouTube. I don't know. Yeah, didn't you just do the 8 bit stereo for a while and then yeah. the Twitch? That's how I yeah. mostly remember. Yeah. This game will drive you bat shit crazy. There's Jill. Where's Jack? All the back one up. Oh, he went up the hill. He didn't get no pillow water. He went over the hill. Oh! He went down the hill. Face first into the grave. Oh. King of the hill? I tell you what. I'll I tell you what. what. Rabbit Inspector, your voice could have been on that show. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. I'm not a fan. I get in shape. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm out of the country. Now you sound like that guy from Waterboy. Yeah, uh, Farmer Fred. Uh, they, were the, they, were, <laughs> they were all in the locker room. You remember that time Bobby did this? You remember that time Bobby did that? And then he goes, yeah, you remember that time when I was like, I'm not going to make sure between Absolutely. Rabbit and Spectre and Archangel Zero. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, Lady Zelda's dead. I'm she totally the death. beast, man. Hello from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like over there? Cloudy with a chance of, well, I don't know what. Chance of ECW. Chance of meatballs. Yes, that. <laughs> One of those. I see Submachine Gun right there in the top left. It makes me want to have a craving for freaking sub submarine sandwich. Thanks a lot, Ernest. Hey, sub sandwiches. Non-official sponsor. Sub Submachine. Speaking of sub, guys, make sure to subscribe. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there you go. El Subbo. El Subbo. Yeah, somebody would make an account, YouTube account called El Subbo. He just su sub for sub, guys. Sub for sub. Remember that crap? Jeez. If you remember <laughs> that crap, then you're old. You're old. Sub for sub. sub. Wow. Sub for sub. Oh yeah. Well, I'm one. I'm, I don't know if I call myself an OG of YouTube. I wasn't around the very beginning, but I still I was around. Starting 2007 when all that stuff went down. Sub for sub, and back when you just actually send friend requests on YouTube. Chad Warren. Chad Warren. A guy named Wavy, Wavy Websurf recently did a video about Chad Warden. It's pretty good. And that was that was Archangel's hero. Angel loved Chad Warden. He was hilarious. He trolled everybody. He got everybody good. Gears of War. I'm like, Tears of War. 
Too bad we couldn't get him on commentary. All <laughs> <laughs> right, that'd be something. I'm here with the man ST2K. Man, y'all ST2K. Man, get out of here. With that. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's dead on. That's exactly. I'm asking the commentary right. between him and Angel. Yeah. Oh man, that'd be golden. Absolutely. That'd be the best commentary team ever. They wouldn't need anybody. We. They wouldn't need us anymore. I'll be done. You be done. All of us be done. Just those two run the channel. They were raking more, <laughs> more views and subscribers than we ever did in 10 plus years on the channel. 10 plus days, dude. 10 plus days. 10 plus days. That's all it would take them. To surpass us. ST2K. Well, y'all sound like y'all got a disease or something. STD. Man, get out of here with that, man. <laughs> STDK. <laughs> STDK. <laughs> STD Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Oh my the God. STD rap. <laughs> oh jeez, you are dead. Yeah, yeah. But Lady Zelda's dead. Don't put your faith in the this thing, cause things will happen. Hey, uh, people be slaying me every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord, have mercy. Ooh, there goes a child. Well, what was that? Yeah, a white child running down the hallway. Where's CPS? It's a trap. That's a good question. CVS too? No, oh wait. CV CVS, the drugstore? CVS, yeah. <laughs> That's tall. What the heck is going on they, here? What's it called? Covis. <laughs> That's a good question. Whoa. Is, that's These uh, enemies, they look like uh, that character from Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, you're the talking collector. about collector? the insect lady. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, huh. okay, never mind. No, collector. Yeah, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about now, yeah. I know who you're talking about, but I haven't played Mortal Kombat 11 yet. Kind of not really into fighting games like I was back in the 90s. Uh, yeah, I haven't played it either, but I've seen the whole movie or the storyline. Yeah, I the watched game. the story mode. I watched the story mode. I always do that. I spoil myself. I'm like, well, it was freaking oh, awesome. It, so I'll watch it. I need to check that out. Then. Hey, speaking of which, have you heard about the new animated film that's coming out of uh, Mortal Kombat? It's supposed to be out, um, I think, in I think it's this month or April. <laughs> first, I can't remember. I heard but there's a motion picture. Are they making a motion picture though? Uh, yeah, they are making a motion picture, and it's supposed to be rated R, and there's supposed to be fatalities and everything in it, which obviously would make sense given the content, but there's an actual animated movie called Scorpion's Revenge, and oh. I believe it, it is going to be on TVMA, but um, there's a trailer out for it right now, and I don't know if it was supposed to be out this month or April or something like that, huh? out on the the Blu-ray and DVD. I don't know if it's going to go to streaming services or not. Probably will. I see people live streaming that game. Nitro Online streams it. Uh, yeah, that game is freaking awesome, man. But I never played it myself. I actually, honestly, I, I never really cared about Mortal Kombat after three. I just I fell off on that. Um, I just didn't really care about it anymore. But I, I did like back then when it made this comeback in 2011. Um, with the, the mm -hmm. remake of whatever it was, the storyline. I saw that, and then Mortal Kombat 11 comes out. Swindoll, I think, has it. Swindoll still loves Mortal Kombat to this day. He might have the latest games that came out in recent years, not including 11. If anybody does, it's him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> His fatality, the WAP, just I don't know, literally uh, just slaps you so hard. WAP just knocks your head off. And <laughs> uh, remember Jax's fatality? The, the was it uh, slapjack or slapjack? Or <coughs> go clap his hands. Go just clap your head like, psh, just smushes your face. Oh yeah, he makes your head explode. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. I also liked when he uh, turned got he turned to a giant and just stepped on, stepped on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah other than twenty, other than twenty fatality. Yeah, I remember that. That was so awful, crazy. In 2020, though, he probably would have a fatality instead of like doing the clapper with his hands. He would do it. He would, <laughs> he would like ass clap their head or something, and just like <laughs> smash their head in the butt cheeks and make it explode. Have y'all heard of uh, Mortal Kombat Chaotix? Mm, no. It's a fan made like a fan made game. They use Mugen or whatever. And it's a oh, YouTube that. channel. It's called Fight Night. A YouTube channel called Fight Night or something. And they, they, man, they put, they do a lot of crazy stuff with that, man. It's like uh, it's all different characters from other games, like Akuma. They got Street Fa Van Damme Street Fighter in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Street Fighter the movie, and what else? Uh, 
They got some weird people I've never heard of before. They got like female scorpion, female sub zero, female smoke, a bunch of di weird different uh, fatalities mm -hmm. and uh, different endings. Man, fight night. I forgot that. I'll probably put in the description box or, or Mexico will put in the description box rather. I forgot this is his video, not mine. Uh, and uh, freaking epic uh, <laughs> fan made game. It's always interesting to see what the fans make. <laughs> I can never make a game though. Probably future game developers as we know it putting their fucking cells out there like that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bomber Games that did the Streets of Rage remake. Which is pretty cool, except Sega told them to cease and desist. The uh, Streets of Rage oh, yeah. 4 is supposed to be out sometime soon. I have no idea when though. Yeah, it's sometime this year. I don't think they said the time, the actual day yet, but this year for sure. <clears throat> Ron's gonna get it and start playing online with folks and maybe and, uh, he, doing yeah. let's plays of that. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. I, I've seen it. I'm not impressed with the look of it, the graphics, but I mean, it might still be freaking epic. I'm sure. I'm sure Swindoll's gonna get it. We might play online together. Yeah. Well, whoa, whoa, we're live, pal. We're live. Actually, actually we're not live. Actually, we're not live. We're recording. We're doing live, damn it! Oh wait, no, we ain't live. Yeah, <laughs> Sid vicious. Yeah, live premiere. Wait, let me do that again. We're live, pal. Oh, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I love that. Oh, I forgot what he said after that. that. He goes, he goes, sorry. Then he went back doing the promo. How embarrassing is that? How do you not know that you're? I mean, how do you I'm not know you're live? I love the I love Sid vicious, but yeah, he did some embarrassing botches. <laughs> yeah, especially when he broke his friggin' leg and WCW. Yeah, that, I did. I watched that pay per view live. But I did not see that happen. Oh I did not God. see that happen. I did not see that two years later, back when Kazaa and Limewire were a thing, and it, before YouTube was around. I downloaded footage of old wrestling, uh, old wrestling footage. I, it says Sid breaks ankle graphic. I go what? And I saw. I go, oh man. Yeah. I never knew that happened ever. <clears throat> Makes my ankles hurt thinking about it. Yeah, me too. Ugh. Yeah, I was like, oh, jeez, man. Yeah, my ankles uh, bothering me like this morning because when uh, me and Tanya and her niece went out to a to a Civil War um, cemetery that's near us um, <clears throat> on Saturday, walking up and down these hills, man, I thought I had it affected my uh, ankles or something, and one of them was really bothering me this morning. So yeah, seeing that video doesn't even help. <laughs> yeah. You do not need to see it. For your eyes only. Oh, they're killing me. Oh, not really. I think uh, Lady Zelda's watching TV in the background. And nope, that would be someone else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dun dun dun. <clears throat> Pot twist. <clears throat> Doink. The clown? Doink the clown. Doink. Doink. Pot, Pot twist the clown. Miracle. He twists the clown. I, I loved with the clown. I don't care what anybody says. Oh yeah, he was great when he was a heel. Yeah, he was oh, funny yeah. though as a face, especially yeah, he he was. with with uh, Jerry Lawler. Oh yeah, especially with Dink following him around everywhere. Dink, wink, and pink, and then Jerry yeah. Lawler sleazy, <laughs> cheesy, and queasy. Remember that match, yeah. Survivor Series? No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I have watched it live. That's the first pay per view I ever watched live on uh, TV. Oh wow! And nice. uh, it was uh. Doink, Deke, Wink, and Pink, uh, Clowns Are Us, versus the Royal Family, Jerry the King Lauder, Sleazy, Cheesy, and Queasy. <laughs> they all end up turning on, on Jerry Lauder because he took all the glory and like wouldn't let uh, his his partners uh, do anything or whatever, and just like treat them like garbage. So they all, they all, all of them turned on him, including Deke, Wink, and Pink. They all teamed up against him, and from behind, Doink threw a pie in his face. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> now that's how you do that. I don't clown around here though and as uh <laughs> Oh there's a lot of clowning around this yeah. show. <laughs> oh yeah, as, as Chris and uh Jill um uh, I guess they did a lot of damage here. What's going on here? We almost had a Jill sandwich. Oh that <laughs> we did. We almost had a Chris sandwich too at that. Yeah. yeah. Forget a submarine sandwich, what a Jill sandwich. Oh yeah. Wow chicka wow wow. Go to Subway and be like, I want the Jill sandwich special. Yeah. And you would hope somebody would get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder, uh, you, know, you know what? Now I'm, I want to think about doing that now. I'm sure someone has. You know, oh, yeah. if I do it and put it on YouTube, I'll 
I'm gonna look first on YouTube, see if I'm behind. anybody's done it first. And of course, they'll, they'll probably hear this. Still, our idea, upload on YouTube. Now I follow copyright Clinton on could. It would be funny if you ended up the person you, the person the sandwich preparer that you were talking to was actually named Jill. <laughs> yeah. Or somebody, somebody <laughs> working there would be named area. Jill at that point in time. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, gonna take every, I'm gonna look at every subway in my area and go to every single one and see if there's a jail there. <laughs> yeah. Just call him up. Hey, do you have a jail that works Slam. there? Who's asking? <laughs> uh, instead of Bimmy and Jimmy, how about Billy and Jilly? Ooh. It's on. No. Don't go. <clears throat> Wait, no. Why are you moving <clears throat> slow? Why don't you move the D-pad real fast? Oh, well, you can't do that in this game. I'm using the motion controls. I'm not even using the D-pad. Mode yeah, seven. the coast of the course that'll work really a, a lot better with these these light gun type of games because you use the controllers. You have to adjust sensitivity. Sometimes you can't oh, yeah. get it right. Enough already. So yeah, that's right. This says mode ECW. <clears throat> this is on PS3, right? You do it. It's on PS3 and Wii. Oh, okay. Which way should we go? What's that switch? <clears throat> that device is linked to the door. If we take it out, the Your door face is linked to the door. Oh. <laughs> oh. You oh, got a grip I think face. I lost this part. That's a naked Zambi. Naked Zambi. We're having a party here. Naked snake. <laughs> exactly. Naked snake Zambi. <laughs> oh, this Mambi Pambi. Whoa. It's not looking uh, good. What if somebody, what, what if a zombie had like the ability to think for itself along the lines of, if you ended up calling it a zombie, it would be like a racial slur to a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Don't you call me that word? <laughs> we prefer to be called the undead. <laughs> Precisely. Hey, you know how the world is. I, 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 I couldn't pass, I could not see that not happen. It yeah, happen. exactly. Zombies are the world is. They're able to think on their own. So when the zombies get too close, you just stab them with a knife and kick them. Exactly. <laughs> it works every time. Finish, finish them off with a little bit of flair. Woo! Stylish. Woo! Claire Flair. <clears throat> Finish him off with a Devil May Cry combo and get like a really radical looking name for your combo up in the corner of the screen. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> and that's one of them, actually. That sound that was made just sounded like it was from Devil May Cry, which would make sense considering Capcom makes Resident Evil and Devil May Cry. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of weird video game sounds, there's this gas station just down the road from us. <laughs> And anytime they ever ring anything up, if anybody's buying anything in there, there's a sound that goes off that sounds just like the ring sound from Sonic anytime he picks up a ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, I heard man, a, a gas station. Yeah, gas I've been to gas stations where whenever they ring you up, you get the Sonic ring. Oh, yeah, cool. that's it. Yeah. It's like, wow, I Sega's really needing money. I forgot what restaurant it was yeah. where if you order in the Macho Man's yeah, voice, you get, you get a discount. Oh yeah, I saw a meme of that. I would totally do that if I if I, if I saw where that was. I'm sure you understand the thrill of battle <clears throat> and the rush that comes with the feeling of being alive after a good battle. Another umbrella. Talk to Dracula. The latest. The things are about to go from bad to worse. Viper. Oh. Biological weapon. Controlled by the Red Queen. The ultimate weapon. You're all going to die down here. Cue up the slip knot. It's a big freaking gun. That's not a gun. This. We need to shoot him down. That's my boost. That's not a rocket launcher. This is a rocket launcher. We have to find a weakness. That's like a Pixar character. I can't put my finger on it. Like a a movie that came out recently. I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, um, 
Big Hero 9, 6, whatever it's called? Yeah, something like that. It's like the big yeah. love, big balloon guy, whatever the heck. I, I, I never seen the movie. I just seen the trailer. That was a great movie. That was a really good movie. It had a very anime aesthetic to it. Even though it wasn't anime, but it had like to it. I think it took place in like some futuristic Japan, I think. But like that was still a great movie. Big Hero Six, I think that's what it was, yeah. You should definitely Rainbow Six. Check it out. Rainbow Six, yeah. Awesome. Isn't he done fighting yet? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna run out of Why won't you die? Because the moment of truth. He's got ECW mode. <laughs> I thought that was a robot for a second. I was like, it's a robot. It can't die. It can only be destroyed. Seriously, that's like the biggest rocket launcher I've ever seen. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> okay, DX. The new member of DX. Rather than I got two words for you. Subscribe now. Now the newest member, Disco Inferno, with his green and black disco tights. Oh my! What the what the piss is this? Whoa. Oh! And things just got even worse. This is Metro right now. This is. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> it looks like Tyrant lost his lower body and just like transformed into some type of alien creature. Take it out. Your guess is as good as mine. At this point, I was like, really? I'm gonna have to fight this? Mr. X is now Mr. Uh, alien pod thing. Pod thing. Why well, I said pod thing. Oh, he's got a pod on his back, it looks like. Shoot the glow red bits! Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! His face is sideways. How does he eat? I mean, his mouth is sideways, not his head. Good lord. Your face is sideways. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Make him say, oh! Na 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 na! You make those sounds when you've had too much Taco Bell. Oh! Na 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 na! Man, this ain't no Master P. <laughs> Let me hear you say, uh! Oh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that, That's the X rated version of Master P, but okay. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, man. No limit soldiers at WCW. <laughs> Short lived. Weird dreams tonight. <laughs> no, this ain't Silent Hill or Restless Dreams. Restless dreams are made of these. Who? Oh, wait, that's yeah. the wrong lyric. <laughs> <laughs> Who hey, am I good. to disagree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the, uh. The game? Wow. He's shooting out grape jam everywhere. Somebody <laughs> needs to. Somebody needs to needs to get him a napkin. <laughs> What's eating Gilbert grape jam? I would not want to. Apparently that alien dude, because he was shooting him out everywhere. That didn't even come out right either. I can't even express that. Good work. The end of is just a question of time, but yeah, it's over. All He's right. still out there. <laughs> no, the actually, it's Project Umbrella <laughs> placed so much faith in and failed. We'll get to that However, in year 2021. Chris and the others were <laughs> quick to pat themselves on the back. And apparently, we got Professor Snape <laughs> doing the dialogue here. Faith that they would prevail against Umbrella. Yeah, Albert Whisker. If that was him. No, it was only with my help that they were able to succeed. The only thing that can do well, the real power. Hans Gruber is doing the voiceover. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy trails, Hans. So cool. <laughs> <clears throat> that didn't take 12 minutes. That took 44 minutes and one second. Rank exactly. E for ECW. All you right, thank suck. you guys for joining us for another episode of the Umbrella Chronicles. I want to thank everybody here, Raven Inspector, Lady Zelda, and Ron Moore. You guys have a good night, and thank you. All right, that was just a practice run. Are we ready for real this time? <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, funny. Well, luckily, I recorded it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> this call may be recorded for... No. Yeah, for oh, ECW sure purposes. purposes.
The only thing wow, guys, guess who's back for another episode of the Umbrella Chronicles. This is Ernest along with Ron Moore and Victoria, and this is the last part of this LP. So how are you guys doing tonight? Or is it? I will enlist the help of Or is it? We'll find out tonight after this video, unless you skip ahead and then, yeah, you'll know. So, this is my favorite part of the game with Wesker, or Whisker, however you want to say it. Man, do you try to do that, Ron? You try to wear sunglasses at night so you could be cool? No, only J-Man can do that. Look. Yeah, only J-Man can do that. Actually, I remember one time, too, I went out and I didn't bring my regular glasses, so all I had was my prescription sunglasses, and it was night, and it was, wasn't cool driving with those. Let's just say that. I had prescription sunglasses, kind of. I had gla regular glasses, but they were, like, shaded. And people, oh, okay. people were like, hey, Ricky Martin. <laughs> oh, boy. So yeah, this is essentially kind of like the same level, but Wesker takes a different path from the previous level that we just played. Get ready for some bad so Russian accents. Oh, Dracula? Level oh, whoa. What game are we playing? Casualties? Over 90% of the research oh boy. Uh oh, I think his computer got a virus. Wonder what he was looking at. Coronavirus? Uh oh. It is such a waste. Remember, folks, don't touch your face. But we don't have a choice. With you and Oh, this explains everything. How the coronavirus got out. Yeah. The Corona Chronicles. Resident Evil: The Corona. Acknowledged. Resetting activation program schedule. Oh no, you sound infected. Objects are approaching at uh -oh. speeds toward the facility. Alert, I wonder what that's for. Was it Melgar Solid? Oh, I thought, I thought it was in alert mode. I'll enjoy Gosh, it feels gosh. like it. <laughs> nice reference. <laughs> Enemy sighted. Requesting backup unit. It's like, Wesker's so badass, he already killed everybody before we even started. Wow, I'm so... I'm not sure what those things are. This LP can come to a conclusion tonight after, what, two years? Or is it? No, it probably is. People in the comment section will probably be like, it does. What? But they're dead. How are they back? They were just playing dead, that's what it was. Ah. Ouch. That looked like it hurt. I'm gonna go with that, yeah. So does getting your head blown off too, that looks like it hurts. Yeah. So this will be the first LP completed from what the what generation was the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and Wii what was that 7 8 I lost count ah uh, yeah I stopped counting after I think it was the Dreamcast wait we got a special guest with us that PS triple I'm talking about that PS triple come on the Wii the Wii man only cool people like us would know who Chad Warden is yeah they'd be like who's Chad Warden kid you missed out on the good times of YouTube and the bad. Angel was a big fan of his. He was. It was amazing. I remember him. I, re I remember the channel. I remember the uploads. I was like, wow. And then at first I thought he was being serious, and I was like, wait, he's not. Yeah. What? Wasn't he like your your little brother? Oh yeah, he was. And then we found out we weren't brothers. We were mortal enemies. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, people, I wonder whatever happened to him. They should do like a thing. Now, t ten years later, whatever happened to Chad Wharton? Well, Webby Websurf did a video about him, I think, last month. Oh, I gotta check that out. Conductor Wesker, he is going for a ride. Tickets, please. This Tickets, please. This is Gold Nine now. Gosh. Well, I love that LP so much. You know, I had to do the Umbrella Chronicles. It had. It reminds me of it. All aboard the ECW train. Ooh, a green plant, which 
I was expecting uh, I hope you. Wesker has his medical card. Uh, let me see your ticket, sir. No, no ticket, then I'm gonna have to shoot you. No ticket, no taco. No ticket, no taco. No boleto, no taco. Yeah. Some of those enemies look like, uh, what's your name? Yeah, Ma Mothra from uh, Mortal Kombat 11 or whatever her name is, the bug infested woman or whatever the oh, thing is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that bug lady. I hate her. Yeah. She really bugs me. She bugs the heck out of us. Because of her, that game has a lot of bugs in it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people didn't like her character either, too. They didn't want her to come back in Mortal Kombat 11. She's straight up bugging. She bugging everybody. She better get a horse and buggy. I oh, fail. Never mind. No, don't worry. You can try it again. Oh wait, we're live. Well, not really. We're, we're live. You we're know not, what I mean? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not live. So we could try again. We're we're recording, pal. Anyways. Yes, it would be perfect to do a, a live stream on LP. You can only imagine uh, what he would say. Yeah. Shut up. You hear that all the time. Every five seconds. You see this game right here, SC2K. <laughs> this game right here is freaking awesome! <laughs> well, Sid, I'm shut bring up! up the fact that, uh oh. I wouldn't bring up the fact that his foot was under the rope. Yeah. For the What's WCW this? Championship. Or he might have uh, pooped his pants in the main event, WrestleMania. Ooh. Yep. Watch, Sid's gonna find this video. And then he's gonna find us. A shortcut. Yeah. Alright. And Wesker just jumping around. Off the wall action. Oh man, I'm pretty sure one of these guys have the coronavirus. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. <laughs> this game will drive you up the wall. <laughs> just shoot them and they fall off the wall and they fall to their death. Supposedly. How do you get the coronavirus? Do you like drink Corona? Oh man, good thing I only think drink Tecate. And now we're from our sponsor, Tecate. I used to, I'm so dyslexic sometimes. I misread that. I thought it said tick 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 or something. It's like tic tac. What? The attack. The tech tights from a Zelda. Tick tight. Oh, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Almost like tic tacs. I love those. Whoa, that's a big bat. Oh, yeah, is it? Batman. Dun -dun 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 -dun. See that? Every everything's trying to kill Wesker. It's like, what did Wesker do to deserve this? What well, where's the a lot? where's the spider solder from uh, Unavaded? Oh. Yeah, if you jump like 30 feet, I'm pretty sure. Your knees, your ankles, everything would be shot to hell. Yeah. But then again, it's Wesker. Although I think I did jump off the ship one time and I was like, ouch, that hurt. I'm never gonna do that again. You ever seen a bat up close? A bat up close? Like in real life. No, yeah. I haven't. I have. It was here in my hometown, but it was on the ground injured. Oh, wow. I thought you were talking with, like, Coming yeah. I, I, I didn't know there were bats in Welcome Texas, but I guess so. I see you are still resolved to go down with the ship, girl. Yeah, there's a little small cave around Umbrella's where I live. There's, there, there's bats. We see them once All in a while, pain, especially during mosquito season, which is probably the only time I'll take stronger. a bat, being around a because they do eat them. Couldn't understand. Stand aside. It was a parking garage where I seen one on the ground. Oh, I almost injured. forgot. Here are a few he of needed my to be revived. I'd like to introduce you to. Charmed. I remember that show. Uh oh. Wesker Russia trying to be Walker, Texas place, Ranger. Yeah. When two guys circle around you, you're in trouble. Spot. Whoa, well, settle down, Max. Time, a protective whoa, whoa, whoa. The hat. Jingle tag, Yeah, jingle see, this tag. is where two players would be handy. Yeah. It's a handicap match. Victoria's like, I don't care, this ain't Zelda. Uh, I ain't talking. Uh 
The Legend of Wesker. Wesker's getting his ass kicked on the ground right now. Ooh, we got stomped. He got stomped! And I'm out of ammo for like most of my guns. How annoying. How annoying. Oh, you're telling me. Well, they're fighting me. No wonder why they're so pissed. They're like, man, this is too easy. It's like, I'm trying. It's not easy. This is how you can tell it's a Mexico LP. I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, you're pulling a Mexico. I'm pulling a Mexico. Ooh, I forgot about that other guy. Magic fairy time, please. Magic yep. fairy time. Well, I just better hope that they don't have a magic fairy, or else I'm screwed. My strategy? Shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. like give me that gun I need it I need it I've actually seen uh, playthroughs of this with people just using the handgun I'm like nah not me not me not me yeah it's hard it, handgun you have to be like really accurate or else you know yeah you get killed fast Mexico fast Take one of these guys down? Who knows? Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Looks like he's down for the count. One, two, three! <laughs> it's all Ronnie, you can count to 100. He ain't getting up. Yeah. <laughs> he's only took out my partner! Where's the referee? There's no referee! We need a referee out here! What is this, like the the boiler room match? No, I'm joking. Right, yeah. Speaking of referees, you remember referee Charles Robinson? Oh, yeah. Remember, I forgot what WrestleMania it was, but there was no referee. The referee was down. He comes running down that long aisle at WrestleMania. You know how those aisles at WrestleMania are a mile long? Yeah, he those is, things are long. He is running fast. He had to run track back then or something. He was running fast. He gets in the ring. One, two... No, he kicks out! <laughs> Maybe if he would have got there a little fat now, I'm checking. Uh, he yeah. was fast, man. He was running down. <laughs> but man, it's like, good thing he didn't trip. That would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been embarrassing. Imagine fuck, imagine running and then all of a sudden you trip, end up under the ring. Yeah, like, uh, uh, dang, what's his name? <sighs> the the, the oh, big yeah, muscular no, no, dude. Uh, uh, I can't believe I forgot his name. Was it Titus O'Neil? Yeah, Titus. I'm about to say no. Tyson Kidd. No, not Tyson Kidd. Titus O'Neil, that's his name. And now he hates us too. He's he, like, all he, right. He man, tripped and slid under the ring. That was funny. <laughs> People are laughing. I know I was. And then remember, the, remember at the actual Royal Rumble match though, it shows him running down the down the aisle. Then he stops. <laughs> he stops on purpose. And he's like, yeah, I made it. I didn't slide. I didn't trip and slide. <laughs> But then, like, somebody was hiding oh. under the ring, I forgot who it was, and he crawled under the ring on purpose to try to get him. <laughs> so he ended, up, he ended up under under the ring anyway. Yep, he's there, and there's nothing we can do. Oh, boy, how funny. Reload your gun when it's out of ammo. Thank you, Skip Rogers. Reload! Reload! Oh, from Virtual Cop, I remember that. Ow. Yeah, was that the game? I thought it was Lethal Forces, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there's that, too. ECW they probably use the same. You play as Arn Anderson? They probably use the same person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can we could just use that one guy from this game. All right. Sounds remember, good to uh, me. remember the enforcer, Clancywood. Oh, I do. The enforcer. <laughs> the enforcer. I thought that. Don't enforce me to play this game. Don't force me to play this game again. I already one playthrough was already enough. Jeez, I don't have any ammo for any of my guns. I got eight bullets left. And I would have been pissed if I died right there. And he's down for the count. It's, I don't think he's getting up. One, two, wait, the lights went out. Wait, 
That's gotta be Kane! That's gotta be Kane! <laughs> and it is! Kane is alive! Kane is alive, Undertaker! Sad as of recording this commentary, it was seven years ago Paul Bearer died. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And for those of you who joined us on our previous uh, episode, this room will look familiar. Previously on the ECW Chronicles. Oh yeah. Well, there's no elevator, so I guess he's just gonna have Looks to jump like down there. Someone already went down. Good old Chris. <laughs> Chris Redfield. Not me. Peter will hate me because I shot those bats. Yeah, Peter's gonna flag this video. Whoa! If you don't like spiders. Yeah, that part might scare you. No oh, man. Jeez, how far down is he jumping? I'm beginning to think they dug a hole all the way to China. Oh no, that's where the co coronavirus is oh, at. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Has the virus gone viral? <laughs> oh god, I see what you did. That man. sounds like something Bear would say. Yeah. It went viral <laughs> inside of me. <laughs> he was saying something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Because uh, we don't even need Bear. Uh, Ron can do a Bear impersonation. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. He's like, I'm shooting you. Why won't you die? Why? 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 How you say that in Spanish? Por que es tu die? I don't know. Oh man. Jeez, it's like it never ends. At least this time I have some ammo. Well, let's see how long this lasts. When all else fails, just blow up the computer lab. Oh god, cover your eyes, naked zombie. <laughs> and that's the naked This video truth. has been flagged. Due to full frontal nudity. Dun 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 dun. dun. Actually, I know there's a, I don't know if it's still there, but YouTube used to have a feature where you used to be able to blur stuff out. Huh. Yeah, I used it for a couple of my videos. Huh? I'm like, I'm just going to blur this out just for the heck of it. Duh. Yeah, I blurred out one of my friend's faces. Well, somebody we're not friends with no more, let's just say that. Oh. So I blurred out his face. Who we got? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, this game was actually originally released on the Wii back in 2007. They reported so. to the PS3. I thought you were gonna say it was released by the Wii guy. Ooh, I'm surprised the Wii guy never played this one on his channel. It's not even called Wii guy anymore. It's called Nico Tengu or something. Arsenal Tengu ah, from uh, okay. Arsenal Gear. No, I don't know. I guess it makes sense because you don't really play Wii games that much or stream Wii game Wii games that much, I guess. So just use part of his real name as a nickname. Hey, whatever works, works. That's, that's, yeah, that's something. Yeah, Ron Moore, why don't you freaking change your name? You don't mow lawns or nothing stupid. It'll make sense. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what's stupid. You, Ooh. stupid. That, that doesn't make any sense. I know you are, but what am I? Ooh! <laughs> this like looks like somebody took out the bridge. But Wesker can jump like 30 feet, so why is he taking the stairs? You're causing quite the diversion. Everything's going just as I expected. So don't worry people, Wesker has his medical 
uh, marijuana card. James Bond now. Whoops. Did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> yeah. Steve Urkel the Hedgehog. I admire that tenacity. So we're gonna need a bigger gun. Oh man, I'm about to get ambushed. What the hell are those things? Plants? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Shame it, man. Was it shame it, man, making fun of Big Show? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh man, Shane's hilarious. I actually used to like him. He's pretty, you know, cool. Did some crazy stuff. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. I can only imagine what Vince says. Now, Shane, I don't want you going out there doing anything too crazy. Don't worry, Pops. Jumps off a big ass. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh no, why'd I open that door? There's all zombies. Don't open that door. I think it's a little too late for that. I'm sorry. Take that, Kermit the Frog. You think those huh. steroids will help you in the long run? Right. Kermit mad. Yeah, if anybody wants to see a good playthrough of this My game, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of them on YouTube hand. where they just use the handgun too. They're all, what's this dying crap Mexico keeps doing? A pinnacle of biological weaponry, all controlled by the Red Queen. What is that? Is that food? Is he vaping? The ultimate weapon. <laughs> right. He's trying to be like the cool kids. <laughs> yeah. You got Ivan? Not bad. Ivan Kol Koloff? So this is it. Uh oh. Yes. She was activated that night at the mansion. I extracted her before Raccoon City became nothing more than a memory. Her and I have a lot in common. She linked with Talos, desiring more information and more data. She wanted to know the truth, no matter how painful that reality may be. That thing is merely a tool. Oh, what cool! I saw that. This is something the user determines. Good. For. I was it's wondering if you rules. catch that. <laughs> I caught that. Did you see that, Victoria? I didn't say anything. I wasn't gonna say anything. I wanted to see if anybody would catch it. Did you see that? It's a shame that mm. this friendship has to end. Wait a minute. Whoa. Uh, another side effect of, va of vaping kids. Don't vape or else you'll turn into a big ass monster. Alright. Your lack of creativity disappoints me. I expected more from you. I have to wait for him to stop jumping around. Oh God. Calm down, Not Max. Me. Don't worry, it can't get it can't get you. It can't get you, I got this. Both Chance and Max both went totally banana balls. <laughs> Charlie doesn't really do anything, she just kinda walks around with barks. Go oh yeah, oh you have a third dog. Yeah, the I know you had a third dog. I found a weakness, Sergey. Enjoy oh yeah, he's been around on Facebook. I just haven't really posted a picture of him in a while, but if oh. he's a dog, so he's not dead. Oh, okay. I can't tell what the hell he's throwing at me, but whatever it is, it's killing me. It's killing mine! Still have some fight left. Oh, Man! Little 
That's racist. Black rat. Ooh. Video flag. Jeez, this video's been flagged by everybody. I can't imagine anybody trying to play this game with the controller. I actually got it. I got it. No, if I just don't die. I'm losing. Will Mexico die? The answer to that is probably yes. But who knows? I have a date to keep. Oh my god, look at my life bar and look at his. Wow, I actually beat it. Even I'm surprised. ACW. And this is my video. No, we are not done yet. See kids, that's why you don't vape. Requested data transfer complete. Whoa, what the kind of hard drive is that? On one disc. They should come in handy. It looks like you have finished what you came to do as well, Cress. Just as I predicted. Goodbye, fair lady. Data one initialized. In seconds until completion. Wow, really? It's going to take 80 seconds to format that whole entire hard drive? Wasn't it night when Wesker got there? Or is it still night? Oh, looks like he's off the hook. Alright, Wesker, we get it. Soon, You're a badass. Soon, Umbrella will be gone forever. They held the power of the T-Virus in their hands. But they lack the proper vision the true vision of the future and now it falls to me to usher in this new future oh yeah oh yeah I did that <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> well it only comes up a million times oh yeah <laughs> It's like, you guys say that every freaking video. Right. <laughs> we do. Wait, what do you mean we do? Not me! Not Mike. Alright, I think this is the first LP we've done from... Uh, the first full LP we've done from the PS3. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, Nakamura! Mr. Spencer, Shinsuke Nakamura Ooh. also. Oh. Huh. I was wondering about that too. I was like, oh. Ah, uh, really fun. A real fun game. Good LP for this channel. It's over, folks. It took me, what, over two years? Yeah, <laughs> right? Two or three years.
since I can tell my girlfriend, there, I'm done with the LP. And then she'll just be asking me, she'll be like, okay, so what's next then? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Nothing. Resident Evil Zero. Oh, I hate that game. No. Resident ECW. No, so Resident Evil Survivor again. <laughs> Played through, through through Mexico though. Oh man. Yeah. I think I'll pass. The people here have already suffered enough. Presented by SC2K. Footage by Mexico. Gentle Giant. <laughs> all SC2K staff. You can probably fit all the SC2K staff on one page. The fish move, the staff perfection. Ooh! Affiliated companies, SC2K, uh... Skip Rogers. Skip Rogers. Kodak. Just cause, uh... Just cause we felt like it. Because. Because. Presented by Capcom versus SNK2. Oh, jeez, that they're gonna say Capcom versus ST2K. I'm pretty sure we, we wouldn't win. My dear right, yeah. Spencer. How the mighty have fallen. Your umbrella has folded, and now you are a fugitive. Imagine if somebody shut off the game you once saw during the credits, they would never see this. All right. Welcome to the Umbrella Archive. I've always watched Please game credits, but the desired service people, from the main. I don't know, like some of them just kind of shut it off, and I'm just like, why? This we is the cool part. Again before the <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they're going to put a cutscene afterwards. Then, you will learn of the history. Like a Marvel I ending. will write for this world. <laughs> this is the end, or is it? Or is it? No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's the end this time. It better be. It damn well better be. All right, so I believe we are at the let's discuss portion of this video. That was just a test run. Ready? Three, two, no. Uh, <laughs> five, eight, seven. That's a long I test run. Like, Jeez. I would have been like, well, uh, okay. I mean, we can do it again, but okay. <laughs> no, you, you'd be like, no, I'm done. Good night. Thanks for wasting my time. It's like, yeah, yeah that was some of my best stuff. I don't think I can replicate that. It's like, are you stupid? No, no, I just uh, forgot to record. <laughs> All right, so what less discussion portion? I guess I guess I'll go first since the video. Uh, as far as this game goes, I've always had fun playing this game. It's not one of my favorites, but it's really easy to get into and fun to play for like 15, 20 minutes. Even more fun if you're playing with somebody else. And to give this game a rating, eh. I'll give it a B plus. So I know you guys probably haven't played this game, so this is the, whatever you guys have to say. This is the dumbest LP I've ever seen. The dumbest LP. Oh, the dumbest LP you ever seen. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um. Okay. So shut. Just go. Go to the S2K and give a rating for the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Game looks awesome. I, I mean, uh, I never played it, but obviously I've seen all the parts of this LP, and I mean, it's it seems like a pretty cool game based on what I've seen in the story, the storyline to it, and uh, railgun shooter. I'm not too familiar with those, but and the music's pretty pretty cool in this uh, in this game, especially that one part. I gotta go back. It's part three, I think you did where. Ravenous Spectre was in that one with this, and it was this one big monster you were fighting. Was, I remember that oh, stage, yeah. that cool music. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Um, I mean, based off what I've seen here, uh, just uh, going back and seeing what happened before the Res first Resident Evil game took place. Is that right? Is this where it took place? Like, before the first Yeah, the Resident Evil 1, 0, 
in three and after Survivor? the events of no. three. Okay. Um, it, I, I, was, I give this game an 8.5 out of 10 based off what I've seen and what the game's about. And uh, being a railgun shooter, it was something different for the series. Uh, pretty cool. And with that being said, with the railgun shooter, much better than the controls in Resident Evil 1. Oh! Definitely. No. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, so Chance has something to say. What do you say, Chance? <laughs> it's you want to know why I died so much in the game. Yeah. No, he's mad because you shot the, the, the dogs in the game. Ooh, I apologize for that. Oh, roo, roo. Those are my bitches. Roo, roo. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, roo, roo. Well, I guess right. that's it. I don't know if Victoria has anything to say about the game, but... Yeah. Well, um, aside from all the... Woo, 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 um, <laughs> <laughs> I was really intrigued by it. I mean, I've obviously, from what I remember, never played it, but now I kind of want to. It's just one of those games that not too many people have played, and those who have, they really appreciate it. All right, so I guess we'll leave it at that. I want to thank Ron Moore and Victoria and anybody else who's joined me in uh, this LP. It was really fun to actually do a full actual LP on the channel, and who knows what's next for me. But I just want to say thank you for having me, Ron Moore, always. Thank you, Victoria, for being here, and sayonara. Finally, after two or three years, but it was worth it. God bless Bye. and take care.